What's up guys, Cyber Houdini here and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, baby! We are almost halfway through this game, we're going through the whole thing, DLC and all! This is part of the road to Elden Ring coming out at the end of February. Yes, we are slowly inching closer to a brand new From Software masterpiece. I am so fucking excited! And to celebrate the release, the upcoming release of uh, Elden Ring, we're gonna do a giveaway for a copy of Elden Ring. All you have to do is hop on over to the stream, and with 1,000 channel points, you can uh, you can guess how many deaths will I have during this Dark Souls 2 playthrough. The closest person wins a copy. Simple as that. As soon as the playthrough's over, I'll announce the winner. We're going to be uh, keeping an eye on the, the death counter with uh, the in-game tower in Majula. So, there'll be no messing around. I don't even know how many deaths it's going to be either, so it's going to be a surprise to me and you. I've never counted my deaths before. Uh, so we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm thinking it's gonna be in the in the hundreds for sure because I'm a novice at best But I love these games and I do finish them part of my Irish fucking determination, but I never give up never surrender Sometimes to my detriment <laughs> But Dark Souls 2 is like the underappreciated uh, Souls game like other sequels from other series like uh Bioshock 2 and Batman Arkham uh, Origins even a lot of people basically Don't like these games because they're not done by the main team, but trust me They are just as good if not sometimes better, you know, but it's definitely the the ugly step child <laughs> for, sure, for sure. It's like a different engine altogether. But here's the funny thing. I actually see a uh, little remnants of Elden Ring from uh, from Dark Souls 2, I don't know what it is. Um, people might not like me saying that, but still, I'm not saying Elden Ring is a bad looking game. It's far from it. Hello, Kiss. Hello, welcome on in. First in the building. So we took a mighty big chunk out of the game yesterday. I gotta say, I actually found myself doing quite well. We actually uh, pretty much made our way through uh, two of the primal bonfires. I ended up. Going the direction of the Dukes Der Freya pretty much by accident. I was like, fuck it, let's just keep going. Um, so yeah, I was very impressed with that. And then we decided to go all the way through, uh, uh, you know, the Harvest Valley, Earthen Peak, Iron Keep, and Smelter Demon, and then the old uh, Iron King. So that was fun. So that all that leaves is the Black Gulch and the Rotten. So he will be last of the Primal Bonfires. He's kind of a, a, a waste anyway. But the plan today is to take it all the way to the bridge, baby. I want to go all the way to the Dark Lurker. That means going through the Black Gulch and the Rotten, and coming back to Drang Lake Castle, taking on the Ancient Dragon, and then finally setting up the Pilgrims of the Dark so that we can fight the Dark Lurker. So that way, it will leave things exactly the way I need to, so that tomorrow we will take on the DLC. So that's what I'm hoping to do. So then uh, I'll leave like uh, Nisandra and the final boss and all that. I was just, we were talking about like there being only one tree phased boss in the Hall of the Souls series with Sister Friday in the uh, in the DLC for Dark Souls 3. But if you set this up right in the Scholar of the First Sin, there's actually three bosses back to back at the end. So you've got the Throne Watcher, right? You know, the Guardian. Then Nisandra. Then Aldia, the Scholar of the First Sin himself. That's true, and then we'll go back to back to back, cutscene to cutscene. So I I always forget that. And obviously, there's multiple ways where you don't have to do it like that. But uh, I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. So we're rocking the dex build. That is my home. That's my bread and butter. So I'm not really deviating from that. I love it. It's my favorite build. But we're actually uh, moving towards dual wielding katanas. And we want to go for the power stance, which is uh, very unique to Dark Souls 2, where if you have the right stats, you can power stance, which is a whole different moveset for uh, dual wielding weapons, which is really cool. It ups your damage. It takes a lot of stamina, but it's so much worth it. Oh my goodness. Especially for a dex build, which the DPS pretty much bottoms out very, very fast, because, you know, it's not a strength build, right? Uh, so power stance in a dex build is almost mandatory especially uh for um the dlc in my opinion because at that point if your dps is already starting to bottom out in the main game you're not gonna last very long against the dlc yeah baby all right my favorite stream i appreciate that you're too kind yeah well, i'm just looking over we've got um a nice amount of people that have already entered the giveaway very cool 
So I'm excited. If this goes well and, and if the bot does its thing properly without um, too much trouble, then I would love to do it again. I really would. Because, you know, if all going well, we might be able to just finish off uh, Dark Souls 2 by the weekend or at the weekend. DLCs as well. Yeah, because I'm the kind of guy who goes after all the bosses. I'm a mad bastard like that. That's why I'm going after Dark Lurker. It's probably the hardest boss in the game. Close, anyway. So this is the big old well. You can jump down here yourself, or this guy will build a ladder after a while. He only shows up when you've nowhere else to go. But what you can do is you can come in and talk to this cute little kitty. And uh, she will sell you the, um, the silver cat ring, which kind of offsets the fall damage. Which is a good overall ring, anyway, if you don't like fall damage. How you doing? Hello, Lacuna. Welcome, dude. Thank you so much for that tweet. I saw that. Appreciate that. I hate using, like, um, I don't know what you call them, like, fucking uh, Twitter accounts that kind of uh, retweet your stuff. You know, I hate using, like, promotional stuff like that. But, I mean, Christ, it is so hard to just get natural exposure. You know, and especially over the last couple of years, there's been just so much more streamers. Um, so, yeah, you're definitely uh, fighting at breadcrumbs. But it's all good. It's all good. I rather try and grow naturally, but uh, yeah, it's 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 you know it's, it is what it is. All right, let's go buy this. So it's thirteen thousand souls, which is a bit sore, but it's worth it. Some great items and secrets down this well. So Lacuna, we're going after the rot and we're going down to the Black Gulch. They're pretty uh, straightforward areas, but the plan is actually to take this all the way. Pretty much to the end, you know, we've been doing on average around five to six hour streams this week, which is pretty monstrous, which is great. Hopefully the stream looks okay, because I hate when I see my bitrate dipping a little bit. Yeah, baby. Yeah, so we got plus ten Uchi Katana. We're rocking that. Let's put this other ring on. And we, ha we just got plus ten Black Steel Katana, so that's the plan. We'll go Uchi Katana one hand, Black Steel in the other hand. We just have to get... To do power stance, you need 1.5 of the weapon's requirements. So, it's a little bit of maths. But uh, with the Uchi Katana, your requirements are, you know, not that bad at all. The only one that's going to affect you in, in this build is the strength. You know, because you're a, a dex build. So, you got 10 strength right in the bottom left corner. There's a lot of stats, I know. 10 with the muscles, so that's strength. And then the hand is dexterity. So, that's 16. So, you would need uh, 1.5. So, you're looking at... Say you'd need maybe uh, 15 strength and, you know, fucking 24. But I, you sometimes it rounds up and sometimes it rounds down. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. But I, I, I don't know if I've ever proven this, but I think the other weapon you equip, you also need to have 1.5 of that as well. So in this case, it is the, the black steel. Now, if you can get two Uchi Katanas, then I say go for it. People might even prefer that, but I like having the... The differential of the of the black steel katana as well. You could even probably dual wield black steel katanas if you can get more of those. That might be better. The difference in uh, peak DPS for a uchi katana and a black steel katana is minimal, like ten, maybe ten. I don't know. But uh, the difference in the durability is about twenty or thirty. So that's up to you uh, how you feel about that. <clears throat> I noticed that it also has S scaling as well, so I, I, it works out about the same. I've, I've definitely done the maths back in the day, and it was minimal. But I always love my Uchi Katana. In my opinion, it has uh, the perfect move set. This trust move, it, it stops me from like exploding enemies, poisoning enemies. It's got me out with so many jams. So I love it. Aim. Uh, hello, Megan. How's it going? You guys have been coming in so much. I th thank you so much. Like when I'm, when a stream starts, you're always got that like awkward pause before you get to talk to chat. But not with you guys. Oh my God, you just completely fill up my chat window. Thank you so much for that. All right. So there's three ladders you can use. They all cost uh, different amounts. Maybe we'll, we'll try and get some of these items. We might get a few deaths here. This is the the, the well. Everybody dies here. Yeah, rapiers are very OP. Absolutely. I've seen... I was only just watching uh, Moist Critical, Charlie. The, the the Jesus. Jesus. Moist Jesus himself. He was playing this like a couple of weeks back. And I was hoping he was going to do something different, you know. But uh, the chat had sort of uh, instructed him a little bit to go for uh, the, the rapier god build. And that's what he did. And it wasn't too long. Oh! That still took half, even with the silver cat ring. That would have killed me outright if I wasn't wearing it. But, um, 
Yeah, it didn't take long before like his title to start changing change to Dark Souls 2 is easy. <laughs> I'm like, dude, anything's easy, you know? It's easy to jump out of a plane if you've got a parachute. It's easy to play uh, Dark Souls 2 if you've got the OP rapier build. It's all good. It's all good. It's a very kind of a fence build. Rapiers are like kind of jabbing, jabbing a lot. They're uh, interesting. Don't get me wrong, like... Um, these games uh, come with their own differently, so like if you can find a way to do things your way and have some fun with it, so be it, you know? I think we all we get a little bit uh, gatekeeping when it comes to uh, certain builds. How do we do this again? I'm trying to see. I think this little tiny thing here breaks. It's like one of those little joke platforms. It's going to break. It's going to kill me. I love all these emotes. Damn. Let me see. What we got here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, 1.8. Yeah, it could be that, Lacuna. You're dead right. You're dead right. Yeah, and in DS1, you find it off a guy and sends, yeah, the R Ricards, right? Ricards, Rapier, it's, it's so well known. You can make the game as difficult or as easy as you want. I hear that, I hear, and I find I make it quite hard on myself. Alright, does this break? Yes, it does! Oh my god, no, dead. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Should have trusted my instinct, instead I just trusted my stink. And you don't want to do that. But I hope you're all having a good Thursday, as I like to call it. It's like Thursday, toot toot. It's also pre-Friday. Yeah, the Black Knight Halberd. Pretty much any of the Black Knight weapons are seriously OP in uh, the first game. Boop. So I think what you can do here is maybe if you get the, the, the longest ladder. How did I miss that one? <clears throat> How did I miss that item? For the longest time. Oh. oh, oh. Ah! Yeah, this place will kick your ass. People actually find ways to get down here early, which always cracks me up. Did I not get this item? I swear to God, it's a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Actually worth it. Actually. Actually. Anthony. But you'll probably be better off doing there. I think there's about three doors on the way down here, believe it or not. Some useless, some not. You're actually better off trying to jump for that one. Honest to God. Because the silver cat ring is like... I'm doing the best I can out here. Come on, man. Here we go. Oh. Will it be second death? Oh, no, we're okay. We're okay, people. Everyone, unpucker thy butthole. I shouldn't have died there. I'm sorry. I should have trusted my instinct. Tell you, since I was a teenager, I was one thing my mother always said, like, oh, trust your gut. And I never do. I never do. I always think it's like either fart or like IBS or something. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're kind of safe for now. So there's a lot of cheeky little bosses in here. Well, we are going after the Rotten, the Grave of Saints. You might have uh, recognized this little cool rat cave entrance before. Trust me, this is where the rest of it comes into it. So it's got to do with the Rat Covenant. I believe if you join it, it's been a minute. I don't really fuck with Covenants too much besides the Pilgrims of the Dark Covenant, just for that boss. Um, but I believe if you join the Rat Covenant, you don't even have to fight this boss. But it's now time for the Rat Boss. This guy's, he's seen better days, huh? Hell yeah, when she sucks you dry. <laughs> uh, did he only die once that stream? Yeah, yeah, that, that was the first death. We only just started. I knew, uh, look, uh, let's be honest. If you only get one death out of the well, that's uh, that's going pretty good, I think. This guy probably got off, did he? Mm-hmm. Uh, so death. We're definitely in the double digits by now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's fun in games, though. You trust your gut a bit too much, and you let out a wet fart. It wasn't a fart. Yeah, never trust a fart. I'm telling you. Never. Never. So, yeah, we're still rocking the old Drang Lake shield with the Uchi Katana for now, just until things feel a little uh, safer. But I am putting my points into strength for the moment. Let's see how that goes. I'm, go I'm shooting for 24 strength, but we'll see if we need more. Wouldn't be a from software game without rats or spiders, are we right? Jeez, I actually ended up killing Duke's Dare Freya first go, which was awesome. Because if you get stuck in that laser blast, it's game over. So that was really good. Unfortunately, one of our little baby spiders killed me after the fact. But it still counts. And then I was so hungry last night. It was like midnight. I was ready to kind of clock off mentally. And I went from almost killing the Iron Demon King, or the old Iron King, first try to taking three, three tries. Which I'm not happy about. And they were all like very bullshittery deaths. Actually, it might have been four. Bullshittery. This place always reminded me of... Um, actually, no, I wouldn't remind you. But kind of like Catacombs vibes. Smooth and silky. 
our little crow friends in this game, they went for a, a huge randomizer. I feel like in the other games, you uh, kind of knew what you were going to get from the crows, as long as you gave the right item, right? In this game, it's like, okay, give, you, give me your best items, and we'll see what we can do. And just pull something out from behind. Spider fight was awesome. Yeah, I was happy about that. Very happy. Because I, cause I didn't actually go over, go after any of the vipers. And be careful, these uh, rats will come out of everywhere. And little small enemies, the weaker enemies, the, you think, oh, they're no problem. But they can stun lock you very easily. Roy, Roy the Explorer. Bring it. Got ourselves an invasion fight. I always seem to die once to these things. He's a little knife throwing dude, huh? Sauron. Shoes and fisticuffs. See, there's the rats I was talking about. Is that a parrying knife? I'm not sure what he's using. It was just fisticuffs. He's gonna try and heal now. We said, no! Thou shalt not heal! Wait, what just happened there? Did the, did the rat kill him? I didn't kill him! I didn't kill him! <laughs> did the rat kill him? <laughs> I think the rat bit him in the ass and killed him. I most certainly didn't get that final hit in. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thank you, rat. <laughs> Dead by rat. Happens to the best of us. It's all good. <laughs> Look at these giant skeletons. I love it. Very much like Dark Souls 1. They're like, okay, we don't actually have anything big enough for you. So we're just going to throw your body in there. Dude, I, I got to get like, a clip of that or something. I didn't kill him. Unless it was a massive, like, delayed thing. Uh, not sure if this was this part of the rat covenant to go in there or something. Or maybe the rat was there and you talked to him. Or maybe it's the gender changing uh, coffin. Because uh, this one has a coffin in the game in a couple of places where you can change your gender. If you, if you just feel like shaking it up a little bit. What do I know? Uh, let's see. Yeah, can we invade you and skew? That's funny. That is funny. Oh, here they are now. Three blind mice. See how they poison. In this case, petrify, huh? Not your usual status ailment from a, a rat, though, right? Uh, he's playing offline. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. I, I, I think it would feck it up if I go online, right? I'm a little bit worried about that. Am I putting too much fate into, into the in-game dead counter? Uh-oh. Would I meme? I, yeah, you would meme on me for sure. Like you would bring, you'd come in <laughs> with the with the cancer bills, right? And just start breaking all my armor, just following me around in the darkness, just staring off at the corner. There he goes, <laughs> like freaking Michael Myers and and Dead by Dela. All right, here we go. Time for a cheeky rap boss. Our first boss fight of the stream, nice and early. I hope you're all ready for it. This one, like I was just saying, you can be stun locked forever. And the Uchikatana can actually uh, cause a little bit of trouble here. Because it can keep hitting the goddamn uh, rat statues. Actually, it might be better for me to go two handed here so we can get that kill on the rats. Damn, no. Yeah, see what I was saying about the Uchikatana? You gotta pretty much just keep killing them until the boss arrives. Which is called. The Royal Rat or something like that, or Rat Authority, I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot when you don't two-hand it, you don't get the trust attack. Boom! You some killer rats, man! Has there ever been a, a horror movie about rats? I'm trying to think. I don't think so. We've had a couple of horror games. If you want to call them horror games, a plague tale. It's been a horror movie about crows and, and spiders and everything. Well, has there been a one about rats? Probably, if you look far back enough. Here we go. The Royal Rat Vanguard. That's it. And he's actually hard to tell, but they not too different than the other ones. Alright. The one that's poisoned you is, is the one doing all that damage, boy. <clears throat> you want to find him pretty fast. We, have to, we, have to, we gotta find him. This here he is. It's the one with the mohawk. That's how you know. 
Oh yeah! Now run, run, you bastards! That's right. Come on, hop, hop. Hey, 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 hey! Oh my God, bastard! Run. Hey, get back in your fucking hole. Get back in your hole, Jimmy. You too good for your hole. Go on, you horse. Sickies. Huh? As soon as your little guard dog's gone, you all run crying off into the dark. I like to kill a few of them while they go. It's cool, right? They have their own little society down here. Yeah. Nice. Another one of those fights like the Deacons of the Deep or the Skeleton Lords where it's kind of like, what's the fucking point? But, you know, they're nice little mini-bosses. There he is here. Killed my brother. Is that a, a rat tail? Human. Imagine how you just slaughtered half his brethren. Do you want to join us? Come on, it's cool. It's cause rat genocide and join up. <laughs> it's a, it is. It's just a timer, boss. I agree. I agree. There's a lot like that. Oh, rat with the mohawk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Went too far. How's it going? That's one pesky boss, right? Damn it, guys. I got some rabies. Who who needs some rabies? Rapey babies. Uh, wouldn't I wouldn't mean possibly just to build that does one damage and oh yeah, I've seen people do it. I clipped it for you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Tell you, if there's one thing that this community have done, it's some fantastic clips over the years. Holy hell. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I've been streaming on Twitch for a couple of years now, and it's been fucking awesome. Really cool. You never know when you're just gonna kind of take off, you know? It seems these days you need to be like a Ice Poseidon's cameraman to get somewhere. <laughs> Anybody need a cameraman? <laughs> Hello there, sir. Pleased to meet you. See? Uh, that, that's one hell. Like, the guy couldn't quite pay for the, the, the full grave right there. The full the full coffin. There's one thing I think is kind of disgusting in the world is how much, you know, funeral parlors and stuff, uh, you know, charge for coffins and even for urns for cremations. Like, I know they're going to make a living. I get it. But that should be subsidized by governments, right? Like, Jesus Christ, I've seen people, like, nearly put themselves in debt just to bury a family member. And I said, what the fuck? This guy's kind of hung and inside of his coffin. What a way to go. What a world. What a world. You gotta be careful there, because you can fall all the way through the crack. Usually, that's a good thing. Trust me. In real life, good thing. Dark Souls, bad thing. Speaking of which, I've still got the goddamn cat ring on. Revel me as a dancer. Uh, sorry for missing stuff. Sorry, still asking friend of me on Discord. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm so bad with that kind of stuff. Usually, I think I'm mo most active on Twitter, even though I'm not. I don't tweet that much. <laughs> what does that mean? All right, maybe I should keep. Hold on, boys. Hold on. Let's just keep the old silver cat ring on. All right. Yeah. We appreciate my ankles are not made of glass yet. Damn. The future is 2054. Everybody's ankles are made of glass. Why? What kind of future improvement is that? None. We just thought it'd be funny. It does seem like some stupid thing that would be in the future, doesn't it? Alright, we just gotta get down here without dying, okay? No problem. See, easy pie. Yeah, ma -ma -ma -ma. Ma -ma. Jeez, the Iron Keep kicked my ass yesterday. I went from killing the Smelter Demon on the second try, which I think is pretty fucking decent, but getting back to him must have cost me like seven deaths. What? Cyber? Cyber gave a number with deaths? So the plan for, like, when we're finished... I, the, what might happen is it might be like it might be one of those things where it's almost at the end of a four hour stream and people might have checked out you know so what I might do is like if that happens I'll like restart the stream name it like you know winner announced or whatever and then people will get uh, a notification for that stream so I don't want people to miss the announcement because uh, you know that's, that's like half the fun right there right so I would create a discord server for you with the bots that send notification oh very nice Damn, that's very cool, man. It's a, that's all good. It's all good. I'm, I'm, I, I feel like I'm still too small of a streamer to have um, a Discord server. You're all good. That's very nice of you, though. I appreciate the hell out of you. People do a lot of crazy nice things for me, and I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. This can get pretty nasty down here if you drop down here. I'm trying to get that M over there. It's disgusting. I don't think you can make this jump. It's one of those things that just make you all... Swifty. Oh, maybe you can. Cool. Thought it was one of those tricks, yeah? Through Twitter, because you didn't open your DMs. Open your DMs. <laughs> the Ash Knuckle Ring. Is that one any good? Yeah, I'm all I'm all good. You're too kind. You're far too kind. 
The same way I don't have uh, any merch yet, you know, I'm, I have I have serious self-esteem issues. So I'm like, I don't deserve to put merch out there. But I feel like, uh, you know, you know, fingers crossed, one day we'll get to a, a certain level and I will definitely get a Discord server and merch and, and the whole nine yards. I've even thought of like, oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. I've even thought of like Cyber Houdini Beanish. So there's not too many things that rhyme with Beanie! Oh my god! I thought, I didn't know they all aggroed. Mummy! Kill them before they kill you. And that's why this place is dangerous. And all, they also break the shit out of your armor as well. Ugh. Great heal. <laughs> Great death. Jesus Christ. The future holds many surprises. Hey, Berserk. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, nah, dude, I would love hanging with you guys after streams. Yeah, totally. You need a Discord server, man. Even if you have one viewer, come check out this server at least. Yeah, everything you need to. Oh, cheers. Fuck yeah. I know. I, I, don't, I, I swear to God, I don't know what it is. I can't even explain it. It's like self esteem stuff. I'll always be hard on myself. I think we're all like that secretly. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. So this guy usually is reserved. For guarding the king's doors. You guys might have to help me a little bit. It's so confusing to try and get move the story along. Between the giant memories, uh, the shrine of winter. Oh, man. It's just... It does get really complicated right around Drangleg Castle, for sure. And then when they added in the... Um, oh, yeah. Sublime Bone Dust. That's good. When they added in the, the DLC, some of it is kind of on top of each other. So the Shrine of Winter also holds access to one of the DLC, um, but it also furthers the main story, so you can see how confusing that can be, especially for something as stupid as me. Stupid is, stupid does, sir. I'm stupid. So yeah, we're going down into these nasty, nasty places, the pit, which is, uh, if you couldn't tell, by any time you go very far down in a Dark Souls games, it means Blight Town. In this case, the pit. You always gotta have one, right? Bad frame rate. Bad poison, just nasty. We do have a poison bite ring, which I might actually use. We'll see. I have done this all in the complete wrong order. So it's probably gonna end with the the rotten dying in about three or four hits. But that's probably par for the course. He is a pushover. Just a giant bunch of, of leeches together. Someone compared him to Gravelord Nito, and I'm like, don't you dare! Because I love, I love Nito. Nito's whole fight is so cool. He's just, just a cool, like, this sh shawl made up of other skeletons that scream. Nito is awesome. The Rotten is closer than, uh, he's closer to uh, the Leechmonger from Demon Souls. That's why I fully believe that there's so many connections to Dark Souls 2 and uh, Demon Souls in terms of what they tried to do differently, you know. Demon Souls was hailed for it. Dark Souls 2 was destroyed for it. And it always made me sad. And we got the, the good old spitting fucking statues are back. Yay! <clears throat> Alright, let's get that poison bite ring on. Just to offset stuff. It's not going to help too much though, but it might just... Um, stop me from cursing. Oh, damn! Aridin, thank you so much for the follow. Ring. You guys picking up any new games at the end of January or February? This Bart Simpson doing his thing, I love it. We've got the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. We've got uh, ow, the new Pokemon, which actually looks good. I know like we're going from Dark Souls to play a Pokemon game, but I play all games. The gutter. Then we've got uh, Horizon Forbidden West, of course. Then Dying Light 2. And, and a little game you might have heard of it. Maybe not. Called Elden Ring. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cheesy joke, but yeah. That's what we're all here for. That's what we're all fapping to. Elden Ring. Every day, I'll just edge a little bit closer. The next from software masterpiece. Can Miyazaki do it again? Of course he can. The rumors are they're working on... This is a little bit tricky here. You can fall through the floor and really bust that ass. The rumors are they're working on a... Um, an armored core uh, game, which is a mech shooter game, and possibly a new PS5 exclusive, which people have been saying, Ugh! people have been calling uh, maybe Bloodborne 2. Who knows? Who knows? Busy, busy studio. It's clear they have two teams on the go, you know? So, 
the team maybe that did Sekiro, I feel, might have been the Dark Souls 2 team, and, and so on. Who knows? So we'll see what they're up to afterwards. And then um, the main team did Elden Ring. Do we need all these? Probably not. Bum, 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 bum. I do like the brace and knuckle. I do. It helps the degradation of this. Because I'm telling you, 40 durability on a Uchikitana, it hurts. The walls are alive and the hills are alive. VIP, you guys want the link? Hell yeah. Hey, DPG, how's it going, man? How are you doing today? Yeah. Toxic time, let's go. Oh, no. Anything but that. What's up, man? I would really like Bloodborne 2. Right? It's your favorite Souls game. Me too, dude. I'm, I'm a huge horror fan in general. I love it. Even the like the cheesy 80 horror movies, they're my favorite. They're my favorite because you get to laugh. You get like grossed out by all the over-the-top gore and the funny acting. And there's usually a bit of nudity too. So it's, got, it's fun for the whole family. M maybe? <laughs> so I love Bloodborne. Like, what, what a great twist, you know? What a great twist. My goodness, it starts off as a beautiful Victorian gothic horror, you know, werewolves, vampires, crazy fucking Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde stuff going on. Then it's like, no, we're gonna flip it, here comes the moon, and here comes the, we're gonna flip the whole game on its edge, and it's a Lovecraftian horror mixed with eldritch, eldritch monstrosities and parallel universes and stuff. Beautiful, it is a masterpiece, masterpiece. And it's actually my favorite combat of the series as well. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't agree on that one. But I love it. It pay I am a very aggressive, blunt force instrument when it comes to Dark Souls. As you can see, you know, anyone else would like, why isn't he rolling? Why isn't he getting out? Why isn't he using, like, uh, gold pine resin or any of these things? Because I'm stubborn. I'm very stubborn. But we're a game where you it pays to be aggressive, like uh, Bloodborne. It's fucking amazing. Hello, lads. Just dropping in. See how y'all doing? Did you eat your clothes? Like, Jesus Christ. So there's a lot of um, lightable lanterns down here. And, you know, it helps with the dark. But more importantly, it's supposed to help you not get lost. Because you do get lost down here. Well, the funny thing is, when Dark Souls Remastered came out... It kind of made uh, Blight Town easy. I know that sounds weird. It's like, not Blight Town, but it really was. Once the frame rate was up to par, and you and the draw distance and the resolution and everything, it really took the fear away because Blight Town was unreal. Like, you're still going to die down there, don't get me wrong. But nowhere, nowhere near where it was in the original. In the original, you down there, because the way the lighting engine works, it kind of switches over. When you go into Blight Town, you couldn't see in front of your face. It was the scariest shit ever. And then, like, the toxic dart wielders, the, the fire dogs. It was just heinous in your anus. It was uh, from software at their most evil. And they love it, and I love it. Yeah, so if you want to uh, join the giveaway, you have to follow on there. So you probably got a whole lot of uh, points. So down in the bottom corner of the chat, you'll see a little cyber coin. So once you get 1,000 of those cyber coins, you'll be able to click on that and you'll see giveaway entry. And it's one per person. And once you click on that, it'll give you a little uh, window to uh, do your uh, debt protection. Um, and yeah, so we've been we've been doing pretty good. This is like the we streaming it pretty much all this week. And I'm going to keep going until we finish it. I'm hoping at the weekend. Woo! I'm gonna be doing all the DLC, so take that into account for sure. And we're using the in-game uh, um, debt counter at Majula to to keep an eye on our debts. I'm playing offline, so that's how that works. But yeah, I am a novice at best. Trust me, I I really am. Oh yeah, this this is an important gate for later, right? Uh, I think that one's connected to the Pilgrims of the Dark. Or maybe it is, and I can't remember. It's been a minute. So, for the, for the Pilgrims of the Dark and the Dark Lurker boss, which I actually hope to do as the final boss of this stream. You know, five hours from now or whatever. Um, yeah, that's going to be tough. Hopefully, by then, we'll be doing the power stance. That's what I'm going for. We shall see. Sometimes it's better just to find the quickest way to the bottom and all this mess. Honestly. Because otherwise, it's just a liability to fall and break your ass. Look at these nasty, nasty barrels. Who just dropped down? Jimmy? Is that you? So yeah, we're in for a wild ride. The DLC is exceptional in Dark Souls 2. It might even be some of the best DLC besides the old hunters in uh, Bloodborne. But all of uh, no, all of the DLC from all the games is great. Like I think that's where they, they really shine. 
Oh yeah, these god skinless dog yokes. And then these barrels, I think that orange liquid that comes out of it uh, degrades your armor, I think. So they really want you to wear you down. That's the whole idea. Just like uh, Blighttown. They're not, they don't really want to kill you as much. They just want to torture you and wear you down. Break your armor. Poison you. Let your health slowly degrade. But never quite kill you. True torture. Love it. What's the timer above the torch? So, as you collect more torches, it's such a funny way of doing it. As you collect more torches in the game, it builds up your overall timer. So, it's actually 2 hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> I, I think by the end of it, one time I had 11 hours. It's crazy. So, yeah, your torch will last that long. As long as you don't uh, get rid of it. And then you can light it off uh, pretty much anything. Any any light fixture, any, fl any naked flame you can light a torch off of. Which is cool. But most of them down here... Uh, I think there is one puzzle if you light certain torches it activates something. But otherwise they're meant to be uh, show you where you've been. Because you will inevitably die. You die like 30 times. I'm telling you. I'm te Oh Jesus. I honestly would put it even beyond that. Beyond. You guys ever watch uh, the Beyond podcast back in the day? Beyond. It's a PlayStation podcast. Another fragrant branch of your... Yeah, so, so your favorite is Blood Bomb. What's everybody else's favorite? Sekiro was something else, right? Something very different. I almost couldn't... Like, when I first seen it, I'm like, is this, is this? Is this from software? But I think it's now most definitely um, carved out its... Oh, you dirty bitch. It's carved out its own path. Something else. I think it's the first from software game, in, you know, since uh, Demon Souls. To... Uh, oh, hell yeah. To... I should be dead. To not have stamina. It's tough. Very tough. I mean, you know the way we like we like to call them like Soulsborns and that, and everyone's like, "What the hell do we call them?" When Sekiro came out, I will be playing through Sekiro. Now it's like Sekiro Soulsborn. <laughs> All right, shit. Where do I go from here then? Let me see. This place is such a goddamn mess. I'm gonna need to jump across here. Can you imagine how long it took for these guys to build all this shit in the dark? In the dark! Woohoo! We're heading towards the fog walls. That's the only certain. But they're not all boss fog walls. Just general. General! I did actually have a dead counter on the side. I was, I've never used a dead counter or counted my deaths before, but I am a novice. It's the best way of doing it. That's my way of copium, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm a novice. No, you're fucking bad at the game, Saber. You're fucking... <laughs> you're bad at the game. Novice my ass. <laughs> mm. Copium. Just sucking on us. Suck on that copium, man. Did I fall in order? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did right. Yeah, Star Souls. You're, da you're right, you're right. I've actually seen someone call it that. There's been so many. We've had, like, a... Uh, Horror Souls, like uh, even Crash Bandicoot was called a Souls game for a while there, which is funny. But these guys wake up. It's so weird. I the character models all jank them. What happened here, ledge? Oh, I can hear the doggies. Come on over. Look at that. Look at that dislocated jaw. Ah, oh, it's like a mole rat. Or something. Remember, I can't actually uh, with the torch out. I can't actually block. Yeah, you gotta be aggressive. Be -E, aggressive. Uh, Dash Souls one, but I still haven't played that. Okay, no worries, no worries. Hopefully you'll get to play them in time. If you if you look out, you might get the uh, I think it's called the Fire Fades trilogy, or maybe it's just called Dark Dark Souls trilogy. It's pretty much all the games together with all the DLC in a lovely cheeky little box. I'll tell you one thing, uh, Sekiro has to be one of the games to hold on to its value like nothing. For some reason, the disc version is still like 50, 60 bucks. It's like, holy crap. There was a time when it was like Lego games for some reason, because so many kids were buying them. That they would hold on to their value. Not so much now. You can get like a dime a dozen of them for like a tenner. But yeah, I have Sekiro, and I want to play it on PS5 uh, to see, you know, what that 60 frames doesn't make much of a difference. The reason why I suck at Sekiro, I have finished it, but only once. The rest of the games I've finished multiple times. Is because I don't actually parry. If you couldn't tell, I can't parry. Timing is not my thing in life and in video games. I always fuck up the timing and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just never been able to take the time to learn to parry. 
I've got a couple of successful parries off, but it is all complete dumb luck. And I'll be honest about that. When it comes to a game like Sekiro, it definitely makes parrying easier, but it's such a big part of the game that it's like, uh, you better get good. I still don't get perfect parries off, I've noticed that. You'll get the, the odd block parry. Alright, how do we get up there again? Someone's jumping around. Hello? You stop making noise up there, I'm trying to have a shit. I'm trying to have a shite in peace. Yeah, and it was nice to see... Like, I wasn't expecting much from uh, Jedi Fallen Order, because it's EA after all. But it was very, very good. So, yeah, Dark Souls has influenced a whole generation of games and a new genre. And I am very, very happy about that. I tried them all. I've, I've played uh, so many. I even played the uh, the 2D Souls likes. Like, uh, uh, Hollow Knight, Blasphemous. I played Ashen, The Surge. Uh, Hellpoint is amazing. That's like uh, sci-fi souls. You're up in space parallel universes they open up a black hole that just has all the monsters coming through it's really good it has a really comprehensive uh, jump as well which we know from software don't be liking that jump button too much what's wrong did someone jump miyazaki and he just hates using the jump button oh, missed it and missed the hole that's what she said the wrong hole I know how to party, but I don't know how to party. Exactly. Cyber Houdini knows how to party. Uh, but yeah, we should be getting a Jedi Fallen Order 2 this year, but it will be called something else. Jedi something. Jedi. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Jedi. Jabba the Jedi. I don't know. Who knows? Alright, mate. You fucking hit me. Isn't it crazy how useless bleed damage is in this game? Christ. Like, that's another reason why I've always loved the Uch Katana was the added bleed damage. If you're going up against a really chunky son of a bitch who won't die, the bleed damage makes all the difference. Even some bosses were uh, getting hit with the bleed damage, but no, in Dark Souls 2, look at this son of a bitch. Look at this son of a bitch. This guy will get you on the ground. He won't get you here. When you're on the ground and you just like start to feel a poison. That's why. Can I help you, sir? No refunds. No returns. Let's get this god damn butterfly bastard. Oh, they're still falling down, Jeffrey. I know I got these bastards. Oh, I should be dead. Where'd you come from, dude? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cat Nigel? How's everyone's week been? I hope you're all doing good. Yeah, we still got like what, like five or six weeks till Elden Ring. Please, God, no more delays. Please, Jesus. Okay, your top is ah, oh. and oh, number five is Demon Souls. Okay, just didn't like it at all. The hell was that? Was that the police coming? FBI, open up! Thank you for the host, Lacona. Appreciate that, dude. What is your thoughts on Elden Ring? It looks very, very exciting. I'm not a big fan of magic, but damn, I love how it looks. It's going to be wide open. It seems like they've taken things from Bloodborne. They've taken things from Sekiro. And obviously, uh, uh, Dark Souls. A lot of people have been calling it Dark Souls 4. Which, trust me, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it is a new IP. Um, which is cool. Yeah, so from Sekiro, they seem to have taken a little bit of the stealth. Or at least just the crouch. From Bloodborne, you're going to have these really cool dungeons you can explore. And they're not kind of similar to the Chalice dungeons, just not uh, procedurally generated. Which is, a lot of people didn't like the Chalice dungeons, but I did. If it's optional, it ain't optional to me, I gotta play it all. Because it's another chance at more bosses. So yeah, I'm excited. I haven't played the closed network test. Anyone here, have you guys played it? Were you lucky enough to get in there? I mean, in a way, I'm kind of happy because it means I'm going to go in raw dog when it comes out. <laughs> Hello, Elden Ring. Hello. I know it's our first date, but I'm going in raw dog, girl. <laughs> uh, I was still to finish DS3, so my top might change. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice. How far have you gotten in Dark Souls 3? I think there's always that one point where you hit that brick wall, right? Maybe it's a, a timing thing, you know? It's hard to have time to play every game these days, right? I remember when I was a kid or even a teenager, I was able to like just play 18 hours gaming all day kind of thing. You'd be like, 
you just open up the blinds behind you and it'd be like daylight. So I'm like, oh fuck! Uh, not so much anymore, but basically what I do now is when I come home from work, I would game anyway, whether I'm hanging with friends or whatever. And it naturally just became a perfect fit for, for streaming. But yeah, sometimes I do stream a little bit too late, maybe like 2 in the morning. You feel it the next day. Alright, how do we get over here again? Gotta do it, man. We're so close. I can almost, almost stretch my dick over there. Uh, Demon Souls, it felt way too slow. Okay, okay. Dungeons are really interesting for a game like Souls. It did give a lot more replayability. If it help on DS3, I have an OP build. Oh, yeah. You would game in your free... Yeah, I do, I do. I do game in my free time. Mostly, uh, I've been into Ark. The dinosaur survival game. Not usually my cup of tea, but uh, thanks to some, some good friends. Been hanging out, taming some dinos. That's a, a really good mix. Oh no, I missed it. I missed it. Death! Death, baby! That's what you get for jumping in the dark. That's what you get. There's the chalk up another one, boys. Did you play Neo? Yes, I did. Holy crap. Team Ninja knocked it out of the park with Neo. Holy hell. That's amazing. That's like a Ninja Gaiden meets Dark Souls. That is fucking awesome. I didn't get to play Neo 2 though. I got to play the beta and then I didn't buy the game. I just ran out of time. But I will one day. I enjoyed it. I think it's actually harder than any Dark Souls. Especially the DLC. There was a point in that game where every time I did another mission, it's more mission based than open world. Uh, every time I did another mission, I felt like I had to level up almost 50 times. It's a little bit, the element stuff in, in Neo is a little bit OP, but it's still well put together. Feels amazing, great builds, the stances and all that's awesome. I see a lot more games copying that, like Ghost of Tsushima. But it makes sense, I mean, if you're a samurai, you better have different, like, stances. Stance in your pants. Alright, let's try going on this way. Oh, that's unusual. Now be careful, there's some nasties living in these, uh, ponds. Have you got a problem, sir? I forgot to light a torch. Yo! That's where the flame butterfly comes in. Hold on, there's someone else creeping. Who's that creeping in my dark? It's not Freddy Fazbear. I used to better draw this. You see that guy over there? Cool. So what you can do, you can use the flame butterfly. That will light a torch. Don't ask me why. Maybe you're killing a butterfly to light a torch. Who knows? Or maybe it's a fancy name for just a flint and steel. I always forget I'm still in the goddamn menu. What did you think of Neo? The change of position was very cool. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Really nice um, weapon selection as well. Yeah, they kind of all bled into, you know, different uh, sets. Oh, oh, shit. There you are. You can see a little bit there. Look. Creepy! These hand leeches. They are nasty. Look at them. Something keeps hitting me. Hell yeah. Which one of these bastards? You, you, some of the statues you think are pretty normal are already half destroyed and they still get you. What you know about rolling down in the deep? I, I, I'm going to have to ask Adele or something. Rolling in the deep. Woo. Please, sir, don't get up and kill me. There's a good chance I may never find my body. If you find my body out there, please don't violate it. Or at least ask first. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! This is one we... Wait, I'm on back at the start! <laughs> oh shit, fucking hell. Uh-oh. Now that's what you call progress. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny! Oh my, squished, squished wee. That's fucking awesome. That when you tell her to, to step on it. <laughs> it's like white hair dome. I love it. Wide monkey wiener. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm poisoned now. Damn, I'm not paying attention. Wide wiener. <laughs> Good God, man. Poison, not that hard to deal with in this game. It's toxic. It's the sound bitch. Let's have a little dance, shall we? Poison throwing knife. Alright, I gotta find a better way of getting down here. I don't wanna be stuck here. The funny thing is, this gutter is way harder. Once you get to the black gulch, it's like, okay. Just run through it. 
Oh no, here comes the dog. Nice doggy. Hello, dog. Oh, is it a dog? Who knows what it is? It's a hellhound from the hounds of hell. Did you totally you messing with my vibe, man? How do you get down there to get that item? Is this how? No, that's an invisible fucking walkway. Great. Great! Dude, I shouldn't be doing this stuff. This is how I end up dead. I don't want to fight the dog. There, I said it. I ain't fighting you. It's been too much death. Oh, God. God damn. You have to break some of these by falling. No, you're locking onto the wrong guy, numbnuts. You gonna drink after I press it three times, or what? Got that heartbeat, though. There is a... A very fast way of doing this, and I am not doing it. I wanna be going down, not up. Son of a... Oh, I see my body! There it is! Give it to me! You don't own it! I think there was like 10k souls on it. Uh, I think if you like all the torches... Oh yeah, was that it? All the torches. I thought they were mainly just to help you out. Hold on, I'm making... I'm getting the atmosphere going. Jeez, that's like the first time I've ever seen them not try and pounce on you. Wow! It's AI, it's learning. What'll it do next? Make toaster strudel. Why is it always toaster strudel with you, Cyber Jesus Christ? Right, hold on, just edge off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, a little bit more. Just come on. Don't be afraid. Oh, my God. That scared the shit out of me. There's a fucking dog down here as well. Why did they put my souls here? This is ages ago. 1,091 damage. Oh, no, this is where I jumped and fell. I think you can make this jump. Hear me out, right? You can make this jump. You, you gotta bust the wall through or something. Is that it? No? Maybe this guy knows. Jesus, calm down! God damn, you're like a BTS fan. Waving your stick around in everybody's face. Ah, slowly tick down gives me PTSD. Oh, jeez, I love that. Fucking. Okay, where the hell do I go from here? Mommy! Can we go around the edge? Let me hedge, hedge the ledge. Can we make this jump? It's such an awkward angle. Do I dare do it again? Am I stupid enough to try a second time? Fuck it! No risk, no reward, poison. I've only been fucking poisoned, mate. This is a bonfire. Fuck chicken strips. I actually think there's like three bonfires down here. Central gutter. Hell yeah. It's a bowling term, and also a pussy term. I gotta write down the central gutter. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else over here besides the cheeky? Some of these. You can you not break through this? Maybe it's this one. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Your souls be placed in the last soul, even ground. Yeah. Sometimes it, it does be a bit weird, though, right? That's something I've noticed in a lot of uh, clunky souls, you know, the fake souls games. Uh, they'll fuck up where you're, you'll actually end up just losing your dead body. They'll fuck up where you died last. Like, think. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a fake ladder. Fake news, fake ladder. All right, fine. Someone else is using it. Do I dare jump across there? We found our first little hand leech as well. They're really creepy. They come into play. What the damage he's able to do. See, I still feel... Ah. Uh, fucking Uchi. Smacking walls. I still feel really weak in the game for some reason. I think it's just because I'm wearing one piece of armor. One piece. And I don't have a lot of good pieces. A good piece of armor right now. A good piece of ass. Is the hide knife stuff. Oh my god, that stuff is insane. You could go full, full turtle full tilt but it's gonna drag us over the edge 
You are the weakest link. I haven't put much into vitality. In fairness. Why is the heartbeat still doing that thing? That's freaking me out, man. Stop it, man. Stop it. Nah, right, this is just a like a second part of the the gutter. Doesn't lead to any boss. And this thing is like I don't know what is this thing, honestly. Does anybody know? Like a big fucking slug. There's one thing from software I love to do is to make the weirdest fucking creations. Do you remember that weird um parasitic centipede that was at the bottom of Blight Town? And you had to like hit him in the booty and he would always like kill you at the first go. Do you remember that thing? What the fuck was that thing? That was alien. It had to be alien. Glass cannon. Look at this thing. It's like the queen. And the, all this smog she's spitting out is actually uh, armor armor and weapon breaking. That's what it is. Damn girl I love. She'd be out here looking like Fiona from Shrek. Look at it. With less boils. Boils. Fuck you chicken strips. They're the bugs from the poison swamp. Oh really? Yeah, what the fuck? It's so weird. Ugh. I'll never forget. Like, that was the thing that really shook me to my core when I first played Dark Souls. There's a lot of weird stuff. Like, the cursed frogs definitely give you a jump scare when you first meet them because you inevitably fall through the floor in the depths, right? Most of us, anyway. But it wasn't until I got to that thing in, in uh, Blight Town. I just. It's one of those things. Do you ever, like. You'll see like a report. Oh, we got Fingirl's armor. That's really good as well. Is it better than Drang Lake? Oh, it is. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go for that. Badass, headless. Did you ever see those um, reports where they'll find like an ancient creature underwater that's never been found before or, or something like that? And oh my god. It's not human. Clearly. Alright. Oh, I didn't equip that. Yeah, so by unequipping the torch, it puts it out. So you either have to find another light source, like a bonfire. Or something else. What do we get for killing this thing? Fuck off. I, I'm really sure there is something it does. 42k souls. That's just a game theory. I have no idea what the bug thing... Yeah, it's one of the witches, I assume. Oh, cool. That, yeah, see? Because the one shot we have of all of them praying together, there's, almost, there's like seven sisters, right? And people have like... You know, done so much research to try- Ah, oh, the fuck! The tiny hole! No! Mummy! Damn! There's been holes like that where you wouldn't fall through, but that one got me. But yeah, there's there's been uh, a lot of videos trying to place all of the of the seven witches of Isolith. A lot of them more simple. And then I think there was only ever one of them that ever survived. See, that's a dumbass death right there. One that only ever survived, you know, going hollow or turned into a nasty demon. The usual. And that's the one who sells you the rest of the pyromancy stuff. That's why I should have got me torch back out. Tits on a ball. So you just don't know what, what's going to be an actual hole. If I can walk between this, fine. Then uh, that one got me. Every hole is a goal for Miyazaki. Daddy Jackie. Too far? Definitely. Ah, oh, The ceaseless. Yeah, the ceaseless discharge was one of the brothers, right? I'm not sure that was it. And he's guarding the gold hemmed robes. He's guarding one of his si Actually, no, I think it, didn't, it was his own clothes. Maybe the ceaseless discharge was one of the sisters. Maybe you're right. He was, either, he was either guarding his sister's dead body or his own stuff. Who knows? It might be one of those weird situations where... Look, we fucking died out here, boys. That's embarrassing. This motherfucker designed just to throw you off the edge. Um, look at that. Look at that. That's the one of those holes you walk by and you go, I'm never going to fall into that. Ha! But yeah, it might be one of those situations where one of the sisters might have been a brother or vice versa. Because uh, they, they do like doing that a lot, you know. 
It's all about family. I just want Miyazaki to do a Fast and Furious game already, you know? <laughs> Every single one of these games has some family connection in it, right? You know? Some ties are deeper than others. Okay, so where do we go from here? That was a fucking dead end and a fucking death as well, god damn it. Pretty sure there's a visible wall or something around here, though, is there? Am I just thinking out loud? Son of a. Every hole is a goal. Every mole is a goal. Molly, molly. Probably faked her dead and left her clothes there. That's. Yeah, that's good thinking. Good. Ceaseless Discharge is one of, another one of those kind of bosses, like the old Iron King and the Demon God, where you're like, what the fuck is this? What was the purpose, Mr. Anderson? It's still cool. I think at this point, anyone who plays Dark Souls 1 goes for the the cheese, right? The cheese. To get him stuck. God, do you think you got all the fucking statues and you don't? It's the bonfire that always confuses the PS at him. Here we go. This will take us down. I'm going to take you higher. Don't get up. Please. Let me end your suffering. Boink. That's a lot of ladders. Guy and his sister were faked her dad and think she's dead, but then she's not. Spider girl, you enter. Really? She's en yeah. So she's Quilana's sister. Uh, no, maybe that's yeah. That's Quilana is her name. Quilag is the boss. And Quilana, and then she gets fused into the wall. And then if you give her something like what is it, eighty humanity, she'll actually start talking to him. And she's part of that whole covenant. Such a crazy. I love. So much. Like, how did the, the fan base find this stuff? I fucking love it. I love that they still find stuff so long afterwards. He's gonna blow! Imagine if every dude's fucking... Every time we went and fucking just came, that it was an explosive. Be awesome. There'd be deaths everywhere. Ugh. We lost another one. Spontaneous complosion. No? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, he's the pyro one. Recently watched some Vati. Yeah, no, that's a, it's, I'd say that's something we all have in common as well. That dude is a goddamn uh, mastermind, huh? Holy. I haven't watched his Elden Ring stuff. Because I kind of want to go in. Bare ass. Bare bones. Bear down. I don't want to know too much about Elden Ring. I actually prefer to watch those videos kind of as I'm playing them. Because the lore is just amazing. It's better than any series out there. Better than any book. Better than Lord of the Rings, goddammit. There, I said it. And I love that series. Stonk. Alright, we made it down, boys. We're safe, right? Right? Mommy. Damn, look at the damage he did. This is what I'm talking about. How can a measy little fuckwad do so much damage? God damn it. My health's good. I'm like in the... I'm in like the... 1400 or something like that. It's good. It's, it's good. So it has to be my my protection. I'm gonna deal with these bastards. I'm gonna I'm gonna them all. Sucks is no matter how far away when you hit it, it still counts. Splash damage is the weirdest bastard. It gets me in a lot of games. Wait, what? Lightning sharp though? Possible to fight if you don't cheese him. Yeah, yeah. I have beat him without cheesing him, but it, yeah, you end up having to come back way later, and it's just a pain in the hole. Actually, this might just be a death. Oh my fucking god, he's fucking dead. There's the real boss fog. Oh no, I put the torch away again. I should have lit this first. I almost forget that this fucking thing makes you put it away. Is there anything else down here? Nice. Invati with trust. I love it. 30 humanity unlocked secret passage. Okay, okay. Yeah, to save the sun, bro. Uh, you gotta save the sun, bro. You can't go back this way. So it's gotta be that one over there, maybe. Is that the one with the chest? Mm. I I didn't find the, the, the girl who sells... The witch who sells you the... Pyro magic for ages, oh my god. She's she's like hidden in plain sight. 
I do like running around collecting all the shit in the poison blight town swamp. It's not needed at all. Where do I where do I go from here? Maybe maybe that hole I created is no. Nah. nah, we gotta go back up to go back down. Right. Small price to pay. Yes it is. And if you just uh, harvest them from the rats, it's not even that much, right? You get really good RNG with those rats. Easy clap. This is a fucking mage. Might actually be behind here. One of these. Let me take you higher. I thought that was. And it's just that item. You need a plus five plane before she shows herself. Ah, okay. Interesting. I think I must pick one of those up myself. Alright. Okay. We haven't made much progress from that bonfire. Damn it, I'm trying to find the right way. Down, it mightn't even be in this area. Over to the fog wall. God damn heartbeat. Stop, man, you're freaking me out. Can you see the fog wall from here? Yeah, you can. Right the mail lottie! That's P, that's all you can see. That's all you can see. That's all you can say. Is it behind these? I feel like it was behind something. Maybe it's this one here. You wouldn't think there's that many ladders hidden, but by Jesus there. This might be the one. Might be no. This is hell. Hell better. No, I don't think it's over here at all. I'm lost now. I'm lost. Weapon can slice easily through concrete statues that shoot little acid in. Yeah, I know. But then, can't do the easiest shit. I love literal acid. You suffered from acid reflux. Try literal acid. You'll never suffer again. <laughs> End your suffering with literal acid. Hmm. Any idea which is the right one? Maybe it's a matter of jumping. We got down to the bottom, but I think that is all that's down there. It's such a weird thing, but you gotta kinda go underneath this fucking wall or something. It's been a minute, I'm sorry. I think the last time I played this one was like three years ago. I'm afraid I was very, very drunk. This is just an empty ladder, right? No, it's not. This is the good ladder, is it? No? Maybe. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Beans, what the fuck? No, this is the same place we were. Beans, what the fuck? This is just a dead end down here, right? This doesn't lead over to the fog wall. I want to jump off this. I want to jump off this so friggin' bad. Maybe you can survive this, can you? <clears throat> Sometimes the render is your friend, and other times, no render. <clears throat> Sorry, fuck. I think my voice is actually fucked from doing that like two days on the trot. <clears throat> I'm alive! And I got a fragrant branch! It was the right place. Guys. So this brings you into the black gulch. I think I might have missed a boss here, though. Damn it. I knew I knew I had found the right place. And then second guessed myself. Again. Bastard! Come in here, he's fucking second guessing himself again. Cool. This place is actually really cool, but completely worthless and pointless. Because they don't do anything with it. Fucking Charlie came down here, ran from here all the way to the boss, the rotten, and then sliced him in two. Because he was that OP. You got past the centipedes, the nasty hand leeches, all the poison. It's like bioluminescence. There's also a 
Very important person we need to talk to down here. Yes. The Dark Seeker. If you want to take on the Dark Lurker, you got to talk to the guy in the wheelchair. We did the one in the Shaded Woods. There's one down here. And then the final place you talk to him is in Drang Lake Castle. To find him here, it's an absolute fucking ball ache. Really is. All these statues are going to turn into your very best poison friend. What the fuck? Beans! Alright. Trying to use uh, the, the fire sword to get rid of them because uh, the old durability is not the best. Ah, you're back. Yes, welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Got a number in mind regarding the giveaway. Lovely. Don't take it personal, though. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Some some of like the closest people on here have guessed in the hundreds. So, and you know what? Like, oh, it's, it's some. It, I, this is what I was saying before about Dark Souls and. If you're in, like, a bad mental space, you'll actually play worse. Maybe that's just the norm for video games, but I'm telling you. I feel it. If I'm, like, going through shit that day, and the beans, what the fuck, you know, then I actually find myself... He still poisoned me? Impressive. That really sucks. Eat your num nums. Eat your num nums. It still took a good bit off me. I was hoping I would destroy it before it got me. I don't really. This is the slow way of doing it, right, boys? Fuck this. Hello? There you go. There's your sleep paralysis demon right there, boys. Hell yeah. Wake up with that motherfucker sucking on your innards. I don't know. This is one of these uh, nasty. Oh, dirty bitch. Dirty bitch. Spray me again, you dirty bitch. <laughs> what the fuck kind of playthrough is this? 132. Okay, okay. That sounds really good. Average deaths for a DS1 run is over 200. Wow. That's Dark Souls 1. This isn't Dark Souls 1. <laughs> it's a lot more gank. Yeah, and we have three DLC for this one. Whereas Dark Souls 1 has only one DLC. Dark Souls 3 has two. Just to confuse the piss out of you. Bloodborne is one. And Sekiro got none. Aww. Still holding on hope for that DLC though. Any day now, we'll get that Sekiro DLC, right? Any day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, leech me. Oh yeah, centipede me. Fuck, his character model's in the way. Squeeze me. I wish it would save. And we get fucking so excited. We get invited. We get invaded. Where is he? Because you're leeching me, baby. Driving me. I didn't know they aggroed so far. I thought they went back in their little pond. I'm gonna die here. Oh my god! Uh, yep. Fuck! I didn't know they aggroed that far. I wouldn't have ran ahead. I didn't know they aggroed. Dirty bastards! Usually they get back into the pond because they're meant as a jump scare. Damn. If your wiener looks like that, please consult a doctor or an exorcist. I don't know, whatever you think. Centipede me. <laughs> oh my god. Sekiro, yeah. Oh my god. Whoo. I didn't know that she said one. 49 degrees on a Thursday. It's quite warm and it's January 2022. Thank you for that. Country Western town. It's beautiful. Let me, let me miss my hometown of Texas, Nevada. Yep, I know, I know geography. You guys in the U.S., you have so many like towns named after states. There's like, there's Oklahoma, and then there's Oklahoma City, but then there's Oklahoma City. Honest to God, but it's pronounced Oklahoma. I don't know. It's crazy. How do you, how does anybody get anything done? How, no wonder how everyone's packages are delayed. Oh, you meant Oklahoma City, not Oklahoma City. Oh. <laughs> Telling you, it's like the history books just had a uh, what did they call it? A veto. I want to veto this town. I don't like the name of it. What, what's wrong with it? It's called Dick's Fart. I don't like it anymore. What's wrong with Dick's Fart? It's in, I was born and raised in Dixfart. What do you want to change it to? Something completely different? What, what's this? Dix Fartington? Okay. 
It's not much of a change, but I'll accept it. On the grounds that Dick Fartington is awesome. <laughs> Don't make me slap you, silly. Damn. You talk to your mother with that voice? I hope you do. Mom, I'll slap you, silly. Feels like it's 55. See, I, you're not making any sense to me. Because I come from the land of Celsius. I come from the land of Celsius. So when you say 49 degrees, that lo sounds like I'm going to... I could start cooking some bacon outside. Leech. Take my, lo my strong leech hand. We did this part. Is this leech going to... I think they, do, do they? Yeah, they do. Okay. She fucking hates me. Alright. Will we try and run through? Oh, I, have to, I have to pick up my dead body. My wee body! Hold on, lads! Whoop, 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 whoop. I think at the second uh, centipede, that is where... Your boy is... Oh, fuck. Please drink faster, faster, kill pussycat. Uh, the centi second centipede is where you meet your future wife. That's where you meet uh, a dude you need to find for the pilgrims of the dark. This guy's... Oh, no, not... The leeches come down here, too? Two? Lads, come on now. Who asked? I'm still poisoned. Mud check! Ah! Nanico! Quickly! Move, sir! Oh no, his character model is gonna block me though, isn't it? Move! Fucking move! No! No! No, no, no! What kind of piss ant is that? I fucking free his ass and he still kills me. Ah! God, what's the point of using the fragrant branch of yore when it's just fragrantly in your fucking face? Son of a bitch! There's a, there's a, there's a bonfire over there. Dirty little bastard. They should call it fragrant branch of gank. Fuck, and he just stands around. You saved this person from living like an eternal life of petrification. He's like, oh hi, smell my finger. You know, like, what, what, what's the point of that? That's just a nasty finger. Get that finger away from me. Good God. A thousand years waiting to s someone to smell his finger. Let's be honest. It was all my fault. I did the one... I broke the one rule you don't break in Dark Souls. That is, running past enemies. Then there's the other rule you don't break. Basically, there's a lot of rules you're not allowed to break. Oh, what even got me there? Santa Penis! I'm here... To join the holy matchney fucking said the penis all right this is my fucking bonfire bitch everybody just chill now god go on. i love hidden bonfires remember you know that bonfire you find in the tomb of giants in the pitch black down in dark souls one it's my favorite because you're you're at your lowest you want to give up You've been chased by skeleton dogs, skeleton frogs, and woodland child Victor. When you hear of woodland child Victor, you expect like Peter Pan to pull up, you know? When he's in tights on. Not this guy. He's compensating for a bad name. I ain't no woodland child, bitch. Ow. Mom, he backstabbed me. <laughs> Let us face off in front of the bonfire. Victor gets to shit at the bonfire. With the gods. Imagine if you could break bonfires like chests. Let's not give them ideas, boys. Well done. Epic fail. Epic. What was that uh, old tabuk uh, tabuscus uh, thing? Win. Epic fail or something. God, those were the days, huh? Oh, the, inter the internet was so naive and fun back then, huh? Nah. Uh, the days before Sky Does Minecraft tried to do your little brother. Whoops. And call me Carson was calling up your sister. Boom! Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Too soon? Too soon. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Alright, will we go on and take on the rotten? I'm a bit rotten myself. Jesus, what did I have for dinner? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> what are those? That's my butthole. <laughs> ASMR sniffing. Move out of the way, Amaranth. I'm coming for your booty. 
literally and figuratively. <laughs> well, originally there were gonna be mimic bonfires. Oh yeah, an explosive fake bonfire. There is some in this. We do get the explosive fake bonfires. But luckily they don't hurt. Oh, the old uh, scholar of the first sin, Aldea, likes to jump scare you. It's nothing quite like a suspicious character wanting you to come on over to the dark side by blowing up the one safe haven you have, a bonfire. He never apologizes, it's just this giant, nasty abomination. Hello, my eyeball's up here, my mouth's here. He's like that one uh, Picasso painting. How cool is it down here? Like, this is tell you how nasty and poison this is. It's even taken on some dinosaur there. Alright, let's we're gonna straight shot straight for the for the rotten. The rotten. Oh, we nailed it, boys. No poison. Why does it do that animation when you get poison? Hold on, we got ch Woodland Child Gully now. Lots of Woodland Children. Oh, the beautiful Woodland Children. Is that the same one we just fought? Asking for a friend. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I've never been this far away from home. And oh my god, I can't believe it. I think I just dropped my fucking iPhone. What happened to Lily Allen? She was a bit of alright, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of... And she disappeared. Dude... I, I can't help you change your name, dude. You'll always be known as the Woodland Child. You've got a big shield and a giant butcher blade. You're overcompensating for something. I can't help you. Sorry, Miyazaki does not accommodate dick extensions, but you can try the dragon tooth. All them teeth and no toothbrush. That's what makes Woodland Child Gully so honorary. Have a little zipper of my nipple. Damn. Who needs iframes when you got fucking F frames, am I right, boys? Fuck you, frames! Banished! Never come back! But thank you for the human effigy. What happens? I have this horrible, horrible uh, look where as soon as I use a human effigy to bring myself back from, you know, zombie land, I immediately die. <laughs> It is a curse, it is my curse to bear, you know? Like the third ball as well. I don't, it's okay. My racing wheel arrives tomorrow. Damn, dude, you're spoiling yourself. I love it. What's the occasion? Are you gonna do some racing wheel streams? It's gonna be like, um, like Poker Lulz. <laughs> What's the biggest streamer you guys watch? I'm always interested to see because you go, you see these big streamers and, uh, you know, even like mid to big size streamer. I, I, I consider anyone who's like, over 2k a big streamer you know a lot of people go oh he's a 2k andy i'm like that's 2000 people hello i know you've got like freaking hasanabi with his 60k and all that but i would assume that a lot of people we bump into have to be watching the same people right and it's okay if you watch people like amaranth or indie fox we've all been there dude it's not even about being down bad i think you're not officially down bad and you start giving donos to them but if you're just watching if you just get a little side action a little side boob action you know what i'm saying that's okay i mean we're, we're grown ass men i've definitely found myself but i can't do the asmr that's just not for me but uh yeah i I've, i like uh kiara kitty she's a bit crazy but i i found her through another irish uh streamer just a minx mad as a hatter that one don't ask me but you've got this fucking singaporean is that how to say singaporean i don't know a streamer from singapore Meeting up with an Irish streamer stuck in Ireland over the lockdown. It was chaos and I loved it. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't watch big streamers. That's okay, dude. Uh, North Lion. Okay, cool, cool. I heard good things about him. Nice. Or Mr. Lex. Mr. T. T. Lexify. I've never heard of him. Interesting, dude. I stick to streamers I watch for years and consider them as my friends. Yeah, totally. But it's it good for you. You'd, you'd watch, you know. I know you say you don't follow them, but or you don't uh, watch them, but whenever I go into their streams, it tells you sometimes, or, or on Twitter, it tells you who you're following. Like the Botez sisters, they're cool as well, although they had a very weird take recently. But they've been doing cool things for, for chess, uh, so it's awesome. Uh, NMP, lol, I love uh, Nick and Malena, they're ridiculous fun. Just this couple, you don't know if they're really fighting or not, it's the weird cringe, but also takes you back. If you've grown up around that kind of stuff. All right, well, should we go back and um, no, we'll do the rotten first. Okay, hold on, I'll stop dick teasing. I'll stop it. We'll do the rotten. That'll get the last pr primal bonfire. That'll make uh, a certain someone appear. 
And then we'll uh, focus on power stancing. Because we should have enough souls to bring our strength to 24. It should get us there. Alright, let's get down there without getting poisoned. Jesus. Easier said than done, huh? Alright, let's let the poison get away. Let's do it. The last of the old ones. You just stick to smaller streamers. Me too, me too. I definitely... I don't like... Even some of them I might watch, I don't necessarily follow. Damn, I wasn't expecting you to show up. He pulls up at the after party. And ruins my fucking coke and Bacardi. Alright. The new ones I've made. Yeah, but see, what can happen is you can fall into the old YouTube uh, mistake. And people still do it on Twitch, and I think it's so foolish. It's the follow for what follow bullshit, or the sub for sub bullshit. Where you're just meeting people that way. They don't come to your streams. They don't. They just want numbers. Trust me, that stuff is empty. That's why I've never done it. It's empty. All, all it is, it'll, it'll bump your numbers for a bit. But uh, trust me, these people, if you don't go to their streams, they don't care. So I, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. But it's okay. If you want to do that, it's okay too. But at that point, you see people doing like view button. And follow for follow might as well just be the same damn thing. All right. Let's do it. The Rotten. I don't know why they call him that. He looks perfectly fresh. Look. If every one of those giant amalgamation of bodies with the spray axe, links, axe Africa on them, I'm telling you, he'd be the freshest piece of rotten flesh ever. He's the one making these statues. Big old butcher knife. So he's supposed to represent Gravelord Nito in this game. I don't see it. Looks like that blob from inside. Bring it! Surrounded by flames. You know, he's also like the one reborn a little bit as well, right? Not as cool though. But still, they do like their abomination of bodies. Abomination. Nice! I should have been grabbed there. That's probably his only real dangerous attack, I think, is the grab. Everyone else is he's piss easy. He'll kind of push you into the flames a little bit too, but otherwise, the grab is the only thing that's uh, even semi-dangerous. Stonks! Damn, I must have not put the Clarante ring back on. Oh! We took a little bit of damage there from the flames. That still counts. I was hoping to get a no-hit boss, but uh, it's not going to work now. Oh, well. I blame uh, dehydration. Ah! Oh, I forgot about that. Listen to the music. This boss is always over so fast, you don't even get to realize that it's kind of cool. And he's supposed to be like an... A really important boss. Poor bastard. He's too easy. Sorry, bud. It's done. You're done, son. Better run, son. The great lord is done. The soul of the rotten. Yes. This is our audience. What was that noise? I wasn't your average soul collecting noise. No, 97k. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, last night I got my first win. Oh, nice, dude. The COD Mobile BR. Is it called uh, Warzone? Warzone. Porn cheat. Let's see, can we make this? Did I die to more doing more stupid shit? Like, I don't need any of these items. Not one of these items do I need. Honestly. But I still jump around and die from trying to get items. Yes, now we must light the final primal bonfire. But this one comes with a cheeky surprise. We're about to be met by a friend or foe. Petrified something. Hell yeah. We know what it is, right? We talked about this. 60 million year old dinosaur dick. We finally found them all fossilized. Petrified something. And this is this is the other DLC you can access, right? Right. Here we go. Boom! You asked for exploding bonfires. You got it, Lacuna. Welcome. Lo and behold, the reveal. The scholar of the first sin. The brother of King Vendrick. A very sussy baka, if you ever saw one. Can't really tell, but that's his eyes. That glowing red thing is his eye. Yeah, and that's his, his schnauzer there, a bit like XQC on a bad day. El Goblino. All right, let's go talk to him. He has a proposition for us. No one has come this far. Come over a little while. 
All right, now we go on the hunt for Drang Lake Castle. The new Avatar game, it's now called Avatar Reckoning. Oh, no. Oh, it's Frontiers of Pandora, yeah. So he has an opportunity for you, adding a new ending to the game. Wrong. There's a third choice. Oh! Uh, Captain Urahara. Hello. What a cool name. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Hogwarts Legacy. That's going to be super cool. I hope so. You are far into the game. Yeah, yeah. We've been streaming it all this week. This is the fourth stream. We're going hard, but we will be doing all the DLC. If you're here for the giveaway, all you need is 1,000 channel points, and uh, you'll be able to uh, use it down the bottom, like one giveaway entry per person. All you gotta do is guess how many debts you'll think I'll have. And it's not too bad to get 1,000 points, so you get a couple of hundred just for following, which you did, thank you very much. And if you keep an eye on the coins in the bottom, you'll see a little treasure chest pop up, and that'll give you double points. But yeah, this is part of my road to Elden Ring, so I will be playing Bloodborne and Sekiro as well. Hell yeah. And this is the first time I've done a giveaway, so if it goes well, there will definitely be more in the future. Hell yes. I'm here for DS2. Ah, nice, thank you, thank you. I, this is definitely an underrated game, right? So many people, like, count this out. I, fair enough, I wouldn't say it's the most uh, beautiful of all the games, right? It definitely feels like a, a different engine. But I like that it, it looks different and it plays different. I like everything about it. It has a special place in my heart. And I love freaking dual wielding katanas, let me tell you. That's what I'm going for. I'm using a dex build. We're going um, Uchi Katana and Black Steel Katana. We're going to be doing some power stancing, which is a, a very unique thing to this game. Where if you get your stats just right, 1.5 or 1.8, you're able to actually power stance, which means you hold them in a different stance and you have a different moveset and you become very very powerful so yeah it actually creates a way way better dex build than any other game so he was actually uh that was the last primal bonfire that's where once you do a number four the old great soul um the old ones they all have different names don't they uh then aldea will uh you'll show up now he won't do it if you're just playing vanilla dark souls just this is part of the scholar of the first sin. So this sends us back here. Next up will be Drang Lake Castle. I'm hoping to go all the way through Drang Lake Castle, the ancient dragon, and uh, to take on the Dark Lurker. So that and just leave everything just right where we can start the DLC tomorrow. And I'm going to be going through the whole DLC. So that should let that reflect in your uh, your giveaway entry, your prediction. The death counter. I'm I'm using this tower over here. That actually keeps your in-game debt, so that's how we're keeping track of them. I initially had a debt counter, but I realized that it was uh, going to break the giveaway. So I had to... Yeah, I didn't realize. That's why how noobish I am. But I am pretty noob at these games, trust me. I have finished it before. Last time I played Dark Souls 2 was like three years ago. So it's sort of fresh, sort of not so fresh. Bit moldy. You are blessed with well, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great week. Always... Great to meet new people, especially those who actually love Dark Souls 2 like me. Love us. There's no such thing as a bad From Software game, let's be honest. You know? Even if this is one of the weaker ones, it's still a masterpiece. I like to- I was calling it, um, it's like if, uh, Leonardo da Vinci's brother <laughs> made a masterpiece, you know? It's not quite Leonardo da Vinci, but it's still in the family. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's one way of putting it, I suppose. All right, so we're trying to get our strength up to 24. We're just gonna do that real quick Because yeah, so we want that might be enough to let us do power stance and we'll see because my my dex is pretty high Let's go over to the black steel. Where are you, baby? There we go All right, so then you would uh, just unequip this for the uh, <clears throat> Sake all right, so you'd have both of them and you can you can uh, you know, two hand each of them. But there it is, boys. So if you have the right, it, it's actually going to work, which is great. Hello, oh, Vex. Hello, how you doing? How was your week? 
I've seen you getting little cheeky streams in. I'm so happy. Enjoy your food. Enjoy your food. So, uh, usually if you don't have the right requirements, the power stance, if you hold the triangle button, uh, they will only two-hand the sword. But if you, do, if you do it right, I know this is so silly, it's hard to tell, but if you do it right, when you hold triangle, she will raise the blade like that, you see? Now you're power stancing. As long as the blade is raised, you're power stancing. So here's the moveset with a, with a dual-wielded uh, uh, katana. Pretty straightforward slashes, you know? Not nothing too different than we're used to, but when you power stance, oh baby, check this out. Boom! Then that's the pincer move. Watch, I'll do it again. Boom! It's where she slashes up with one and slashes down with the other. That's the L2. So your L1 and your L2 now become whole different moves. And that one move, if you have your build set up, can do like close to a thousand damage with one hit. But look how much stamina it takes. So yeah, you want to start putting a lot into stamina. It's a lot, but that is that is a one-hit killer right there. So now we're we're officially power stancing. You can't block, so you got to be on your A game. But uh, yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. It's an interesting build. Yeah, yeah. Hey, unplugged. Holy shit, how's it going, man? Damn, there's the name I haven't seen in a while. I hope you're well. I hope the family's well. I hope you're kicking ass. See, so, yeah, now we can start to kind of refine the build, more stamina, uh, more vitality, so we can finally put some shoes on. For God's sake. Put some fucking shoes on. Yeah, we're doing really good. I'm happy. All right, so now we continue the main story. Hell yeah. Yeah, the plan is to go for the Dark Lurker, which is one of the toughest fights in the game. Very cool. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls, not seek the king. Let seek the king! Soul. I could do with more of the Estus Flasks, which I'm not very good at. I don't know if you guys are, if you know where they are. It gives us more heals. Have I missed any? Oh yeah, there's one... There's one inside the house. I have to get the mansion key. Where is that? I think I missed that. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, power stands for the win, baby. Yeah. Family's good. They can't take up my time. These are selfish. <laughs> oh, no. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Sounds like you're very happy. That's all that matters. Okay, so now we can start really refining this. Things are going to get very expensive as well. Down, 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 down. Get it from the guy in the cave. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to remember. The forest, the fallen giants. Have to start to do a little bit of double dutch. But uh, you guys, as well, Vex and Unplugged, you guys should uh, definitely enter the giveaway as well. I'm doing a giveaway. It's the first kind of official one I've done. I've given away codes before, but this is a bit special. We give away a copy of Elden Ring. All you need is 1,000 channel points, which I'm sure you guys have. You've been very nice to support me for a long time. And all you gotta do is guess uh, how many deaths you think I'm gonna have through this playthrough. I'm doing the DLC too. It's definitely double digits, if not triple digits now, I'll tell you that much. But, um, yeah, been very fun, very fun. And, like, even if you're not that hyped for Elden Ring or you're not gonna pick it up, the plan is to just, whoever wins, I'll PayPal them the amount and they can buy it themselves when, when the playthrough is finished. You know, we don't have to wait till the 25th of February when the game's out or the 24th, whatever it is. No, as soon as the playthrough is over, we'll do it that way. And by PayPal and it, it cuts out all the region-locked crap that happens with PlayStation or wherever you're going to get it, you know? And then you'll be able to sort it out yourself. And it might actually work out better because I'll be giving away the amount in, in my currency. But it, that might be, like, amazing in your currency. Boom! So that's the plan. I think that that definitely um, makes things uh, the easiest. But, you know, if if, uh, if we need to change it around, whatever suits, you know, I'll, I'll try my hardest to make it as easy as I can for you guys. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, I got 300. I must have spent them all on drugs. <laughs> Super stock for Elden Ring. Yes, yes, hell yes. It's going to be special. I can't believe how long it's been since Sekiro. It doesn't feel that long, but trust me, I don't think this is the way to it, is it? No. It's not. 
And I shouldn't have come down here. Oh, well, we can come back in this way. Out of here! Let me see, so it's another way. So by keeping the Uchi Katana on this hand, it's actually kind of important. You can still use the Uchi Katana's moves, which I love. The thrust attack, I mean, you see me use it, I love it. It's been good to me. Just be good to me. How did you still get me, little shite? 570 on one hit attack. Very tasty. Friends, tell me I am crazy. We're just gonna start one shot on the titty fuck out of everything. Okay, actually, it could be here. No, it's not. Where is it? Like, let's see. It's I'm trying to rack my head. It's. Oh, do, 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 do. It's where all the, the little houses are. Yowza. Let me see. No, this is the right one. Hmm. Maybe I am pretty close to home. I'll, I'll find it. Skier is one of my top five. It's it's pretty special, right? Very different game for them, too. Very different. Which is good. Different is good. Elden Ring seems to incorporate things from so many games. All of their games, which is uh, which is great. Jeez, I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry, my memory sucks. Actually, it might be over there. Over there. It's on. It's on. Across the scaffoldings of a lot of them. What you can hit? What you can hit the fire bombs back? Oh my god! I never knew that. Did you guys know that? You can hit the fire bombs back. Oh my god, I feel like I just discovered fucking the the wheel or something. What? You can hit the fucking fire bombs back. Dude, I'm I'm literally like fucking Oh wow. Getting all warm and fuzzy inside. I didn't know you could do this. I've never tried it. Son of a bitch. How did your shit connect and not my shit connect? Connect four, bitch! Oh! Oh yeah, that guy. Uh, let's see, it's that good. Hell yes. Born Legacy since 20, 10 years of Hunger Games. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but I never managed to do it. There you go. Give me trophy. That was just a stupid accent. You wouldn't try it if... You wouldn't get it if you tried, right? I haven't seen any of them. Uh, or the Daniel Craig Bond movies. I should watch them. I still think uh, Casino Royale is the best. Daniel Craig is the Bond I grew up at. No, you're not that. You're you're older than that. You're like 25 or 26, right? No. No, when you were young, um, Pierce Brosnan would have been doing this shit, right? You see, was he? Well, I suppose 15 years, yeah. I suppose if you start watching them when you were in your teens, then yeah. I grew up with uh, Pierce Brosnan, but then I went back... Watched all the, uh, I became like a super fan of Bond. I started to collect those, you know those magazines? They don't do them anymore. Where you'd have to collect like, uh, it was almost like Netflix in magazine form. Where you had to collect like fucking 40 parts of it just to build this tiny little thing that you could have probably bought in the pound shop. Is it over here? I'm trying to remember. No. Christ, where the hell was this? It was across the scaffold and it was like a little house. God damn it. Yeah, this move is really good uh, for katanas as well because uh, you see like the Uch Katana hits off the wall. Because this is a pretty much like a midsection slash, rarely ever gets hit in the wall, which is very nice. Can we see Tom Holland as James Bond? Give it enough time, right? Jesus Christ. Give it enough. I wouldn't actually mind Henry Cavill doing it, you know what? But they do seem to be pretty uh, happy just to want to pick uh, British people. We'll say British Irish people. Has there, has there ever been an American Bond? Probably. Probably like probably Timothy Dalton or something. Timothy. Isn't it? Isn't it down here? Isn't that the cave right there? Mhm. Mm so how do we get up there? We just walk out here, huh? Huh? Yeah, baby. Sorry, I'm so directionally challenged. It's unreal. That should totally be a trophy, right? Instead of, like, collect all the miracles, which will take you three playthroughs. Gotcha, bitch. Thank you, From Software. 
Where would we be without you? We'd probably be in a lot better at mental health. Alright. Oh no, no, no! Rolled into his character model, not away. Naughty business! Let's try... Oh shit! Killed him too. Um, if I was a bit weaker, that would have killed me. See, why did they blow up? Usually it takes a, a fire, something fire. Something, something dark side. Alright, I don't really need to do this, but he holds an Estus flash shard, so it's worth it. The only problem is, death is fucking numerable when you do this. It happens to the best of us. How could it happen to Prey? That was so close. Woo. Nelly Furtado is rolling in her Gucci handbag. Whatever happened to Nelly Furtado? She flew away like a bird. Will you stop, sir? Please. Stop. I fucking hate actors. God damn. Actors are like... You know, remember those all like medieval movies and people would be... The hero would be in the stocks, right? He'd be in stocks and chains and people would start throwing like rotten tomatoes but not really doing anything they're just throwing rotten tomatoes at people that's basically what uh what archers are like it's like hey i'm i'm trying to help i think i'm helping so yeah you fall down there death you gotta go from this little piece of vomit colored land to that piece of vomit colored land dark souls 2 it's all vomit yes i paid 60 dollars for this quick we gotta go and fucking review bomb it. Bomb? What's review review bombing? Well, Timmy, now you're four years old. You can start your own Steam account and review bomb games you don't like. But can't we just talk to the developers and tell them what we don't like in a normal manner, like a normal human being? No, Timmy. We only review bomb. And if you don't review bomb, I'll disown you. I'll put you up for adoption. Jesus fucking Christ! That's right. Because that's the gamer way, Timmy. That's the gamer way. I oh, know, it's actually, you know what, the review bomb and stuff, I give out about it, but there's not enough proper tools. There should be a website or a system set up to let people air their grievances instead of shouting into the void, you know? Because trust me, sometimes the void shouts back and it calls me names. <laughs> Somehow the void knows all my deepest, darkest insecurities. Ugh. Like my, my innie and outie belly button. Is it an innie? Is it an outie? Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. Mom, Dragon Ball Z's got weird again. That's not weird. That's this guy. What's his name? Kale the cartographer. He's never once made a gut. I almost died there, boys. I felt it deep down in my mental finger. You know when you say you have like a third eye for all your mental powers? Why can't we have like... You know, other other things. Is he gonna drop another boulder? Like a mental finger. I'm totally touching you with my mental finger. Stop! Stop! Mom, stop! He's touching me with his mental finger again. Stop! Hello, cartographer who doesn't build maps or do anything close to being a photographer. You lied on your resume, didn't you? Hold on. Come on, he's so jealous of our conversation, he's gonna hit us with arrows. I'll talk to you in a minute! With the sharp edge of my sword, alright? No problem. I'm telling you, you're getting- you're not just getting the tip, you're getting all fucking six foot of this Uchi Katana. No! Oh! That's right. For one moment, my sword and you were one. Alright, where was we, was he, was we? Why cartography, you ask? Look, he's trying to build a map out of dirt or something. That he didn't raise no noob. <laughs> it's always Timmy. <laughs> awesome. I didn't know who Brianna is. Ooh, hey, John. Hello, dude. How's it going? Pierce Brianna. I love it. I love it. Oh, uh, Bri Brianna makes me think of... Was it All for One? Do you remember that show? All for One. George Lazenby was he? Henry Cavill? Was George Lazenby American? We did one bond for Honored Majesty's Secret Service. Yeah. There was a lot of just one ops. Or maybe Timmy Dalton did too, did he? James Bond is an institute for sure. I remember that magazine got him up. Right, dude, Austin Farton. Yeah, there was so many magazines like that. I One I have, and I still regret I never finished it, John. I was this close, was the Lord of the Rings chess set. But all the pieces 
were made out of uh, pewter. Oh, so good. I got so much of it, though. And then I just, because I used to buy them out of my pocket money. And some of those would go up to close to like 10, I think it was like pound at the time. They were so good. Obviously, the king was Aragon, and you had the tower, and the bishop was Gandalf. But uh, what you had to do was, at the end of the run, once you'd collected everything, you had to send away with a fucking po it was like this post postal order, which was basically, um, it was like a receipt at the time, where you'd pay real money for it, but it would act like a token, you know? And you had to send away to get the chessboard, and I never got the chessboard. But I still have them somewhere. That's the real deal. I was oh man, Lord of the Rings still holds up to this day. Someone recently did a cut of it where they turned it into a love story of just Sam and Frodo, and it's ruined it. It's like broke back Frodo. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's ruined the whole thing. There's bromance, and then there's like two cowboys doing the dirty nasty in a tent. <laughs> Whoa, well, just kiss a homie. It's okay. Lurkin just resting after work. No worries, man. No worries. Dude, these streams have equated to some beautiful word vomit. And I love it. Were you looking for that man? Wonderful. Alright, so you have to you usually just exhaust your dialogue. There you go. Now he gives you the house key for Majula and he shows up there as well. Incredible room, isn't it? Oh, I would not Isn't there something else you're supposed to do here as well? I can't remember. Such a pain in the ass to get out of here. I might just homeward bone out. Homeward boner. I think that's maybe where the dousing rod as a dick joke actually started, John. From the homeward bones in Dark Souls. Because it's just what it sounds like. A homeward bone. I just like if you got lost out there in the wicked wild world. Wicked wild west. Jim West. <laughs> Fucking Will Smith, man. Jesus Christ. There's a thousands were strange. Strange and unusual. But also fucking amazing. Wait, that was probably 1999, was it? The year is 1999! Boom! And Will Smith has just done a country western rap! Nowadays, that's cool, right? Little Nas X! But you know what? Will Smith did it first! <laughs> Will Smith did it first! <laughs> Gonna take Will Smith <laughs> Uh Alright, let's go back to the bonfire. Go back to Majula. This will give us a Estes Flash Shard, which is another heal, and a Sublime Bone Dust, which is stronger heals. Don't ask me how I know this, but what all I'll say is do not rub bone dust on your body. Don't do it. You get a wicked rash. And then the soul of the, the person will turn into a little tiny mole on your body. It keeps judging everything you do. God, what the fuck are you talking about, Cyber? You told me you'd never talk about it. Timmy! Timmy, I am definitely a noob at this game. Oh, which broke back Lord of the Rings brings a whole new meaning to destroy the One Ring. Oh! Good God! Good God, man! You've completely destroyed the One Ring! One Ring to bind them, and in the darkness shag them. <laughs> well, here's the song to accompany Enemy of the State. True. Oh, Enemy of the State is so good. It still holds up to this day, especially if you love, like, government conspiracies. Which most of us do, right? You better. They're always watching. But it's really good. That was a movie ahead of its time. Because then, it wasn't until, like, maybe ten years or more later that we had the whole, like, NHS. No, not NHS. That's the other one. <laughs> the NSA. Uh, you know, freaky, like, FBI is listening. Cover up your Kinect camera while you're doing your bird. You're doing your bird. Maybe we should stop calling women birds. Because this guy got confused and fucked a parakeet. Not right. Not right. So this is the cartographer's place, you know? You like that big book? Jesus. Acquiring knowledge right now. You know when um, you've got, like, the zoom feature on on uh, Internet Explorer and you just feel like, wow, I can see everything now. This is what this guy... No one ever told him about magnifying glasses. So he took all of his books down to fucking Kinko's, got them all Xeroxed and blowed up. And then he bookbinded them. It's, it's quite nice. Maybe this is what Giants reads, I don't know. Anyway, so in here you get cheeky little uh, sublime dust, but you have to deal with a skeleton downstairs. But usually you find this place a lot sooner than I just did. God. God! Talk about late to the party, dude. It's so late to the party, you gotta clean up. I think the best party in a movie was the one in uh, uh, Superbad. Dude, she just fucking period on me. 
<laughs> Come on. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in a movie. Ever again. I'm drinking this drink. It's Cyber Houdini. It's really, really strong. Oh, thank you. Is that kind of like one of those weird parasocial compliments? I appreciate that. You're drinking me. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. I, I swear every time I go to sleep and wake up, I'm in a different parallel universe. Is that is that too weird? Fuck the simulation theory. Have you tried like parallel universe theory? Cause I woke up the other day and everybody was mad at Elmo again. Apparently Elmo went off on a rock, a pet rock, and the whole internet got up in arms. Damn. So here's here's the act what the actual cartographer was doing. So this is kind of the, uh, their way of having a map in the game. This is actually, see these little grooves here, a little vagina there, a little penis there. This is actually the map of Dran Lake, where the game takes place. And these bonfires here are, uh, or these little, I mean, these little lights are, are meant to be the bonfires. Is it bonfire? Doing the bonfire thing, and the things, and the tidings. You want the internet things, and please? Boom! That's what you guess. Don't fuck with me, bitch. S is flash shard. Lovely. We're also here for the sublime bone dust. Sometimes you gotta get your boner just quite sublime. Surprising you actually have both of those so close together. There you go. Isn't, isn't there sublime bone dust in here as well? I swear I remember. Is it only an Estes flash shard? Oh. Papa, please. You can light this on fire as well, can't you? Gene Hackman, yeah, Hacker Man, and his Faraday cage. Cage. The actual that cage is actually uh, it's a real thing. That music just brings you back, right? I love the bit in Super Bad where he has to sing, yeah, 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 to the coked up guys. He starts making up a song on the spot. These arms are never gonna love you again. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Sometimes Michael Sarah can actually be funny. It's a real thing. It's very rare, very fucking rare, but it does happen. Take your sublime boner dust. I love that you just called that that random bit out. So good. Is that a shard? You here? Let me see to see light. She wants me shared. I shared it and then I fired it. We've all been there, right? I fired it, but then I shared it. Never trust the fart. It'll surprise you every time. Ooh, that smell. What is? That's me? Oh shit. Only you. What, what's his name? Smokey the Bear says only you can prevent leaky butthole. Only you. What about hot shots? Only you can cook a, an egg on her stomach. God damn. That actress, like, she became well known from that. And then she... She was in uh, Rain Man as well. An Italian actress. Beautiful, beautiful. I always knew her from hot shots. I wish we could go back to those days. I don't think those parodies can work anymore. Good old fashioned slapstick, you know, naked gun, airplane, hot shots. Probably some of the best stuff Charlie Sheen has ever done there, I said it. Platoon is amazing as well though. And Wall Street. He actually had some acting chops for a bit there, you know. Then he kept sipping on that tiger blood. God damn it, dude. We shouldn't have said anything about the tiger blood at all. Everyone wanted, like, uh, you know, Nicolas Cage was supposed to do the Tiger King uh, movie for Netflix, and he pulled out. Well, like, fuck Nicolas Cage. We got the Tiger King right there. The man's been drinking tiger blood since ten years ago. It's time. Charlie Sheen is the Tiger King. Make it work. Alright. So now do we go to... This is where I get confused, I'm sorry. Do we go to the Shrine of the Winter? I thought she'd teleport you to Drang Lake Castle. 
Obviously not. No free Ubers, she says. Unless, do I not have all of them? Maybe I didn't ac access all the bonfires, because I do stupid shit like that. No. Old Iron King. Lost Sinner. Soul of the Rotten. Who are we missing? We're missing the Duke... The Duke's dear Freya, but you don't actually get her soul. So there it is there, soul of the Duke's dear Freya. But you have to touch the little uh, thing, the little red orb. Sometimes I like him. Yeah, I mean, he's hit and miss. Yeah, for sure, yeah. He's very good in uh, Arrested Development. Or you would like uh, stop Charlie Sheen from fucking all the tigers. Exactly. I thought this is how you get the blood out. Oh, fuck. That's too far. The joke went too far. I can't take it back. No, take she back. She's... I should go uh, kill Ornstein as well, because uh, we need some redemption from that. I made a holy show of myself for too long. Look at that pig shield. What the hell? No. Okay. Without this feeling... Oh, I'm trying to figure out. This is the confusing part. I'm not sure it's the Shrine of Winter. But am I prepped enough for it? Usually she talks to you, right? Damn it. Yeah, things get a little bit confusing here. Further the story. But it's all good. We're, we're making good uh, progress. Everybody, Wang Chung tonight. He always gets that off. Damn, boy. Hate that move. This guy coming down. Coming down to Pound Town. Don't ever say that again, Cyrus. I'm sorry. <sighs> you use the the hex build. What's that? Obviously you're using hexes. What does that do? Is it like a uh, dark magic? Or or maybe you mean dex build as well. I'm using that dex build. I'm trying to. Look at that, like three quarters of his health gone. That's ghost dad. Did they ever end up doing like the what was it, uh Tiger King 2 or whatever? I didn't watch it. It's been a minute since I've had Netflix. See? One shot city. What I try and do with all of the subscription model stuff, instead of just needlessly throwing away money, I what I do is I'll dip 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 potato chip. And one month I'll get Amazon Prime Video, and then the next month I'll get Netflix, and then the next month I'll get your mom. So it works out. Your mom is actually the most expensive subscription model. But damn, is it worth it. The old penis is real. This penis is O-shaped. Magic, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I never fuck with sorcery. I should, though, just for once. I know. I'm against it. It's like it's against my religion or something. Yeah, I, I, I failed miserably here before. A lot. Usually I'll die once or twice to this goddamn dragon. Yeah. He took, he definitely took a lot from me. Took a little bit of my soul. Take a little bit of my soul now, baby. I heard that uh, Elden Ring may actually be crowned the new, you know, king of the most bosses in a From Software game. And, you know, the one to hold that record is actually Dark Souls 2 with 42 bosses. You know, DLC included. I think the one with the least amount of bosses is... Might be it might be Bloodborne, but if we're staying with just Dark Souls, it's probably Dark Souls one. Having the one DLC. You'd be surprised, you know, when you think of each game you're like, no, there's tons of boss fights. But most of them don't even crack like the twenty number. This guy's the biggest bitch in the whole damn town, not even Leroy Brown. Fucking Pikeman. Cause he just fucking whacks away. Keeps weed whacking the whackers. 
Oh, I'm gonna die here. God damn, I got lucky on the stairs there. You find yourself getting lucky on the stairs? They will always kick my ass. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I don't think it's even worth fucking with the shield here, is it? This fucking dragon. Fire damage is so strange. No matter how strong you think you are, you'll still get your ass kicked. Take a lot of little piece of my heart now, dragon. Why am I not equipped? There you go. Alright, that's more like it. Brokenly OP now at this point. And this opens, and we get to fight Ornstein! That's right, this game has so many callbacks to the first game. Sadly, Dark Souls 3 doesn't have too many callbacks to this game. I don't think Miyazaki was too happy. We're starting to see the inner workings of Miyazaki a little bit, and the man is very prideful, which is understandable. Like, he hasn't even played the Demon Souls remake yet. And, you know, obviously they're busy working on Elden Ring, of course. You know, they don't have time to be there stroking themselves over, you know, remakes of their, of their games and things like that. But still, I'd kind of like them to learn a couple of things from the remake. I know it's not done by them. It was done by Blue Point, who made the Shadow of the Colossus remake. They're fucking geniuses, but... There's so much they've done right with the Demon Souls remake. Like, just general performance is, is a big one, <laughs> you know? Which would be nice to get that kind of uh, thing going. Alright, do we go in with the shield? Do we go in and just wreck shop poor old Ornstein? Let's do it. This is another optional boss. You have to make sure. So if you walk in around like this with your dual wielding, you're not actually power stancing. You're just dual wielding. And it's not worth it at that point. you got to hold it. You gotta make sure that sword is good and erect. Oh yeah! And sometimes it can fall out of it, because if you press triangle at any time by accident, it pulls it back down, but you're okay with the rolls and stuff. Just make sure your sword's good and erect. If you're having problems getting your sword erect, please contact this number now. 1-800, I don't give a fuck. I don't! Ornstein! Bring it! Yeah, that's the Ornstein we love. That's the Ornstein we know. That's the Ornstein. The old dragon slayer is his name, but we know your real name. Reginald. It's Reginald. Watch out. That's that's one he learned from Schmo. Captain Fantabulous. Getting so greedy. I almost ate a whole box of Quality Street myself. Finish him! Flawless victory. Sorry, Ornstein. We barely got time to sniff your panish. He's already gone. Then you get like the old Leo ring, which a lot of people like for their builds. There's the Flynn ring, which is I think really good for trust. Um, which uh, one of these is really good. Oh no, it's this one, strengthens trust weapons, but it's only counter attacks. And if I remember correctly, it's actually not that great. It only works. I think you have to keep your stats at a minimum level for the Flynn ring and the old Leo ring to be viable. But in a long uh, playthrough, they're not really that viable. But they're good fun. Oh. Whore and peen. <laughs> Whore and peen. That would be a great, like, uh, sex shop name, wouldn't it? Welcome to the old whore and peen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get powerful really quickly. Playing Demon Souls on PS5. Dude, yeah. I, see, this is what I was saying. I, I never want to be mean about it. I think I'm just a big old salty fucker when it comes to magic because it's done me dirty for years. But, uh, yeah, I also, I always, like, I've never done a magic build. So I tend to give out about magic a lot so anybody and there has been people that's come in who like doing a magic build and it's like what's wrong what's wrong with, with magic i like magic and that's cool that's cool if you like that sort of thing so yeah he's completely optional and opens up this covenant the covenant of the blue or the way of the blue Transient. this is no place for one such as you be gone you will be gone transient be you would be gone. I think you have to be uh, some other, some level or something, or coins. There's something that triggers that anyway. It's kind of like uh, if after you fight the executioner's chariot and you've got that other. It's the opposite of that covenant. Where you've got the little grim reaper, little guy. At least we get another bonfire. Mm, I do like a good bonfire. Mm. Gonna roast you on a spit, Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Is anyone called Maybelline anymore? Damn Maybelline! I do love you when you strut around the house buck naked. 
Hey Swampy, how's it going? Hole and peen? <laughs> Wave the blue balls. Oh my god, you guys are fucking sharp. Sharp as a whip. How is Swampy doing? I seen you were playing some chorus, man. What do you think? It's super cool, right? Holy hell, I enjoy that. It's nice to switch up the genres a good bit. You play a lot of like third person or first person games. Nice to play a, a space fighter. Damn, this land's gonna swallow me whole. Damn, girl! Why didn't you tell me I would've come to Drang Lake quicker? You're gonna Drang Lake my balls. <laughs> you can Drang Lake my balls. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, usually it's around the four hour mark that the stream starts to get into the dirty, dirty smutness. But we're already here. Welcome. Congratulations. Well done. Doctor. 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 Please, everybody pat each other on the back. We're filthy fuckers. It's like Alcoholics Anonymous. Filthy fuckers anonymous. Welcome everyone to the FFA. Is this not where we talk about, you know, the all those planes going missing? No, no. That's the the FCC. This is the FF <laughs> Sorry, I'm in the wrong place. I'm gonna stay anyway. Yay! Alright, Ariana Grande showing up. One minute she's stroking a skull, now she's stroking stroking a femur. She's making her way up and down. I love you, Ariana Grande! Please, please, sing a song, sing, sing. Oh, so Ariana Grande has copied her whole style from this chick right here. Speak up if you need anything at all. I like chorus. Good, good, good. Having to use a tablet work blocked. I hate that. Usually, like, it's, they, they have like excuses, like, uh, you know, it's all oh, it's like pr productivity's down and all this kind of shit. It's never that reason. It's usually. Because, uh, uh, you know, the fucking, the CEO's wife walked in while I was watching two girls in a handbag or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> what, what, what did it do with that one, Cyber? <laughs> Who wants me to walk up and see how many debts I've got, huh? Huh? No, no, no. No cheaters. Mm -mm. Cheaters never prosper, and prospers never cheater. I don't know what that means. No, we're not going to find out until we finish the game. Sorry. Sorry. I'm rolling with the Dragonborn Master Sword. Hell yeah. A certain amount of faith. Yeah, it's so, isn't it? A certain amount of faith or intelligence. And that doesn't come cheap. You can't buy intelligence. Knowledge get. At least she is uh, stroking something. Yeah, that's true. She's in the feet! Alright, so we're gonna go to the. Sh Let's try and see if the shaded. Oh yeah, Shaded Woods, CF, the Shrine of Winter is opened. It's here, right? I think that's what we're looking for. I would use my work PC breaks to watch Twitch. Yeah, exactly. You closed this fucking door. You did that. I'll kick yours. Stabby, stabby. Here's the story. Have a little stabby. So apparently, they, yeah, they, we had people coming in saying that they, that's not even their real eyes. Lee was saying they have eyes underneath those big beady eyes. They're just like binocular eyes. What do you think of the character I created? Oh, potato head. You know those stories that kind of pop up all over uh, Twitter? In your timeline, they're usually a lot of bollocks. There was one we were talking about finding a, a, a potato planet. I'm so glad. I always felt like I didn't belong on this planet. Now I know I, I come from a different place. My home world is calling me. I swear potatoes have been talking to me for years. Now they won't lock me up. Thank God. I'm not getting sent away in the paddy wagon. It's real. It's real to me, damn it. Potato planet. It's probably just a giant asteroid on its way to Earth. That'll be fine, right? That'll be fine. That's is the best that uh, like fucking hindsight's 2020. We'll just release a report. There have been 600,000 asteroids that just glanced past Earth. You're like, why, why didn't you tell us about it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> probably just caused too much of the old fear. Fear. If only the country could run on fear. It'd be great. Mm. 
You know, the, the bulbs are getting a bit dimmer. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> there you go, this is bright again. Scream powered. I had heard back in the 60s they had figured out a way to make methane work, like, but then they got rid of it because they only wanted clean energy. And that's the foulest smell known to mankind coming out of my ass. The foulest smell. I've won a Guinness World Record for the, the smelliest farts. But, uh, unfortunately, no, I'm not, not supposed to divulge that. It's confidential. It's confidential. As I do want to get one day, I'd love to get a Guinness, just a Guinness World Record. But I want to be, I want it to be like for the stupidest thing ever, you know? Remember that one, like, Paramore thing where they got, like, 17 Guinness World Records? It was all random stuff, like, breaking a radio over, uh, a highway bus pass, or I don't know what the fuck it was. Fucking random. That's what I want. I want, like, uh, the Guinness World Record for the stretchiest ball sack. Or, you know, something like that. Something funny, harmless, and, quite frankly, impressive. Alright, one of these exits have the Shrine of Winter, which acts as starting the DLC, but it also helps us in the story, too. Psych! Doesn't matter what armor they have, we're gonna pierce through everything. Pierce Brianna style. The name is Brianna. Pierce Brianna. Go fuck yourself. Boom! Shakalaka! How dare you! Nobody, and I mean nobody, calls me Brianna. There's a lot of people out there with some very embarrassed middle names. And you start to wonder, you know, like, like what the hell's wrong with my parents? Why would they do such a thing? But then you just gotta wait, you know? Eventually the decade will come along where what you might have thought was a silly last name becomes that new hot shit. Like, calling a dude Francis. It's not that bad. Whoopish. 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 Oh, speaking of, like, giant stretchy ball sacks, these guys know what I'm talking about, right? I swear that was not meant to happen. So you can see how the, the power stance in his OP. As we move into the DLC, it'll kind of even itself out. I mean, obviously you can pour a lot more points into it, too, if you want. People go all the way to 100. Doesn't seem to be that much of a... There you go, the Shrine of Winter. In it, bruv. This right? Is it going to open? Yes! So this little, I don't know what these are supposed to be, but they're meant to represent the three um, DLCs. They're kind of like snakes without heads or, or tentacles. That's not what we want right now. I want to keep going this way. This is going to lead to Drang Lake Castle. It only opens after you've got all the primal bonfires. Run me, primal bonfires and me. People have made, like, pets out of rocks. Why don't they do, like, a tiny, cute little bonfire? You can make a pet out of it. It's like that game, Little Inferno. Where they turned their fireplace into their own little toy, and then they realized they were burning half the place down. Yay! These guys suck. You can't lock onto them. You can't smack a do. Oh, nice dodge. He's going for the crossbow. Not today, foul ghost demon. I love DS2. Fuck the haters. Yes! Hell yes! Do you know what? I've met so many cool people that love it. Me too. I think it has way more, like, build potential. It's got so many bosses. Might not be quite the looker that the rest of the games are, but you know what? That's okay. Because I'm not quite the looker either. I was hit with the fucking barn side of a shovel. It's okay. I still can't look at the shovel the right way. I can't. Hey, Cyber, how's it going? Pyro, hello, dude. How was your Thursday? How's everyone doing? All right, let's 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 push this forward. So I want to get as far as the uh, the Dark Lurker, all the way through Dragon Lake Castle and the, the Dragon Eyrie and take on all those dragons and that. Just basically set it up so we can start the DLC tomorrow. But, yeah, and then that will leave just the main game. All that'll be left is, like, Nassandra. And I, I think... What I'll do is I'll try and set up so it will be three back-to-back -back bosses. Because we were talking about how there's only ever been... Oh, this is not good. There's only ever been uh, one three-phase boss in the series. But when I thought about the final boss for this game, with if you're playing the Scholar of the First Sin edition, 
and you set up the ending properly, you actually have to face three bosses back to back. Now, they're more separate rather than three phases. But if you die in the last boss, you got to fight them all again. So, it's still three bosses. Huh? Yeah, Sister Friday was only the, tr the, the only three phase one. Here we go. This is another beautiful moment. Look at this. Drang Lake Castle. Castle named after the whole world. It's almost made out of obsidian. Shout out to all the Minecrafters. We're still with you! Damn it! Just the lizards. There he is. She could have teleported us here, but she said no. The Emerald Maiden. We have made it. This castle is isolated. But nonetheless, you must forge on. It's very much uh, inspired by Tolkien, for sure. That doesn't look like uh, that one of the two towers. One of them. One or the other. There's a lot of revelations. This is like, the fire keepers are cool. Don't get me wrong. I love their story. The fact that they, most of them are like blind or whatever, right? Or they can't speak. Or they, not blind, I think. But the thing about the Emerald Maiden, she's doing her own thing, very much like the Maiden in Black from Demon Souls. But she's actually half dragon. Like I know you can't see the scales, and damn, does she hide that tail well? But she's she's born of dragons. Very powerful and very integral to the whole story. Onwards we go. This is where the game just decides to throw a whole mess. This is the Anorlando moment of this game. I'm gonna throw a whole mess of monsters at us. Starting with Master Dawn! Top of the morning to you, laddies! Giant motherfucking mammoths. Head to toe. Ah! Damn, that reach, though. Remember reach. Was I doing more damage to them earlier? That's what I always worry about. Jeez, we've got plus two on the sublime dust and I'm still not healing that much. I suppose it did hit me. That should fill my health. What the fuck? What the fuck? Let's try and split them up a little bit, huh? Just like their mother did so long ago. Dude, these got HP. So these are different than the ones we fought before. That bit where you get to Anorlando and you have to fight uh those big old guys. Damn it, I'm rolling forwards and back. That's a big no-no. Dear camera, go fuck yourself. Signed sincerely, Cooper Who Doober. They ain't never gonna fix the camera. Not as long as I play from software games. That's okay, I'm not mad or nothing. Shows up at Miz Miyazaki's house. Throws a camera at him. Fix your shit! Fix <laughs> fix your shit. Just show up at his house and punch him in the dick. You know why. You know what was that? What, what movie was that? God damn it. So fucking funny. So this is a really clever area. These guys start shooting uh, electric bolts, but the rain, it's one of the most unique rains in the game. It actually adds like the element. You're actually wet. I know it sounds ridiculous you get wet all the time. But usually it's just rain. This one, fucking, it actually, uh, so it'll, it'll, like, reduce or raise your flame resistance, but because they're using both arrows, your lightning resistance is through the roof. Look at that damage. How are they still doing it? I don't feel any stronger in this game. I'm still getting nearly one-shotted by basic bitches. We don't like basic bitches around here. Oh, no, I'm fucking resin all these dudes. That's cool, bro. You seem to be using the Mastodon weapons as well. Absolute bastard. Christ! They don't stop coming when they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. Uh, hello, doctor! Uh, what seems to be the problem? I, I, can't, I can't stop coming. No, they don't stop coming. Jesus Christ, you're wasting away in front of me. Oh, no. No, no, don't touch me. Oh, no, I like it. This is the, the weirdest condition I've ever seen. How did it happen? How do I sign up? Uh, uh, I, I live with this every day. Uh. You know, it's like those, like, my, my strange addiction. And it's like, my weird disease. Uh, uh. Uh, what did they call this? So far, because it's the first of its kind, we don't have a name for it. We've gone with pre -comitis. <laughs> Yes. It's quite fitting, don't you agree? These guys hit 
More than a budgie on the stick. Can't we just be friends? We can all play Scrabble. Or Wordle. Everybody loves their Wordle. Things got so bad in my timeline, I had to mute the word Wordle. Now it was one way I started 2022. Hey, Wordle. Wordle's original. Did not like that. Anybody play Wordle? It's cool if you do. That's why. I'm not muting the accounts, I'm just muting the Wordle. Is that gonna be the new thing, the Wordle? Wordles of gummage. One time I wordled myself. I got in trouble for it, but you know, now it's an app. It's all, it's okay now. Come on. Don't just fight me, fight me. Look at him doing a little funky dance. He's all scared. All his friends are gone. I was all shit in the brick. You wanna wanna shit yourself when you're in a suit of armor, cause you get a shit stain inside a suit of armor. So was this brown when you bought it? Yes. My God. I wish we'd have a new name for the DNA of your shit. Like, shitnay. You've never beat the DLC? It's super fun. It's got a dragon. It's got some horrible, horrible places, though. The frigid outskirts. It's a snowy wasteland that just kills you as if you're in the poison. And then these giant ghost deers come after you. It's horrible. The frigid outskirts. It's I think it's revered worse than fucking Blight Town is in, in Dark Souls 1. People hate it. But it has some great, great fights. Like the Fume Knight, one of the best. Suralon, the super... You know the knights you fight in the Iron Keep? Suralon is the guy who owns all those knights. So think of um, a kick-ass knight strapped in, you know, a suit of armor. But wields a majestic, mighty katana. So samurai knight in armor. Pretty fucking cool. He likes to skewer you on that samurai sword. Very nice. Spit roast all day, every day. No one asked for this. I did. Shut up, Jeffrey. Love lifts us up where we belong. Lake Titty Kaka. Oh, I forgot about that. That's right. And then you'll take immeasurable damage from that because of the rain. Wasn't there a dude over here? Did you fall off the fucking edge? Hello? Timothy Dalton? Anybody? There was someone. There he is. He's, he's fucking... What the fuck are you doing? They're jacking each other off. Good God, man. It's like they've got their only fans, but it's only Souls fans. No. Oh, no. There goes the Uchi. I must have took the brace and knuckle off, did I? No, it's still there. Oof. Damn, that'll tell you. Christ, we didn't even make it into Drang Lake Castle. And it's hurting for a squirting. Damn, boy. What in the holy hell did you just do? I think I need the brace and knuckle plus one. A lot of the rings, or most all the rings in this game, have plus one and plus two and plus three. This is pretty cool, if you ask me. It also means the other ones are completely fucking useless. Best rings in the game. I don't think you have a, a ring quite like the Ring of Favor, like the other Dark Souls games. They're pretty good rings. But you get, like, the Dragon Rings, which are good in this game. Kind of do similar. A little bit of health, a little bit of damage. <laughs> Excuse me. Got more of the, of the Giants. Giants are pretty cool. It's the first time, like, we actually... Wait, hold on a minute. Was I just chilling there, changing out my weapon while these guys were... Checking out only Souls fans. Oh man, I do not like the Black Steel's. Uh, I don't like its move set. So it does this kind of cool thing for a Samurai Blade where it puts it back in the hilt and then draws it out. It's cool. Definitely a shout out to old uh, Samurai movies. But when you just want to, you know, beat the shit out of stuff, you don't want to be staring at an animation. Come on, bitch! That's right, bitch! Ammo says you're a bitch! Fuck you, Rocco! Ammo loves you, but Ammo thinks Rocco's a bitch! Alright, calm down. Jesus, Ammo. The whole internet losing its shit. Ammo's gonna take Rocco, and he's gonna fuck the shit out of Rocco! Yeah! Wow, okay, okay then. Is, are you sure this is Ammo? What's funny about Ammo is I don't know how he's still going, 
Because has anyone not heard the controversy about the, the puppeteer who controls Elmo? Sorry, I know I'm trying. I'm breaking the fourth wall, breaking the Sesame Street wall. But he, he end up being like a twisted freak. Maybe they just got a different puppeteer. Elmo's always tainted forever. Elmo, stop putting your hand up Elmo's ass. I can't do it anymore. See, as soon as you try and do it, it's already lost. Oh yeah. I can do this all day, bitch. But can you? Stunk. Ran out of stamina. Oh, you got some dodge in you, huh? Well done. Well done. 700 deaths. Hello, hello, better. Hello. Damn. Okay. You, I, oh, these guys just keep spawning, don't they? You, I think you officially have taken uh, the highest. Highest. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no. Where are these guys coming from? I think I'm done. I think I'm done for. Why did I come down here? I'm not doing any damage on them. I think it's just hitting off the wall over and over again. Fuck! Have they just been spawning from here? Oh, there's there's a, there's the monster closet. That's a lot. It is. That is a lot. That's definitely the highest. One hundred. Clearly, you don't think much of my talent. It's okay. It's all right. I'm not mad. Damn, that was a shitty death. Okay, maybe 700 deaths was good. Well done. Maybe, maybe you're a, a secret genius because, right? Think about this. He's gone way into the the upper echelon, right? But if I end up getting an out of control death number, and everybody kept theirs pretty conservative, he he would end up like winning, maybe. You know, right? It all depends. I'm gonna have to get like an independent adjudicator and a mathematician to solve how close people are to the real death number. No, it's not gonna be that far, is it? Here we have a Bill Nye the Science Guy. See who the fuck won this giveaway. Please, please, I've been locked in a basement for three days. No, 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 Bill, no. We just want you to say how many deaths there were. That's all. Help me, please. Blink twice. I'm blinking twice. Bill, we we talked about this. I have the taser set to stun. I can set it to death. Oh god. Do -do 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 -do. Bill Nye the Tased Guy. N no. Too soon. Too soon. Can't make taser jokes over his charred body. Okay. Once I know where the limit is, that's all I need to know. <laughs> it was not a, There is no bad guesses. There is no. There's only bad breath. Jesus Christ. 164. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Hell yeah. So the plan is. Um, you know, to keep the game fun, if there's any duplicates, I'll, I'll let people uh, guess again. But otherwise, it's one entry per person uh, to keep it as fair as possible because, you know, people could just be starting other accounts and stuff. There's also people who, who have been very nice to garner up, like, almost 500,000 points in this channel, which is amazing. Well, you know, if they're able to do, you know, that many pecking guesses, eventually eventually going to get it right, right? You know? Even a dog... And piss on the same fucking hydrant twice a day. Boy, that was my rear nipple. You guys, what what do you guys think about your own rear nipples? What do you mean you don't have any rear nipples? How, how do you walk on your back then? What what's going on here? Clearly, I've stepped off a bit too early on the old evolution boat. You guys don't have rear nipples that you're able to fall back on and walk around like a crab. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that creating nightmare fuel for you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if my nightmare fuel triggers you. <laughs> I got little butt dimples. They're... I don't have any rear nipples, but I got butt dimples. Is that good enough for you? When will my butt dimples be good enough for you? I swear. I lived in fear of butt dimples for years. Right, let's go get our souls back and not make any more mistakes, right? No more deaths. I do solemnly swear to never die again, yes. Do you accept these terms? What's the current dead count? I can't tell you. I wish. I wish I could. I had a dead counter on the side, then I realized it broke the whole giveaway because people were just going to wait and be like, 202. Gotcha, bitch. But we can't have that. It must be fair. So says Rosie O'Donnell. What are you doing here? Now I'm just pulling celebrities out of my ass. Just like... Wait, hold on. What do we do here? Oh, yeah, we have to turn these or something, right? 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 
Do I have time to equip my black steel katana? Ah! Please, sir, please, no! And go power stance. Get oh, the fuck out of my kitchen! That's right, this is my kitchen. It may not be much. It's my humble boner. <laughs> this is my humble boner. What is, it, what is an abode, anyway? An, ab an abode. I swear, like, two, three hundred years ago, they were just fucking around with English language, making up shit as they went along. They had to have been. <laughs> this is why my Uchi Katana is broken. Y'all won't just stop invading. I'm sorry if I'm missing stuff. That's some good guesses. I appreciate everyone who enters. So, um, it, it is actually like, capturing and saving them all. And then the game itself is keeping track of the dead counts. So that's that's how we're doing it. It's no no cheating. I don't know how many death counts there is either, Swampy. That's the beauty of it. I think if I knew that I might do like a cheeky smirk or something and give it away. We don't want to do that. You know, even if like fucking Red Hot Chili Peppers is in the corner saying give it away, give it away now. But if this works out all good and you know it it, it works flawlessly and everybody's happy, we'll definitely do it again. It's just a bit of fun. I've never done a, a, a legit giveaway before. The last one didn't work out so well, you know. Still waiting to see if that person got my liver. Nobody wanted it, you know? What's wrong with a little bit of fungus growing on a liver? It's fine. It's a good Irish liver. The Irish liver is so advanced that we've created this kind of like composting system. So people wonder like, how did they drink so much alcohol and not pass out? That's how. We're just constantly creating a compost system in our liver and turning it into other stuff. It's really good. It's a renewable liver. <laughs> it's renewable. <laughs> Good clean energy. Yeah, so I think you gotta. Oh no, yeah, this is what you gotta do. You gotta kill them beside the giant. It wakes them up, and they turn the pedestal. The penis still. Alright, so what's in this folder? These are uh, still images of my penis. I call it the penis stills. Well. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the weirdest fucking show and tell ever. Oh, I think he's gonna kill me. Yep, yep, yep. God damn it. To be able to continue their combo by turning around 180 as if they're on a fucking, uh, you know, a kid's uh, jewelry box ballerina spinning around. You dirty bastard. Alright. So many deaths, so little time. Sometimes you have a good death, you know? You're staring. At your pinky toe for too long and you pass out and go cross eyed. That's a good death. Dying from that guy? Pathetic! Pathetic. <laughs> As I go 699 and destroy him. There's people that have done that. So far, we have had people just like edging out the other person. <laughs> Poor decision making from the young Irishman there. I know it was, it was. I should have just stayed at this one here. It's always poor decision making. But I make up for it by talking about controversial topics. Distract you. What is that? What is you what are you doing there? Is that a cat toy? Yeah, I'm trying to distract you. <laughs> I suppose I should have asked for pronouns first. Why is it always pronouns and never pre-nouns? No. Ugh. God damn it, Bobby. I'm here for pre-nouns. Freedom isn't free. It costs a hefty bucket to come. Freedom cost. Bucket to come. That's right. Freedom is when you finally get enough come and you bring it into a <laughs> fucking I can't even go any further with this. Jesus! Good God, man. Too much. We need we need to get inside and get a a a bonfire here ready. Hannibal would have liked the liver, gangbang, he would have. He would have that Hannibal show very good. Pronouns when you use before asking that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, it probably is a thing. Pre-nouns. You know where, like, when you're school, you're, you're taught about nouns and verbs and adjectives, which I always thought was a fake. That's fake. That's not a real word. Adjective? 
fake news! It won't be long now before they'll start teaching about pre-nouns and pronouns. Nice! I could have a Titanite slab. I don't really need any of that stuff, but... The the armor set I would like to go for is the the Dark Raid set. It's just called the Dark Set. In this game? That's so cool. Who doesn't want to go around like a giant skeleton in armor? I do. You take this giant douche. Be your lawful douche. Douche. So that's why the, those guys keep respawning. It's been a minute since I played this. Keep respawning so that you'll kill them. Uh oh. Master Dawn attack. Are we supposed to be getting Beast Wars, Transformers Beast Wars? I hope so. That was my shit. Beast Wars was my shit. I loved it so much. I can never afford the big expensive ones like the Rhino and that and the T-Rex. But I could always uh, afford the little ones. So I'd have like a scorpion that turned into a fucking, fucking Transformer. The little ones were a bit cheaper. You guys, you know, you, you, a lot of kids these days, they grow up very privileged. Even their even their pocket money is like seventy five dollars. Mom, can I get a new Lambo? Oh, I guess it is. I guess it is like just pocket money. Why didn't this one wake up? Wake the fuck up! Oh, that's because he already did. With An Orlando's castle, you barely even open the main door. Most people even forget about it. And this one, you gotta open it. And we're greeted by a ghost. And two pursuers, half a bottle of whiskey, and a packet of tato. Can I get some tatoes? Welcome to Drang Lake Castle. Oh yes, the mirrors. Yeah, keep an eye on the mirrors. Really, really. This is like one of the. It might not be everyone's favorite boss, but I think it's one of the most genius bosses. Is the Looking Glass Knight? It's something they've never really returned to. So it's a basic knight. Who has a giant shield and you're like okay this is bog standard but his shield is also a mirror a looking glass right very uh you know a, a nod to alice in wonderland no less but the difference is halfway through the fight he plops down the looking glass and outbursts another enemy but what's even cooler is if you're online and you're into invasions the guy who bursts out of the mirror can actually be a real motherfucker, a real person. It's really clever. I love when From Software do stuff like that. We've never had a boss quite like that. Like Demon Souls has a an NPC fight that can be uh, a real person. Come on, man! You're just trying to make me aggro all these guys. I ain't doing it. Cause guess what? This is where the bonfire's at. Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the, hood at? Where the bonfire? Stop! Stop! I'll roll through everything. Oh man, don't you hate when backstab won't connect like that? Looks like he's just gone. Oh, that's so stupid. Look at my little footprints, look. Like people learn to dance like one, two step. One, two step. Rock with me. That's more like it. That's the only thing I'd say is a little bit annoying is how weird the hitbox is with the backstab. He still got me there. Just a little of my zipper. Oh, Mousy, hello, hello, hello. Hello. How you doing? The one and only coming through with the stink stink. Uh, one the stink, two in the stink. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Get out of my ass. <laughs> Skipped arm day, that's so funny, Sting. And then Mouse, Mouse, eh? Oh, it's almost like Moose. <laughs> if you're really fancy. We we must say. Let's go talk to the ghost. Who, who am I? I am he. Who are you? I am who? Who are you? He is he, and I am we. Stink and pink. I I actually call this character stink, but I, this close to calling it stinky maminky. After a very special friend, but I didn't I didn't want to make it weird. I mean, let's be honest. I, it's already been weird. It's been weird. I grew up in a cave, but it was filled with gold! Gold! And then when you finally decided to get hungry enough and eat the gold, it was actually cheese. You were living in cheese the whole time, and that's why the true origin story of why Pyro doesn't like cheese. Boom! Nailed it! 
Ship it, Please. clip it, flip it, and dip it. Dip it in cheese, bitch. I'm gonna buy you a fondue set for Christmas, Pyro. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna make you love cheese, right? The Cheese Education of Silent Pyro. A novella by Cooper Hoodoober. It's always a motherfucking novella, isn't it? Christ, man, call it a novel or a book. No, bitch, it's a novella. You just wanna be fancy for the sake of just... Just be careful. Learn from me. I, I grew up reading many, many books. And, you know, I was, I was... We weren't poor, but we weren't well off, you know? So, the one thing I'd never bothered to get myself was a bookmark. But one day, while reading, I realized that I have my own bookmark. That's right. Evolution and God was nice enough to give me my own bookmark. That's right, I used my dick as a bookmark. But I learned the hard way when I read Stephen King's The Stand. 1600 pages and I closed that motherfucker on my own personal bookmark. I still have the paper cuts on my dick. I can show you right now. I can show. No, I can't. Okay, sorry, sorry. TOS, TOS. Totally not cool, bruh. Totally not cool. The king, long ago, the queen came you were this close. Alone. Release the dragon! She warned our lord of the Ah, uh, stinky on my pinky. <laughs> Definitely skip arm there if you're gonna root of tree in the stink and you lose your dang watch. Hey, My god, that one's so good! I love, uh, I love mod check as well. Is that, is that part of BTTV or... Have you somehow managed to get a gift sub to XQC? Talk to me. Ooh, talk to me. XQC. He is definitely. That dude, I'm telling you. Check check these out, bajonka junks. Bajesus. Bajesus. What in the hell? What in the hell? Look at that. I'm gonna mesmerize you. Don't look too closely, you go brand. You got gifted, okay. Me too, monster, right? Me too. I'm trying to wink there, I got one of them wonky eyes. <laughs> the king commandeered their power. Not quite e Rob, but still. Definitely got some kind of hooded With the eyelash here. The king Stop it! This castle. Ah. To celebrate victory and to show his love. His when you give me those wonky eyes. <laughs> I love all the Twitch streamer songs, man. They crack me up. That's how you know you made it when people are making badass songs about you. Like, uh, NMPs Stuck in America. That's a banger. Stuck in America, in America. Now they're stuck in Norway. Uh, what I, I like the uh, the Daft Punk Smite song from Mizkit. Playing some might. Everybody's going to do it right. I don't know. It's, 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 yeah. There's a lot of songs. You can actually see a compilation about them. Damn, that's when you know you've made it, boys. It's your own little song. No. Oh. Door open, door close. I'm not buff or anything, but that's a whole... Yeah, he is a skeleton. Here we go. We're in Drang Lake Castle. We've got two thrones. Two very empty thrones. The two thrones. Prince of Persia. This place also is home to something else. Two pursuers. Got a king and a queen. Some big chairs, right? Big booty holes. Just say. You know what they say about people with big chairs, right? Big booty holes. Big booty bitches. Got them big to the booty bitches. Big booty bitches. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's fucking raining inside too. God damn it. Conservatory is all fucked up. Talk to me, ghost. The queen brought peace. To the He's pretty much your your lore dump. Have you ever seen a lore dump? It's disgusting. You used to open up that book, that page in the book, and it's like, oh, there's the, oh my god, there's the lore dump. Oh, Jesus, go, quick, go to the next page. That fucking smell of it, but it's kind of interesting. Is this some sort of a dream? Fred Durst uses, hey, I'm telling you, sadly he hasn't been on in ages, I need to get the video of him. Fucking Fred Durst on Twitch. He revealed, like, a lot of new songs. Cheeky beggar, he knew what he was doing. He played a lot of COD. Which kind of makes a sense, right? Backwards cap looking ass? Yeah, definitely a COD head. It's all about the he said, she said. He fucking spawn killed me! <laughs> you think you're gonna flip? You better slip. Now we're rocking two katanas when one is not enough. Does anybody want me to cut the family roast? Hold on, I'm gonna turn into shish kebab. I just see the word boobs. That's okay. 
They look close enough. They look like boobs too. Boobs! I use my imagination. Fucking better. You better use that imagination. Oh fuck yeah. I like the way you use that imagination. It's getting weird again. Slowly I'm trying to ease you guys into Cooper Hoodoobers ASMR. It's mostly just gonna be me saying weird things. And sniffing on the mic. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Oh yeah. Just sniff sniffing permanent markers on the mic. This makes me feel weird. Mission accomplished. Move over, Amaranth. Move over. Get the fuck out of here, Indy Fox. Oh, she's already gone. Good, good God. All I need to buy is them TikTok pants and it's over. Game over. I don't think the world is ready for my booty, though. Mm -mm. I don't think they're ready for this jelly. Or is it jam? Who knows? Jelly? I don't think you're ready for this jam, jelly, or jello. To be determined. I don't know. To be determined. That's right. Die, bitch. Huh? Look at the fucking speed of me! Oh, Jesus, I'm fucking flying around now! Can't. Can't. Can't stop this. So many followers, so rare to get gifted. Yeah. You must have felt like a scene, though, did you? You know those moments you're like, Cut! I'm not supposed to be in here. Mousy got seen. <laughs> I used to watch a good bit of his RP stuff when it was cool. Now it's just like, I'm gonna kill every cap. I don't give a fuck. And then he, as he says, he mauls. Mauls all day and night. But you know, there's only so long they can survive on MasterChef. I'm telling you, we're getting closer and closer to all of them getting banned. It's crazy right now. Apparently, like, this guy's toast got banned, right? And now he's just after revealing that he did it himself. It was a self takedown to try and show how dangerous anime or something was. But in doing so, you know, he's trying to be five head, but he actually turned into like fucking, uh, you know, perjury head because that is a federal offense. <laughs> Whoopsie. So we'll see. Probably not gonna happen though. It's all gravy. It's a piece of toast. You can't sue a piece of toast, right? Not for this Florida woman. That's right. She first got married to this piece of toast, divorced it, and is now suing her ex toast husband. Her ex husband. Uh, okay, okay. All right. Jesus, Florida. Anything can happen in Florida. This one time, I think Florida even made love to itself. It is a big dick, after all. Hell yeah. See, if Ireland does eventually detach from Europe and we row our big country ass. Will eventually join up with Florida. It all makes sense. All makes sense. Uh, I don't think you're ready for this lockdown belly. <laughs> oh. I think we can all excuse a little bit. Just gotta put googly eyes on it. Because everybody loves googly eyes. Right? Look, it's my belly like a bowl full of jelly with googly eyes. Uh, I know a guy told me he was GTA 5 roleplay cop. Yeah, dude, it's everywhere. There's not some kind of stigma with it. It's cool. There's an, I don't think there's stigma really around anything anymore. Most of us will just make a joke if it's a meme, but I think most stigma is dying off. Even even furries. Furries just out here doing their thing. Ever since that Sonic guy won the award. It's called Sonic. You're dressed up like a fox. Sonic's a hedgehog, man. Do you not understand? Hmm? Your actions have consequences! Uh-oh. Oh, they done riled that motherfucker up. I heard he's 34 now. Still living with his mom. Still loves Sonic. God bless him. I don't think we need to go down here yet. I think this is actually where you go to fight Nassandra. Nassandra? Ooh, girl! Nassandra, I love you. I'm just gonna be spinning around. I call you Kylie, you call me Minogue. Uh, once someone tells you that, it's very hard to take them seriously. Oh, Dude, it's kind of fun. It's the next level of... Um... Oh yeah, this is tough now. I have to start fighting all these ways. It's the next level of online stuff, you know? Because even in MMOs, people tend to do their thing in your role-playing, but never to that extent. Maybe if they had, like, private servers. 
Damn, you should be dead, sir. This place is tough. Because you just don't know which one's gonna wake up. Why don't you put a little bit of makeup? We got some big chunks as well. And then you gotta kill them beside the doors to open them up. Some doors hold goodies. Ah, ooh. Some ho doors hold whores. Damn, that's fucking hard to say. Not every door is a whore, but some doors hold whores. <laughs> oh, he survived! With a tiny little speckle of health on his schmeckle. Is that a speckle on your schmeckle? Are you just happy to shake me? Uh, it's, yeah, essentially improv. I agree, I agree. That I'm telling you. Some people are so fucking good at it. But the, then there's the other people who can get lost in it. That's when they can't, you know, they start to lose touch with reality. Yeah. Because some, some people, um, GTA, RPE, like, that's their whole thing. And they'll do it for days. Days and days. A week, you know. Just their whole life. So, at that point, you know, your real life would start to fall asunder a bit. Then you got people who are like living inside VR. We think it's just something from a movie. Trust me. People are doing it. VR chat. See, oh, now we got these guys. The Rune Sentinels. They're back and in charge. That's right. Women and children first. Little zipper for my nipple. What once was a boss is now a common enemy. How common? Pretty common, dude. There's about three of them around here. You better open the right doors. Hold on, my sword's getting a bit soft. Oh, now it's erect again. Hold on. Another one! God damn it. What you want to do is try and fight these rune sentinels by themselves. Don't wake up any of the other guys. Shh. Be very quiet. I'm hunting Poon. Good eye, mate! Welcome back! Today's show, we're hunting Poon! Right, so what you want to do now is just stick your finger in our asshole. That's really gonna piss her off. Ugh. Please don't do that. Uh, sorry, I'm falling off the camera here. Someone, uh, someone has to be fair to me before anyone calls me an asshole. This guy I'm talking about is an asshole. Just not bullying, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's okay. That's how you rationalize it. Damn it. That's that's literally the whole thing. It's like, oh, this guy's not racist because he is a friend who's black. You know, that's like the the the, the one thing they all use. No, he's a fucking racist. <laughs> oh, I was hoping it was gonna be a good ring, but maybe the royal soldier's ring is good. Let's see, increases maximum load. Hey, motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Huh? Huh? Literally elongate in your fucking balls. Elong musk in them. What the hell is that smell? Uh Elon just walked in. Oh, for fuck's sake. God, I know that's his last name, but he doesn't have to like live up to it. What the fuck? Beans and musky beans, what the fuck? Wake up, little giant. Oh Something about this room reminds me of Ark. You know? Things kind of clipping through the floor. Big old square rooms. Fuck all going in them. Hell yeah. It's definitely one of my arc builds. What the fuck? Pincer attack. Isn't it cool the way you don't collect their souls? It goes to the everything else. Soul stealers. Wake me up inside. You think if your if your penis could sing that it would sing that song? Wake me up inside. Save me. <laughs> Instead of evanescence, it'd be penis penis essence. Michael Bublé's Essence of the Penis, the new hit album. Real trap shit. Just once I would like. Oh, for fuck's sake, Johnny. Just once I would like. You know, Michael Bublé to do like a rap album. Real trap shit. <laughs> this this is not my Bubbles. This is not my Michelle Bubbles. Hello? 
I need a refund. I went to get the Michelle Bubbles and did not get this Michelle Bubbles. Ma'am, this is Michelle Bubbles. It's just a new direction we're going in. We were going in that one direction. Now we're in two directions. Oh, for fuck's sake. I fall down. I'm gonna get mincemeated by this guy. The real form of Stretch Armstrong. Before we put that horrible skin over him. Oh, look what we just picked up. The Faram armor set. So this is the actual armor set from uh, the trailer. From the game. The box in the game. The who and the hey. Look how cool it is. Damn, boy. It's got some Vader quality. It's actually a really good set, too. It's got fur on it. And it feels nice and warm. And it tickles your undercarriage. Basically. It's nice. I like to get the armor set from it. Look at that. Look, just look at that. Look at that. Look at us, huh? Just look at us. Let's take off that ring that's causing all that nasty to happen. Jesus. Jesus Christ. There you go. Damn, boy. You're looking fucking fine. Damn. And you take the helmet off and it's like, Ah, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, yeah, she got a little butthole chin as well. What the hell? Butthole chins, you nice. It is time to rise up. Too long have we been called anus chins. Too long have we suffered in the dark. Reveal thy butthole chin. And grant us peace in our days. Uh, if only one was accepted. If only everyone was accepted when I was a kid. I remember getting bullied for being a nerd. Yeah, I know, right? This is what I was saying. This has actually created this weird revenge complex with people. This is why I think we have a situation where so many streamers and even celebrities and fucking uh, streamers and, and YouTubers and all this stuff turning into some dark, heinous shit that they're doing. I really do think there's an actual, like mental complex or disorder where they spent their whole life you know being bullied or being in the wrong cliques you know and bullied for their you know their uh, the nerdy stuff they like right and they never got the girl like literally as stupid as it sound the textbook stuff you see in those movies right revenge of the nerds so then finally uh, everything's changed decades have gone by and now all the nerdy shit is cool so now you get all these people coming to the cool shit you get the jocks coming back you get the fucking beautiful women coming back you get everybody coming back but they also mix up with these guys who were here from the start who are very fucking bitter and over that time that bitterness has created a bit of a schism in their fucking mind and yeah they end up trying to just you know, the bully, the bully, the bully becomes the bully, the abuser becomes the, yeah, that, that, that old chestnut. It's a real fucking thing, man, I see it every day. I'm telling you, crazy. No one seems to want to do any kind of studies on this stuff, but it's happening. They have to label it with incel and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, no, dude, this is a whole generation that has been through this and with the, how technology has moved so fast and how things have shifted from what's cool and what's the norm. Uh, and now they still feel left out. They're, I'm telling you, it's a real fucking thing. Just there yesterday, it's so fucking sad. But this poor, she was like a teacher, like 23 years old, was just running after her, uh, finishing her day in school. Fucking stabbed and killed by some crazy person. Fucking madness. In the middle of quaint little Ireland, like I'm telling you. You're not truly safe out there at all. Always keep your wits about you. Poor thing. Like, imagine if she was just running along. How the fuck did he get his her hands on her? But, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's horrible. Horrible. I feel so uh, sad for the fucking family as well. Jesus. There's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, people that are very mentally ill out there. Oh, man. He's still alive. That's, that's the real problem out there. There's a huge... It's not even about COVID. It's not about this or that. There's an actual mental health problem out there. I don't know what it is about Ireland, but I don't know why the hell they feel the need to let these people just roam the streets. If you have priors, if you're known for doing something, why the hell are you let out on your own reconnaissance? It's fucking crazy. Right, I do like that armor, but we, we be fat rolling, and we can't be fat rolling. We be fat rolling. They hating. Trying to get me fat rolling. I realize, but it even makes me attack slower. God! Everything hits so hard! We were fighting these things in No Man's Wharf like they were nothing. Now, he's making mincemeat. Mincemeat! 
So yeah, the lesson from all that rant is basically don't ever be afraid to talk to people. You gotta talk to people before things get too bad. We need to remove the stigma from all of us. All of us! This is where you find him as well. So falling down there is a good thing. This is number two. Young undead, don't let this curse weigh upon you. It's a very interesting boss fight. Like anyone else would say that you don't want to find these kind of boss fights, but me being the crazy bastard, I'm going after these things. So you have yourself a situation where you have to find him in three very rare places. Then he'll open three portals. You gotta go in there and fight fucking annoying, difficult uh, NPCs. Then it opens a crazy boss. And every time you die in the boss, he steals a human effigy from you. So talk about, there's one thing about, you know, the whole uh, punishment in playing these type of games, but holy crap. It's a whole other thing when it comes to uh, literally pushing yourself into the line of fire to fight a boss. We will walk through that fire, boys. We've done good. I haven't died in a little bit, right? Maybe. I was on a football team my whole life. School that was supposed to give me safe passage, but it didn't. It's all good. I think no matter what, dude, no matter who you are, even if you think it's like the big jock or the, you know, the, 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 the fucking, the, the pretty click of, of uh, girls, it doesn't matter who you are, you will get bullied at least once in your life. And it comes down to how you handle that shit. Because burying that stuff down... And thinking you can just be on your merry way it usually just makes it resurface in a bad way later. People can end up getting bullied in their forties or something, you know, from a boss or a colleague or something. So yeah, sometimes suffering, having a bit of a hard time, will just make you stronger. Whereas these other people who have it easy and ignorance is bliss, they end up something horrible happening to them later in life. You know, just the way life is, it can hand you a bad thing sometimes. You know. And what happens then is uh, they're not equipped for it mentally or anything, and it just that's where you see you're like, damn, how does these housewives keep snapping? They're married, they've all this stuff, and beautiful family, and they're so rich, and they've ten cars, and you just fucking snap. That's why, because they had it too easy all their life, and they weren't equipped for the tough stuff. So yeah, just wear wear all those tough times on your heart, on your sleeve, as you know, like tattoos, good, good, uh, good moments that you survived that help build the character of who you are, a map of who you are, right? Cheesy, cheesy as it sounds, you gotta look at it like that, because if you don't, you'll just, you'll never get out of this alive. Oh, do I gotta open all these again? No, I don't. Okay, cool. I think we've opened mostly everything. You don't want to be waking too many of these up, let me tell you. Really hurts. Did I take off all my rings? I did. I did. I knew I could feel it. Watch out! I just didn't. Oh my god! Is he aggroed? I don't think so. Hold on! I gotta go put my stuff on. Hold on. Do 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 do. Does this make my butt look big? Do 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 do. Gonna have a little drink. Hold on! I gotta go take a shit. Is that okay? You sure I don't like fighting them in here? That. But going out there now, there's too many of them that would wake up. Wake up! Why don't you little put on a bit of Mark Jacobs? Ruin armor. Cool, you can walk around like a ruined sentinel. If you get their helmet, because they're, they're so skinny, their helmet is like all neck. It's like reverse Big Ed. Good, you know Big Ed? Good old Big Ed. He's all neck. All neck, baby. Remember that other guy? He was like a meme that he had like a big neck. And I, I randomly saw that meme pop up again. And this tattoo artist had given him a tattoo. It was just the most random fucking thing ever. Damn, I'm telling you. It's funny when, when a person becomes a meme. And it's a, you know, it's a good wholesome meme or whatever. It doesn't ruin their life. They try and really milk the meme. And if you don't know, milking memes is wrong. Some people are black bean intolerant. Open the fucking door! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Mama Sheeta, don't dash the Santa Claus. Hello, pleased to meet you! Holy mother of Christ, I must have aggroed one of the uh, rune sentinels. Respawn and rune sentinels. This Christmas we wish you and yours a hefty blowjob. Oh my god! 
Get back in your door! I ain't fighting those. It's not worth it. But to open the third door, it might still aggro them all. Will it? You better not come out. No. <laughs> we whip it be! Aggro! Oh yeah, we have the door open. Okay. It's all the doors. Damn! It's a nice little kindergarten you got here. It'd be a shame if a, a meteor were to come down and smack the shit out of you. Nice. See? Like nothing happens. Alright, so I think the, the, the first door on the right is what we want. The last door on the left. What's, what's behind it? It's the pantry. No. It's completely fine. Yeah, this room, this room is pretty, pretty annoying. Cause that stupid rune sentinel will always spawn in. No one asked him, no one cares, but there he is. Ooh, baby, a skitty bitch. How did that do such little damage? Cause a random grazing of a shield? Hell no. Graze these nuts. I still don't like. Still on telling train stranger stuff, even though I'm involved with computing, maybe some unresolved issues there. Probably, I think we all have some. I've definitely got some self esteem issues for fucking real. And I'm far more social and chatty on stream than I am in real life, let me tell you. I'm a loader. In real life, I'm a loader. That doesn't mean I'll load your buddy, because you still owe me three fit of your bastard. On stream, come across. He's a nice guy, but in real life, I steal candy from babies. What the fuck? Who would do that, honestly? Me. I'm the pink panty. I mean, pink panthers. What? What? I'm the pink panther. He's still alive. Aperture science. He's so tall, I can't see his health bar. Hmm. Might have been worth thinking about that one there from software. Moving the life bar down a little bit. Wake up, bitch! Shut the hell up! <laughs> I love that little kid so much. Do you, do you need to leave? No, bitch! To have those kind of balls, you know, the, the cojones to talk back to a teacher when you're that young. Just fucking, what's it called golf claps? Golf claps. Good God! I'm back, baby. How many times you died? Almost next to none. Next to almost a few more than the last time I died. Hell yeah! Now see, I'm giving too much away now. Christ! Wake up, bitch! Wake up! We're in Drang Lake Castle now. We're chilling. We finished off the Rudded. So the plan is to go finish off all this all the way to the Sandra. So that means we got to do like the giant memories, the dragon era and fight the ancient dragon. And then uh, I want to frozen flowers. Isn't that important? And then I want to fight the dark lurker. That's the plan. That's the last boss. The famous dark lurker. Some say he lurks in the dark. Some say he lurks in my chat. Come on, man, that's not cool. Just say hello one time. Someone please call 911. So, uh, speaking of lurkers, there have been... I, I feel bad for the lurkers who are just waiting around for the giveaways. Like, damn, this guy. This guy is talking a mile a minute. 17 jokes and conversations going at once. And I ain't understand nothing. Is it English? Is it Irish? Fuck it, it's gibberish. <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. Please collect your tote bag. Uh, on your way out. It's full of gibberish. Gotta be careful. What's a statue and what's real? Oh, yeah. Who's woken up down here? Stop it. Instead of... We've got, gone through poison. We've gone through acid. We've seen some shit. We really have. But now... What looks like vomit is actually... The stuff that breaks all your armor. Somebody woke up. Who is it? And then these 
stupid dragon carriages start dropping a lot of it. So yeah, this area loves to break your armor. Ugh. Won't do much damage, but it breaks your armor. So what you want to do? What you want to do? Max Xanadu. Just walk around buck naked. If you ain't ready to walk around buck naked, you ain't ready at all. One of these is a fake door, isn't it? Fake door! You like fake doors, don't you? That's bad. That's bad. Start walking around in the acid. Buck naked, look at that. What's she doing? Checking her pulse? I'm fucking dying here! Wow. Isn't there monsters in here too? Somebody drops down. There he is! There they both are. Guys, stop! Oh, you dirty bitch in a handbasket. Is he already up here? He is. Both of them. And he said, let there be titties. And it rained boobs for four days. Everyone was scared. Eventually we got used to it. You boob! Alright, where was I? Fuzzy, wuzzy, 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 bear it all. I missed when the Muppets were good. This might be a trap chest as well. This game is like a thick bathroom. Could be a wall down here too. My biscuits are burning! Can someone please go check on my biscuits? They could be burning. Alright, Uchi. Black Steel Katana. Together at last. Life Ring. Brace Snuckle. Bring our restoration. And the Ring of Blades. Oh wait, I'm buck naked, hold on. I'm sorry. You got to see my business. Oh yeah. So yeah, we have lots of bosses, but by doing this, this will set us up beautifully for uh, starting the DLCs. Now, I'm hoping to do all three DLCs tomorrow, but look, we'll see. I don't know. Oh yeah, this room, all the masks, so creepy. Some of these masks you can actually get. It's very hard to get though. You know the one with the, like, it kind of looks like that, uh, what's that, Circus Baby from FNAF? Obviously this came first, but still. Kinda looks like that mask, you know, white, but with like black tears coming down, weeping angels. Oh, that damn angel is weeping again. I think that episode, it shocked so much. Because, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake, people were not used to us. In... Doctor Who. Damn, why does it have to do that? It's just an arrow. It's been fired with the force of a thousand suns. That guy wakes up. Oh, here we go. So here's our first clue that something is quite wrong in this kingdom, if you couldn't tell. Oh, oh fuck. Let's fight these guys first. You fucking backstab him, Jesus Christ. If the animation happens, they should just do it. Let, like, let the tracking take over or something. Silly. To waste time staring at an animation that doesn't connect. That's a big sword. Tyrone Biggums. Cute. Wait, I'm not powers. Oh, I'm not power stancing! No! Damn, no one told me. No one told me. I think you guys are trying to sabotage me. Are you? Hmm? Now I see the truth of lies. You're trying to sabotage me. Sabotage! I was not power stancing, so I was doing possibly next to no damage there. It was fucking great. Sabotage. Trying to get more deaths out of me. Right? That's my skills and I'm sticking to it. I ain't playing bad, I'm just merely been sabotaged from the inside. 
sabotage. Just like the appendix. Sabotage from the inside. Sasmatage. All right, let's see who aggro's and who doesn't aggro. Any day now. As soon as you turn your back, you're making friends. Let's get for stealing my biscuits. There you go. That's how you get through there without getting wrecked. Right, where was we? Ah, yes. You were kicking my ass, do you mind? There you go, we got the backs up. Sometimes it connects, sometimes it doesn't, I don't know. Connect four, but it's all whores. Connect whore! Basically it comes with these tiny little Barbie dolls. You have to like jam them into an old connect four thing. <laughs> I am having like 50-50 success rate on the backstab here. Disgusting! Fofty fofty. Fucking fofty fofty. Northern Ireland and fofty. Alright, here we go. So what I was saying, you got this... Every, every picture in the Dark Souls games cannot be fucking trusted. They're beautiful. But they hide so many secrets and lies. Here's a picture of Queen Nassandra, right? It looks kind of nice, kind of solemn. She's quiet, contemplating stuff. But as you move closer, something very strange happens. Something very strange indeed. As you get closer, a curse! A curse upon these houses. You can't touch the painting. In a very kind of a Dorian Gray move. And the closer you get to that painting, the more a curse becomes you. So, that makes you think that there's something very wrong with that painting. Or, more importantly, something very wrong with Queen Nassandra. Ooh, girl! Isn't that cool? Don't you love that stuff? I got Murphy set up. Oh, he's gonna be cute. He's already cute. What a photogenic dog. Oh my, he's gonna break... Someone's heart one day, you know that? Oh, that pic that last picture you took, where he's just laid out, oh, he's such a little teddy bear. And then, like, we'll be hanging out, and I'll hear him yap, and I'm like, oh, I swear to God, he's like one of those little wind-up puppies, you know, they do the little flip, and they flip over, you know? <laughs> he is adorable. Oh, I'm telling you, there was never a, b a better bit of good luck for you than the whole thing behind Murphy. I remember the day you went to get him, you're like, all right. I went to the wrong place and it was kind of starting to fall apart, but you didn't lose hope. And then, and then you were like, oh, I, I already got him. I'm like, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Best day ever. Whew. Tell you, he is like a little miracle puppy, baby. He's my little miracle baby. How, cool, how beautiful is this castle? It's all like obsidian and stuff. We got the nameless usurper. I mean, if you're gonna be a usurper, might as well be a nameless one, right? I I would like to be the nameless usurper. That's right. Someone come in and slurp my mom. I don't know his name. He was the best lover I ever had. Mom, stop! God, mom, stop! My little turd burglar. <laughs> I should never have told you that. Oh god, it's the twink moment all over again. We actually have like a, a pantomime actress over in Ireland called Twink. So you don't realize how much you ruined that word for me, Marcy. <laughs> years and years of going to see pantomimes and, and Christmas shows with the actress Twink in it. Ruined. <laughs> ruined forever. <laughs> oh my god. It always did seem a bit weird when I googled Twink the actress and it came up with some pretty fucking randy shit. Dear God. What has happened here? So how much does a, a groom usually cost? Do you get them all done or how's that work? So I know there's a lot of business in that. Over in Ireland here there's a lot of people who do mobile grooming. They're just driving around in a little van with a cute little dog on the side and they, they come to you. They groom to you. I groom to you. Damn, you know what? Christina Aguilera had some good hits back there, I'm telling you. 
Remember that song, I Turn to You. Oh shit, that was a good song. Oh! He pulled an Evanescence and woke up. Now oh, I gotta fight him on this tiny little place here. Just me and you, we ain't gonna pre. Check out my footsteps. Ah. No, another failed backstab. Why you do this, Dark Souls 2, huh? I start to call you Dark Souls Poo. Perfect game. For people call Poo, like me. Got him. Remember when my mama used to call me my usurper? Anyways. Billy! Billy! Come on in for your supper! <laughs> oh, damn! Dong! Oh, damn. You know when Lost Boys kicks in? It's time! Dong with the raid! He doesn't whip his dong out for it. just anybody. Thank you for the raid, Dong. How was your stream, man? What were you playing? Were you doing a bit of Halo? Maybe some Skyrim? Hopefully you got the, the mods going. I can see your halo! You just happy to see me, or is that your halo? Damn. When your dick goes to heaven. Oh no. <laughs> I swear, he they dicked me so good, I thought it was to heaven. It's all like secrets down here. Look at all, oh, look at all the cool animated emotes. Did you use the, the Twitch animator? How fucking cool is that? Every now and then, every four years or so, Twitch actually has a good idea. What's the big idea? Having preset animations just cuts out having to have so much work. You've been doing tiny little animations. Takes a long time. 69? Very nice. I think someone picked 69 already, though. As you can imagine, with, with this, this crowd, I love it. Because you're once, twice, 69, the lady. I love you. Hell yeah. There we go. If you haven't, please go check out the one and only Dong. Give him a follow. Give him a little little reach around as well. Do it for me. <laughs> there you go. These raids come with a free reach around. Oh, Jesus. I picked the funny number. You did? You done did it? Someone already picked the funny number. It's not just a funny number. It's, it's, uh... It's fun for you and your your significant other. Please, don't live your whole life doing missionary. Try 69 today. Ding. Yes. Cooper Hoodoober personally endorses the 69 position. Yes, I do. For 69 time, try Centauri time. <laughs> I, I love Lost in Translation. Fucking Bill Murray, man. He does it all. He slices, he dices, he groundhog days it. Uh, Alright, someone has chosen 69? Yeah, do you want to take another guess? I think, yeah, I can refund. Oh, thank you, Mousy. Okay, refund it. Ah, oh, dude, you're fucking awesome. I tried doing that yesterday. I think, isn't it weird that you have to press reject to refund? That did not make sense. You girl rejects. Beep, beep. Hello, hello, welcome back. Halo campaign. No, he's catching up on Halo. I haven't played in a while. Yes. Dude, it's such a good Halo. Is it a little bit sweeter because COD fucked up and Battlefield 2042 is nearly unplayable? Probably, but it's still damn fine. And goes to show, Master Chief will always be the Master fucking Chief. Yeah, baby. Alright, so this is where we meet Queen Nassandra. But be very, very wary that we're not allowed to just meet her. You see? Wait, maybe, the, am I allowed to actually meet? I'm trying to think now. I don't want to break the game. There's a certain point of no return. No, I think we're fine. I think we're we're fine, right? We're fine. Yeah, I was there. Hello, bitch, Titch. You have fought admirably on your journey, Titch. Just, a, just a nice queen, right? The king is long gone. I am the Shangra, queen of Dremel. I'm sure you are. A true monarch carries the weight of Remember, we're not allowed to actually walk up and talk to her. The last king. Of There's a reason for that. This is one big illusion. Nobody got this. Okay, cool. Thank you, Mousy. Thank you. I could. I. Yeah. You don't. You don't have to be doing that. You're too nice. Someone has chosen sixty-nine. Hell yeah. I'm glad. I say every time someone chooses sixty-nine, an angel gets a free dildo or something like that. Huh? Is that it? No. Oopsie. Visit Zengrick. 
Uh, I swear to God, Dark Souls writes medieval stories better than fucking history does. Like, Henry VIII might be out here doing stuff. Oh, damn, dong! Thank you, dude! Thank you for gifting a sub, man! Fucking nine subs, holy shit! Thank you. You're too kind, man. I got gotcha. y'all. Yeah, you, you help out so many people, thank you. You never ask for nothing in return. But I see you! I think the. Mm hmm. Alright, so where, where is this now? Where, oh, I'm trying to remember. I don't want to accidentally screw myself up here. If they don't let you go backwards. This isn't her boss fight, is it? No. Hers is like in the throne of want. What's this one? Hmm. Sorry, I just did this. We're getting close to, you know, the point of no return stuff, so I don't want to screw myself over. Baby. Baby. Let me kiss you. <laughs> I got the herp. What's the herp? Uh-oh. You don't want the herp. Oh, no. That herp? Not the herp derp. You got the coleslaw, the coleslaw one? That's what I call coleslaws. You got the coleslaw! I don't like coleslaw. Herp, they herp, do body. I don't want to fuck this up. You're joking? Phew! Thank God! I have to make some calls. <laughs> that must be the worst call ever, right? It's like, you know, fair enough, there's like calls. Some If someone has died, they're like, they're, that's like a really bad call to have to make, right? But the, I think worse, though, has to be the call of like, hey, I got genital herpes. How you doing? <laughs> How you been? I haven't spoken in a while. I got, a, I got the herp. <laughs> Just checking. You doing good? Mm, any little friends showing up or anything now? Twin Dragon Riders. When one's not good enough, get doubly fucked. Oh. Oh. Please, sir, I just want to heal. I need to get rid of one. Is it pronto? Which one was it? This one? Baby, girl, you're my world. Now oh, here's some herpes. You never hear, like, love songs with herpes in it, no? Why not? I just wanna fuck you and give you genital herpes on a Tuesday. Took her to the doctor on Wednesday. She never talked to me again on Friday. Fuck! Shmackadoo! Oh, right, now it's just me and you? Huh? Oh, yeah. What you got, huh? What you got? Huh? Tone the pink one to stink! Tone the pink! Oh my god, that was half his health bar. What the flying fuck? What in the holy duck sauce? Have you tried duck sauce? Goodbye. You are the weakest pink. Goodbye. Some very, very cool stuff going on in here. Nice little mini boss. I'm not mini. I'm just fun sized. Alright, calm down. Calm down, for fuck's sake. Alright, sorry for missing stuff. What is that? What are those? It looks like Dar is that Darla? Caitlin. Is that is that sub Caitlin? No? No, it's a Twitch global emote. It is not, actually. Yes. Hell yeah. Don yeah, you should you should put your name into the giveaway, dude. All you gotta do is uh use the little channel points down below the giveaway entry. And you have to guess how many deaths you think I'm gonna die in this game that you die a lot in this game. If you're close, if you are the closest if you're so close, if you're edging yourself off to that death number, you can win a copy of Elden Ring. And you'll also masturbate yourself. <laughs> it's, that's too fair. Too fair. Consolation prizes. Everybody creams their knickers. Well done. It's not a bad consolation prize. 69,000 souls. Look at them. Look at them. Just tickle their underberries. Get a death counter up the first day and no one's getting any hints. I know. I swear, that was completely intentional to give everyone a head start. You see? That's clearly not an oversight. It's me we're talking about here. Come on. Would I literally 
give the answer away. You cannot burn at this bonfire. I know how you feel, dude. It's the cool kids telling you you can't burn. You can't burn, man. You can't burn. But I want to burn. Let him burn. All right. So there are already debts accumulated from last time. Yeah, no, it's for the whole playthrough, not just the stream. People have asked that, though. It might have been a good idea, but... Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You gotta wait till we're... Till we're making that kind of fucking... XQC four million dollars a year money. Then I'll do a giveaway every stream. Good God. I'm giving away all my old shit. Who wants this? What is that? It's a half-chewed sock that my dog loves. $360,000. Going once, going twice. Get the fuck out of my face. Next up we have... What is that? Some used dental floss. $87,000. Yeah, y'all aren't parasocial at all. It's all, it's all good. People be buying the weirdest stuff. Ugh. So this is the jock strap of Mickey Mantle. Yes, there's only one in the world. The rest of them were burnt because it was a biohazard. <laughs> Damn. Mickey Mantle's jock strap? They, Two million dollars? That, that's that's a steal, man. That's a, I can still smell him. I can still smell Mickey Mantle. My God. That's a collector's item. It's a collector's item. One day, I hope the random shit I own will be collector's items. I hope so. These are his coveted toe socks. Ew, they really wore these back then? They did. They wore them. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's tough. It's tough. I, my, the only hint I give is I'm shit at these games, so I definitely like upwards of 100, maybe. I'd say. Who knows, though? It feels... I've never counted my deaths before. This little tower over there, see that little penis coming out of the ground? That that thing actually counts your death for you. See? Bearer of the seek souls. Seek the lest this and I'm gonna do all the DLC. Cause I'm a sadist. I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a dark soul sadist. I keep dying in the sun. Check this first vault for the first day's death counter if you really want to get investigative and technical. Try to gauge it. Yeah, let's just say that was the best stream I had. How about that? Because it's been all down here since there, then there, do they, do they, dining. Most people are just guessing based on what they see while they hang. I'm letting it all hang out for the first time only. Free nudes. That's right, I've, I've peeled this peach of all. All of its skin. It's a nude peach. Next up, we have a nude apple. And if you look around, I'll peel a banana. Nude bananas. The nude fruit. I think once you talk to her in Drang Lake Castle, she basically opens up all the other areas we still have to visit. So this is where we are. This is what we have left. That's a lot to cover. But I got a lot of peanut butter and a lot of time. So I'm going to cover it all in peanut butter. And then you just go, err. And you're covered in peanut butter. That's all you have to say. So you can say, redeem the giveaway thing again, but put your number guess in there. When you're ready, of course. Yeah, nobody's nobody's forcing you, right? Now, damn it, now. Underlay, up. I can't spell. No, just, just type in the number. I can't count. You don't need to count. You can get Sesame Street count involved, though. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, two deaths, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So now we're on our way to one of the coolest bosses, the the Looking Glass Knight. Right? But this is a special way of doing it. I was literally going to just pre-order Elden Ring today. Hell, dude, dude, hell yeah. I've never really done a giveaway before. And I know they can have a bit of bad stigma around them, especially on YouTube. Motherfuckers be clickbaiting for years. Same Amazon gift cards. <laughs> Or if you're rice gum, just give away used Amazon gift cards. Look how look how good I am. Look how awesome I am. What a tool bag. This man is a tool bag. Good God. He makes a douche bag look good. So I decided to do it. I w I've wanted to kind of find a way to give back for a while, you know. And nobody was accepting my semen or my, my blood. So this seems a bit more, you know, legalese. Legalese. Watch out, we got the ghost with the most. 
How fucking dare you, sir? Remember that bit in the scary movie too, where the ghost went and fucked that one chick? Just like that. Just like that. Except this one has a sword. I'm trying to remember someone else. Gotta be careful. Oh yeah, these cool mannequins as they're called, but it's spelled M-I-N-I-K-I-N. So it's like man. Headless mannequins. Does it look like a Pinocchio? With Wolverine claws. There's gonna be a Pinocchio game. It's called Lies of Pi, and it's like Bloodborne meets Pinocchio. Bleeding? Where? I got the blood on me. Alright, wake up, giant. Yes. Yes, now turn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like it. Oh, no. Oh. Twist me melons, man. Mankinis. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We never got to let them take off. Banana hammocks. Borat did his best. It's not enough. So I think that raises up the elevator. So we can get to the looking glass night. One of my one of my favorite bosses. I like bosses that try and do something different. Try to try and kill you. Oh, oh. kill. Gotta rub up against all the walls. It's Dark Souls. Any one of them could be secret. Is this a secret one? Now we're back where we're starting. The Executioner's... Executioner's Chariot is back! Another boss as a regular enemy. That's how you know how far into the game you're getting. Oh, girl! Damn! I like the way you flip the shit out of me. Rear up that ass. Go on, girl. You know you want to. Oh! When Amaran's OnlyFans gets a bit too weird. Starts doing horse nudes. Maybe horse, all horses are nude. Do you ever think about that? Maybe they're cold. Oh, Jesus. Am I not power stanced again? I am. Okay, cool. Hello there. The angel from my nightmare. Skeletal Siamese horse. Damn it, Miyazaki. You're too damn good. Which way did I go, George? There it is. Oh, he's alive as well. Okay. Look at that booty. Look at that booty rocking. I see you. You okay? He's like, do I back up? He doesn't know what he wants to do. Oh, damn, girl. First came twerking, now it's flirking. So you're flicking the bean and twerking at the same time. Flirking! This is a shortcut back, right? Why do all the doors have to be so old, loud? Twerking! That's another, that's, that's separate. We don't talk about that. Oh no, these bitches keep. Yep. They blow flame fireball kisses. Sounds good, right? First came Hersey kisses, now fireball kisses. Ow! And that's the damage they do. Stop blowing me fireball kisses, girl. I will not join your only fans. Sip a bit of Sunny D in the corner. Come on, what you got? Hmm? Hmm? Got titties. Have you got anything else? Ayah! That's right. Try and kill me with your little fucking sons of bitch. This guy wants some too. Drangley Castle is a fucking crazy place. 87, okay, nice. Yeah, that's also the year of the Lord of my birth. I evacuated my mother's vagina in 1987. I crawled out and took a sip of Guinness. And fucking donkey punched the doctor right in the face. That's the Irish way. We're not so much birthed into the world as fucking kicking the shit out of it. Yeah. Good. That's a good year. It's a, it's a very good year. Mm, yes, it's, a very, it's a very good year. Slosh it around in your mouth. Dude, wine, wine snobs, man. Wine, wine snobs. Where am I now? Back where I started. 
God damn it. But we did get an Estus flash shard. No more sharding. I'll be fine. Now I can fire without shard. I no longer have a leaky butthole. Thanks to Cooper Hodoober's fat flap. That's right. Now comes with Kegel exercises. I Every time I used to fart, I used to shard. Uh, you've no idea how much money I've spent on underpants. I used to have to double up. That's right. Two pairs of underpants, just so I could leave the house. But, no longer. My leaky butt has been cured. Alright, here we go. Going up. First floor, men's wares, fat flaps, edible fat flaps. Have been discontinued. We've had to do a recall on them after people have been poisoned. Thanks, Pyro. You wouldn't do a taste test. We'll get a moist critical to do a... Uh, We'll get Charlie to do a, a tier list of all the fat flaps. That's when you know you've made it. If he's out here buying fucking 20 foot dildos, fat flap isn't going to put him off. We get we could get like a, a, a spicy Cheeto. Uh, uh, what's it called? Hot Cheetos? Spicy? Flaming Hot Cheeto fat flap. May cause irritation. Mommy. Definitely cause irritation. Right? You start growing some fucking chili peppers down there. <laughs> Good luck to everyone. Yes! Good luck, good luck. Donkey punched the night away. I like this, I like this. For the longest time, you remember that old Adam Sandler movie, Drunk Punch Love? I always thought it was called Donkey Punch Love. And yeah, that's, don't don't look that up. That's a different kind of movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, a, it's probably a smut movie, actually. <laughs> oh yeah. I wonder if anyone set up uh, pet only fans like uh, people do. Yeah, no, they, they probably did. OnlyFans is not all nudity, but it is known for nudity, and then they tried to stop the nudity. You can't stop the nudity. Once that flow has begun, you can't stop it. Just like a dude trying to hold back the piss. You can't stop it. It burns. My eyes! You just gave me the idea of my life. Oh my god. Please make it tasteful. Please. Good luck. Yes. Talking about the pet OnlyFans. <laughs> yes, good luck with that. You, someone better trademark that shit. John's come a calling. No, someone's already done it already. Check this guy out. Our own little friend. Look at him. Imagine this being your, your life, you know? Fucking arms and legs ha kind of hanging off. And your whole face is just a keyhole. And lo and behold, the person inside there, we have to free. Just... It brings a whole new meaning to the word glory hall, right? Who would live in a house like this? So these these maidens, these shrine maidens, they're kind of like the fire keepers. But they sing. They like to sing. I think once you free her, she shows up on the shrine of Amara or something. we got some nice stained glass in here as well. Paints a horrible picture of what's going on in Drang Lake Castle. Drang Lake! You're a fucking bastard on your foot in the Drang Lake! Have you met uh, my Scottish friend Argyle? Have you? Are you fucking anybody on Give me that, you wee bastard! Yes, I think I have. Is he angry at me? No, that's just the way he talks. <laughs> when you get to those far, far reach places in Scotland. Ireland's the same. Oh my god, they're not even speaking Gaelic anymore. It's just a bit of gibberish. I could have called him there, what did you say? You just fucking. Goddamn bastard. Trying to remember what key we need for this. Stick it in, move it around, disco lady. That's what I call dirty dancing. Damn! I watched that movie and I'm still waiting for the dirty dancing. Huh? Call that dirty dancing? That's just some gyrate. Let me show you dirty dancing. Oh my god, he's got his dick out! Hell yeah! It's the helicopter! Oh my god, watch this. Counterclockwise. Only two people have ever done the counterclockwise. Fuck. Uh, I said counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Fucking helicopter dance without breaking the dick. It's highly dangerous. Because if you do it, you might accidentally, like the Australian toilets, once you go backwards, you might never go forwards again. And pissing out your asshole. Sorry, I'm just talking nonsense here while I try and look this up. Uh. Been a minute. There's so much to do in this game that you, I don't know how you'd commit it to memory. I can remember to do most of the stuff in Dark Souls 1, but not this one. 
Ah, just listen to him. I, don't know, I think he likes the bloods rushing to his head, then to his banus, and then back to his head. They say if you are, like, you know, submerged upside down or any of these things where the blood is rushing to your head, if you get a raging boner, you can save your life. It's true. Boners can save lives and also create life. Mm -hmm. The more you know. All right. Well, let's see. You'll see. His name is The Embedded. Which is a good name, you know. It looks well on the old uh, resume. And it was like that dude, that old meme dude at the computer where he's like... <laughs> yes, everybody's wishing each other good luck. But we know the real truth, don't we? That's right, you're saying good luck while sharpening the dagger in your back. He was one more than me. Get him! Heaven Ring will be mine. Yes, yes. And then I'll jack off on the fucking game box. I love you, Miyazaki. There's definitely someone who's probably got like shrines to Miyazaki, right? Mia Wanky, maybe. I, I don't know what you'd call them. People do be liking their from software, Tom. I'm not what you call a fan or a stan. I'm what you call a live-in fan. And I'm inside his basement right now. I can get you, like, some of his used clothes. That, that's too far. That's too far. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we have to come back here later. That's what it is, right? Come back here later. It's for the Demon of Song, which is like a, a giant toad that's been turned inside out. Which is not that nice. What's this about Scottish people being angry? Never. He just sounds angry. Same with Gaelic people. We talk with a lot of... Anyway. Thanks for raiding. Yeah, enjoy your nap. Oh. Good luck not dying. I like it. See, you've got people who are guessing big numbers. And they're trying to sway me. They're trying to distract me. <laughs> Make me die more. There's people with smaller numbers like, Don't you fucking die! I mean, good luck not dying. You got this, Cyber. I believe in you. But if you fucking die, I'm coming for you and your whole family too. Okay then. Probably shouldn't have done this giveaway, should I? I'm scared, Mousy. I'm fucking scared, dude. <laughs> Hold on to me if I fucking die. <laughs> okay, that'll, that'll calm me down. Hell yeah, Pikachu. Get it. Get it, get it. Is that little brown spot, is that on his tail? Or is that his butthole? I can't tell, but I'm mesmerized by it. Round and round it goes. Where it stops, only Ash Ketchum knows. You dirty bastard. Go make, don't, don't take away the sanctity of Pokemon, don't you dare. It's too late. R34 has it done it. Only fans are invading Twitch. Yeah, you're not allowed to, uh, you're not allowed to advertise it though. Do dick rates, but everything will get generic IGN score. 3 out of 10. Too much water. <laughs> Too many pubes. <laughs> I'm one bad, away, one bad idea away from making this a reality. That seems to be a lot of stuff with you, John. I like it. I'm one bad idea away from making this a lifestyle choice. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> That's how the best ideas start, dude. That's how the best ideas. Like, trust me. Or the best YouTube videos. I'm telling you. Do it! Don't let your memes be dreams, man. Turn them into million dollar ideas. You get one free coupon for a fat flap. Fat, fat flap. So we just continue on from here for now? Let it do, let it do. Excuse me. Alright, yeah, we come back here later. I feel you later, baby. Shaking that ass. I was trying to put a couple of wholesome ones into the old BTTV. But the rest are just dirty, dirty, nasty, smutty, nasty, smut, smut. Mm -hmm. That was my the, the, the name of my first children's book. The Tale of the Dirty, Nasty, Nasty, Dirty, Smut, Smut. Yay! One of those uh, Christian books. <laughs> it's always the same, right? And then Hansel and Gretel got it on and went to hell and burned for eternity. The end. Oh my fucking god. When most of the old nursery rhymes and kid stories are way darker and more fucked up than anything we've read these days. Jesus Christ. Like Alice in Wonderland? She, that crazy bitch, was getting high on everything. She drank and ate everything she could touch. 
It's like someone's first trip to Amsterdam. Like, I'ma do it, I'ma fucking do it. Wakes up three days later, buck naked tied to a pole. Mm -hmm. I'm not speaking from experience. Don't, don't mention it. Don't mention it ever again. All right, so progress is slowed down because I'm getting lost. It's not always the way, God. God, I'll stop. Let's just have a quick old heal, all right? Because I ain't no bitch or nothing, but I ain't going in without no heals, right? I ain't a bitch. Stop calling me a bitch, bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. Half of Doja Cat's lyrics. Bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. That was a wet-ass saucy joke, at home. Wet-ass. Damn. Is it, like, at that point, is it, like, saucy or splushy? So this is one of my favorite bosses, the Looking Glass Knight. Really cool idea. Very, very cool. What does this do again? It's another one of those guys, but you've got a kind of a, a cool look at a, one of these crests. You know? you got like two kings or something or a family fighting for a crown, the family tree. The alluring score. Here's the real mind blower. Nothing in the song says that Humpty Dumpty is an egg. Ooh, damn, that's cool. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, right? He did. We know. We can confirm. He's on the wall. He's on the wall. All right, come. Cool. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Motherfucker split his head open. But nobody said he was an egg. Those bastards just lied to us. It was like, oh, an egg cracks all the time, right? No. Fucked up. This guy had like internal brain damage, as opposed to ex external brain damage. What's the external brain? Penis. The penis. It's the little brain talking to me again. The little brain told me to strip off and run around buck naked. Mm-hmm. Jesus! I forgot these guys just got hired. They don't know any other way. And I accidentally aggroed them all. Aggro! Stop, he tried to kick me. They're so cool. Fuck off, 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 fuck off. Play with my push if you can't play with my motions, motions. Bitch, bitch. <laughs> I'm so confused. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so the looking glass knight is this cool big old knight, as you can imagine, you know? Straightforward enough. He's got an awesome shield. Still par for the course. But this shield is a mirror. A looking glass. It's what can pop out of the shield. I think if you fight him too quick, it won't work. So I'm going to try and keep him alive so he can do his cool shit. He summons in. And if you play uh, online, he'll actually summon in a real player. People who like to come in and just cheese the hell out of people. But sadly, I'm playing offline. And you know, it's not just for the dead counter, but that is a big reason. And I, I tend to... I'm not the biggest fan of invasions. As you can tell, I don't win. I don't win them. People come through with the old, the gang squad, you know. I don't do a very good job. Kind of sit back and destroy your armor. Destroy your soul. Here we go. The snow. The wind. The looking glass knight. Bring it. Ow. Oh! Okay, you brought it. In the ruins of this fair land. We shall have our fight! How cool is his shield? Come on, do your thing. Doesn't he also like summon the lightning or something? Really cool fight. He's got like a crown of thorns, very Jesus-esque. He's a mask with like four faces on it. Oh, I did roll there, but computer said no bueno. Come on, do the cool stuff. Come on, man, do the cool thing. Summon the dude. Here we go, maybe. Mother may I. Maybe halfway. Oh, here we go. Nope. Summon. Yes, here we go. Boom. He drops out. He breaks out with the mirror. <laughs> Fucking cool. All right, let's slaughter him. It's not cool.
How cool is that? That's why I love this boss. But it, now that's just a, a normal NPC. But if you were online, that would be like a someone. Whomp. All right, that's murdered the piss out of him. I love when they do stuff like that with bosses. Whoa! God, that that turn. Wow, that's impressive. I thought I was clean, but nope. Starting to see very much the stamina you lose doing that awesome attack. Is it worth it? Oh, you dirty bastard. God, he always waits to turn to the last second. I'm doing another one. Goddamn DJ Khaled over here. Breaking all the shits. All the tits. Oh, thought I was clear there. You're never clear. Wait for it. Oh, that could have been the death of me. No. Why does it load that shitty animation? I'm dead. Holy fuck, get up! I'm dead, yeah. Fuck! If only it didn't load this shitty animation, we would have been fine. That kind of stupid shit gets me killed all the time. God damn it. Ugh. The animation of her just going like this. You can't move. She's just jacking off the fucking air. Well done! You're supposed to put that on OnlyFans, not in the game! Shit. God damn it. No free feet. No. No free feet. Gonna fight all our horse buddies again. So close. We were. We should. I should have just finished that. I was, after I killed the middle guy, I was not aggressive enough. Fuck these guys. I'm running all the way to Reno, baby. No, does that not aggro him enough? Go, 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 go. Wankers. No iframes on the fog. There isn't Dark Souls 1, though. Once you touch the fog, you're free to go. In this game, they said, Hell no! We're gonna lock you in captivity. Until the annual enema. This new government's weird. Yes, every year we have allowed the people to have a free enema. It is not... Not voluntary either. Alright, now we can go. Freedom! Titty handbags! Handbags that look like titties. Fortunately, these titty handbags are actually a big seller for the male audience. We don't know why, but we found a lot of people getting titty wanked by titty handbags. I'd buy one. Come on, you dumb son bitch. I'm gonna spank you right. Yet. There's never enough time. Oh fuck. Oh shit. I think it's not till he goes halfway. So even with all that supply bone dust, I'm still not healing as much as I'd like. Damn, none of my rolls are working. Gotta be earlier. Yeah, like that. Okay. No, it's too early. Here we go. Oh, you little wanker. Damn, there's no way that would have hit me normally. Shaky beggar. Fuck me. Sword is so big it just shuts down any attempt at a roll. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? That was the weirdest one I've ever saw. Gotta get out of that corner because the camera is gonna fuck me. No, oh, he waited until I healed. Very clever. Immediately punish. That's what they're paid to do. You're gonna do straight down or across. 
Oh, that almost tracked across. That was clever. Damn, there was no escaping that. Waste of stamina. Damn it! Good old lightning. You just never know which way he's gonna go. Which way did he go, George? Holy shizer! Fuck, I'm getting stuck in debris. Ah, balls. Oh, he's going for it again, but he's not gonna get another chance. Oh, put your shield down. Oh, only one of my swords hit him. I would have ended his life normally. That'll do it. Alright, just me and you now. Let's finish this. Finish it. Finish it! Roar! You did it, Mom. Whoop, whoop. Oh, these guys are back. As soon as the fog wall is gone, they want to know what the hell just happened. I'll tell you how far the aggro range is. They won't come this far, though. Come on, bitch. Where you going? Stone parma? Oh, Jesus, that's when you really overcooked the pasta. This parmesan is really fucked up. Alright, now where do we go from here? Jump off? No. This isn't the painted world of Amorous. GG! Oh, thank you. You're still hanging out? When when is when is the grooming happening? I gotta get a little grooming done, huh? Jesus. Beards come back. Yeah. Can I come to him? I go to a dog groomer, because they treat me better. Damn. Uh, hold on, what is this? Alright, okay, cool. This whole area is so confusing. That what starts off as a simple castle. No, you start in the shaded woods. You go from this creepy little lost woods, you know, Legend of Zelda inspired. And you go to a castle, out on a cliff, middle of nowhere, and takes you all the way down the cliff here. Your brain is just tumbly tumbly. Tumbling down. A tomorrow. A book at a place called Doggy Style. That's so funny. Oh. GG, thank you. That's so cute. Doggy Styles. I f is that... Oh, I feel like that's the... Was that the name of the place in Dumb and Dumber? And you got this cool. Look how cool is this? Poison Ivy shit. Almost like the, the vines. Nature is like bursting out. Trying to take back the modern architecture. It also sounds like Harry Styles as well. At least they didn't call it Harry Styles. Like, Harry Styles. He's like turning into a little actor now. We're, we're not rid of him yet. I thought we were for a bit. Everyone thinks like the crazy BTS craze was uh, was out of control, but One Direction before it was another level. Like Jesus, wasn't there like a, a funny um, South Park joke? Or One Direction was like it's making all the girls feel all tickled and so <laughs> <laughs> butters, poor butters. Oh, Lord, of the Rings is the best movie I ever saw. What's going on down there, little guy? Hmm. Poor butters probably just hit puberty very fucking early. <laughs> Oh, what's going on down there? There's something cute about South Park characters when they look down like that. So all, like, it's still the same circle, but all their face gets pushed down. It's so clever. It's a really clever animation. Uh, what would you call it? Like, you know, a trick. It's a little trick. So now from a castle to this place. Just, it really, man. Yeah, the, the, the tingles, yeah. <laughs> and before that, like the 90s, we all know growing up then. It was all boy bands and girl bands, Jesus Christ. E17 and Spice Girls and Sugar Babes and uh, Backstreet Boys and uh, A1 and another level. Boys to men and fucking uh, Bewitched. Oh god, Bewitched. Oh, 
Tell you what, he did, did bewitched me. Bewitched something in my pants. Might have been my first to piff a pants. The Shrine of Amana. So this beautiful singing is actually uh, somebody in the game. They incorporated it into, uh, into uh, the lore and into the level, which is really cool. So if you go find them and free the maidens, the singing stops. So you kind of don't want to do that. It's nice. This is actually the song I sing when I climax. First I make the old face and it's... Oh! <laughs> That's right, ladies. You're not the only one who can do the hego face. We've got the male hego face. What did I have this at? This game runs surprisingly loud. My freaking ears! Oh! Put on a nego! Goddamn Humpty Dumpty. Making me feel weird. I always thought he was an egg man. But no one ever thought it was weird that he was an egg man. A man and an egg. But it's a nursery rhyme, you know? Mother Goose out here doing her thing. It's completely fine for a dude to be made out of an egg. Did you ever uh, look at those old books and the nursery rhyme stuff? Like, animation styles and art styles back then was so weird. Everything was so weird back then. Even when you look at the old religious paintings. It's like, yep, that's the face of a crow, but it's a woman. Is that a shard you found? Here, to see light. Nice However, to hear a good old Irish accent from time to time. How long have we been going for? I have popped the chat out so I don't see how many people are here or how long I've been going. That's the way to do it. Takes away all that nonsense of, like, numbers and that. Oh, God! It's been four hours! Oh, my God! I was supposed to let my dick out. Oh no! I forgot to let my dick out. It's all shrunk here. I'm in a wedgie. What's this SOS sign? Who who wrote an SOS sign beside my dick? How did it have time? How did it hold the sign up? Oh, SOS, please somebody help me. I'm going fucking mad here. Look at all these lovely shears. This is a little piggy one. Poor, it's called poor sign. Is that a real thing? I thought it was Earth sign. No, that's bear. And then equine is horse. It's equestrian center, see? Then there's bovine for the moo moo caca. And then I'm guessing poor sign is pork? No, I don't think it is. You got a fucking lie. I call your bluff. Hey girl, what you doing? Hmm? Hey bluff. I call your bluff. Now ring her up on the phone. Look at this. It's Miss Piggy. Turned into a beckon shield. Oh, Miss Piggy, why did you make me feel strange all those years? I got a thing for Miss Piggy. If you had a thing for Miss Piggy that young, you're probably going to end up in an abusive relationship when you're older. <laughs> 411. Now, right, wasn't that another band as well? Almost 420. I'm holding on. See, Mousy, I could just walk up to this big old dick-shaped pillar here, and I'll tell you how many deaths there are. I could do that right now. I could. I could, I could just press X on this button. I could. I could, and it would ruin the whole giveaway. I could do that. I could do that right now. I could. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, they shouldn't have given me this power. I've gone fucking mad with it. I was always mad. Bearer of the until. I was always mad from a young age. Just getting stronger and stronger. So the looking glass is done. Now we move on to the shrine of a mana. Don't you mean woe mana? No, oh, okay. Okay. Calm down there, love. Calm down. Woe mana. I'm gonna take on a big old frog. We're doing we're doing great progress wise. This this is like second half of the game, but you can breeze through it. Back to the singing. Another one. Get rid of these bastard mages that they'll cause trouble later. <laughs> oh, hell no. Boink. Damn, he did about three death animations at once. Kinky. Uh-oh, I see you, cursed frog. Staring at me, them wibbly-wobblies. Look at them. So, 
Lee has told us that they're not eyes at all. But there's little eyes underneath those giant googly eyes. So what are those then? Those are face tits. That's that's what I've come up with. They have to be face tits. I've been staring at two big shiny nipples this whole time. I didn't even know. I could, I've just wasted so much time. I could have been jacking off this whole time. I could have been jacking off. Do you hear me? There's nothing worse than a missed fucking wank. Good God. Jacking off. Jack, you know how I be. Jacking off. But it's, it is a Walgreens. What the fuck? Jacking off, what the fuck? Jiggy wank, what the fuck? It's good for you. I swear. Mental health chip. Right, you can knock this guy down, you can collect the item later, wasn't it? Yeah! This place is tough. It's one of those very, like, beautiful but unassuming places. Kind of like uh, the Ash Lake, see? Literally the roots of the world. So pretty. They say this game isn't beautiful. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here! You goddamn son of a bitch. It's beautiful. Look at it. Bringing tears to my eyes. It's not my eyes. Oh, and we got these little creepy bastards. Yeah, half men, half frogs, and they got like tadpoles bursting out of their back. Using them. They're everywhere. They like to jump on you. Not in a good way either. So yeah, the singing gets louder as you get closer to these little shacks. It's really cool. Get double penetrated with my katanas. Is that to you, Ash? Fucking better be. I did it all for the TOS. People always ask, is that TOS? But no one ever asked, how is TOS? How are you doing, TOS? Talk to me, hmm? You've been victimized for far too long. Demonized, even. Sometimes even demoralized. Hey, girl! You're, you're the little singer. Hold on, hold on, I brought like a whole lot of buddies. Oh god. Just like that one weird porno I saw. <sighs> Two frogs in a fake taxi. I don't know how I missed it, but during all those roasts, I think they did one where they roasted Sasha Gray. How did I miss it? I watched most of them. Cutie Cinderella and all of them. This is the lady who's been singing. Like, damn. We knew you were coming. The maidens. And stop singing. Don't stop singing to the S Club beat. We are Milfenito. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. Cool, right? We will sing here. Literal forever. Sirens of death. As we always have from long, long ago. And who is the one who sings the songs? We know nothing of the world outside. And why should we Who has trapped them here? For we the happy. demon of song. Do you seek King Vendrick? Yes. But what is a king, after all? A we puppet. Not laughing in the, the background. No, 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 no. For we will never leave here. When we sing, the little ones dance. The little ones grant comfort. To those who bear death and dark. Drag them down into the deep. This is what we were taught. My curse is back. It's curse barrels. Not your friend. By the time I finish the animation of opening this door, I may be cursed. Look how slow the animation is. Remember the curse barrel is like over here somewhere. Watch out for the mimics. There it is, barely buried in the water, see? It's tough. It's lethal. It was even cursing this uh, frog dude here. I saved you, you're welcome, don't fight me. Not likely. You don't get tanks in this game. Chat now said me. Is there anything wrong? Booba. Perhaps 
Thank you. This is all that we can do. When we sing, the little ones dance. The little fish. When we sing, the little ones. It reminds me of uh, the ghost of Christmas past. The Muppets Christmas Carol. So well done. It was like a ghost Muppet. It was very strange. Almost. Yeah. That one stuck with me for a while. I love that movie. And she starts singing again, see? Then if you walk in, she stops. I'm trying to catch her off guard. And see, does she have, like, she's actually sitting on a record player? Huh? Almost. I bet she is. And she just puts it back on, you know? Oh, yeah, it's definitely us singing. I swear. Hmm, I think it's stuck now. She has a talk boy! Oh my god! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Here's the thing about the talk boys, right? I actually had one, but it was one of those uh, gifts from Santa. And they sold out so much because of Home Alone that there was only talk girls left. So, yes. That's right! I actually got a talk girl for Christmas. But it was still fucking awesome! Don't make fun of me! I had a talk girl. <laughs> It was purple, it was fucking awesome! I just scratched the girl part off, okay? That's why I had to talk. We're gonna need to talk. Oh, I love those things. We're spinning around. Dude, I gotta stop, like, willingly giving away free embarrassing stories, you know? That shit don't come for free! I gotta stop doing that. Oh my god, I aggroed everybody. Out of home! So I must kill everything. Girl, I love. What's your SoundCloud name? Do you know Wonderwall? No, Wonderwall! A waste is Wonderwall? No, that's all she knows. God damn it, it's like a broken record. Someone probably has actually done a remix of it. Fandom is so crazy. Real trap shit! <laughs> the Shrine of Oman, a real trap shit edition. Gone sexual. Ugh. I had a talk boy because they were out of the girl. Oh my god, we should yeah, we should have traded. That's so funny. Do you remember? Did, have you seen the girl ones? Wasn't they weren't they purple or were they pink? It was like that. It was like a Game Boy, the see through ones, like purple, but you can see through them. It's kind of like that kind of plastic. Dude, I'm telling you. Kindred spirits, I swear to God. Thousands of miles away. But little did we know. Little did we know. It'd be like, when I fart, you burp. When you burp, I fart. It's that kind of thing, right? <laughs> we were separated at birth. <laughs> pink. Oh, it was pink and purple. Oh, shit. Which one did you want? Purple. <laughs> Audio jungle. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Dude, that scares me when, when Mashi does that. Audio jungle. I have to, like, check all my tabs. I didn't leave something on. Like, fuck. Fuck. Is something on? Did I leave one of my tabs open? We're all responsible for that. Oh, yes. I leave many tabs open. Mm. Mm. My tab is open. Pretty. Pretty it's been caused by... Nasty fucking mushrooms. Like a fairy circle. They guide you. Guide you. And then trap you. All the tadpoles on their back is giving off all that weird pollen to suck you in. Should I let one of these guys grab me just to show you what they do? You can imagine what they do. They try and lick your butthole from the mouth side. I kind of like it. That's okay. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it's still like up in an attic somewhere at my folks' place. Do you still have yours somewhere? Or was it gone in the yard sale that we do not speak of? There's always one garage sale or yard sale. Or for us it was bring and buy sales. Where people would bring their own shit and just trade them and that. And we lost some good shit. We lost some good shit. I'm sorry. We lost some good like fucking... Pokemon card stuff that's worth clearly like about $17 now. But damn, that was my $17. You gave it away for 50 cents. Fuck. 
And like inflation and like the bad economy means I probably lost out about three hundred dollars. Shit, I owe them three hundred dollars. Isn't economy fun? Yeah. <laughs> Long gone. Yeah, it's always the way. Ah, oh, dude. I used to collect the micro machines and they used to have these things called like Super Van City and Super Truck City. So it was a giant van or truck and you would burst it open and it would be in city inside of it full of cars. So it was a car within a car within a truck. Like, oh, so it blew my tiny little mind back then. It was awesome. It was Inception long before that old hack Christopher Nolan came along, right? Fucking hack! <laughs> Goddamn hack! All right, time for a bus. Time for the bush. Oh Jesus! It just gets more beautiful from here. This is all the beautiful things. You want to try and rip your heart out of your ass? She ripped my heart out of my ass. Mm. It's time for the mage attack. Shama lama ding dong. I love magic. It's blue and it fucking kills me. I love it. It's lovely. Fucking kills me. I wish you'll love me back. And connects was my thing. I never really got into Lego so much. I mostly got hand-me-downs from my older brother, which was like half tore up Legos. So he'd still have the instruction manual, but he'd run out of half the stuff. You'd have like a fucking house with half the front gone. It was like fucking Afghanistan. No, that's that's too dark. I'm sorry. Sorry. But I, I loved Kinex. Kinex was like big ass Lego. But you could do all this cool shit with rubber bands. So I used to have this huge Ferris wheel halfway off the ground to the ceiling. Big bastard of a yacht. And I would just leave it going all day. And by the time I come home from school, the rubber band would be worn. I'd just be like, kill, kill me. Please kill me. I love those. And I used to have all the cool Tamagotchis and even the cheap ones. 65 animals. And we, and the Tamagotchi got so big that we were not allowed to bring them into uh, primary school. They were banned from school. So, of course, then became the task, you know, because these Tamagotchis was everything to us. The task fell to my mother. We were like, all right, ma'am, you, you have to keep this Tamagotchi alive while we go to school. So you'd come home... And your mom would forget all about the Tamagotchi. And you'd run over to it and pick it up. And your penguin would have shit all over the screen. Eight pieces of shit everywhere. And you'd have to dose him up about 65 times. Even the doctor's like, we can't resurrect this motherfucker. There's so much shit everywhere. You have to feed him and shower him and he's shit again. And there's so much pixels on the screen full of shit that when you cleared up the shit, there was more shit. That poor penguin. Of course, we called him Pingu. I have never seen a penguin shit so much. And she never saved them. She didn't know what to do. God bless her. And you know that that Tamagotchi was squealing all day. Beeping. All this nasty stuff. Birthdays going off. Everything. All them little beeping noises. And she still never bothered to look or help it. Or clean up the copious, copious amounts of shit. Oh my god. If it was translated to real life shit, we would have lost the house. We would have lost the neighborhood. We would have lost our wits and all this shit. Connects was awesome. Hell yeah! Uh, purple Sonic the Hedgehog Walkman. Oh, hell yes. And that's cool. I had, I had a, a Sony one. That, there, that shit was expensive. I probably would still be using it if it wasn't for my iPod Shuffle. I know it scares you that I'm so far ahead with tech that I still use on my iPod Shuffle. I know you're jelly. That's okay. Because you too can look. And even maybe hold my iPod Shuffle, which you can never have one. This is my iPod Shuffle. There are many like it. This is mine. Mine! I deal with the old chunky Cyclops. Fucking mages, like she's literally shooting me from all the way back there. Hey, girl! It should be on law how far they can shoot magic. If I can shoot magic at my ass, I'll be doing it too. Any little piece of this water could end up killing you. You don't want that to happen. Ah! 1100 damage. Not bad. Ugh. Oof. Ugh. Ah, will you stop? Look at the damage it does. 
sorry, I have to do you dirty because you're throwing that blue shit at me. Sipping blue milk. I think down here you can die like instantly. You gotta edge the ledge, you gotta follow the ground. So see here, this is fine to walk on. That deep dark blue shit there, not so much. Oh, from software. I swear to God. They need to start like their own torture chambers or something, or escape rooms because they are twisted. Just move a little bit left and you're gonna die. Oh no! Fucking hate magic, I do. That's my t retelling of Harry Potter. I fucking hate magic. Do, 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 do. Roll credits. Roll the thing. Oh my god, dude, you had like a free shot there and you missed. You must feel dead embarrassed. I'm sorry, I won't tell anybody. Nobody's watching the stream, I swear. Just me, myself, and Irene. How you doing, girl? Oh no, I kill one mage and two more comes up in this place. It's a maging! Ah, oh, maging. Saw so, Tamagotchi's on sale test. Yeah, they brought them back. They brought them back. I don't know if they'll ever be the same, but they probably do a whole lot of new stuff, you know, like file your taxes or something like that. My god. These people with their new Tamagotchis have it so easy. In my day, they just shit everywhere. Ah, oh, fuck. It wasn't. Tamagotchi probably translates to, like, a diarrhea or something. What do you reckon? It probably does. No one knows what Tamagotchi means. It probably just means diarrhea. <laughs> Get a new diarrhea! Yeah. <laughs> 32 new animals with diarrhea! <laughs> the Tamagotchi ads were the best. Don't know what it's saying, but, but all these flashing colors are making me feel funny and sad. I must buy it immediately. The good old days when they'd sell toys with epilepsy. <laughs> I think this guy gets up, doesn't he? Things get very precarious now because every hole is a goal for from software to kill you. If only they'd learn to love us. Where is she? Where is she? There's all those items out there you can get as well. You have to f go a very, very particular route. And you can't veer off the route at all. Or you're turning to Vera Black. It's blind date with Vera Black. Do 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 do. Next up, we have Tarman. That's right. He's here, hungry and looking for love. Brains. Very good. Very good. Who's our Who's our first uh, love bird? Hopefully, hoping to shack up with Tarman. Why? It's that weird alien from the Ting. <laughs> Oh, it's very nice. Tell us more about yourself. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Are we allowed? Are we allowed to say that? We'll blur that out if it's if it's bad. Good God. Stonks. Next up, we have Basket Case. Oh my! Look at this guy. Oh my God. He says he'll take you for a nice picnic. He's even got the basket. Very good. A beautiful moonlit picnic. Come on, you son of a bitch. Damn. What you gonna do with all that ass inside that ass? Assception. Gonna sit on your ass. You sit on me. I just becoming the toe jam to that ass. You ass, take this toe jam to be your law for let it stank. I don't have enough time to get off that attack. Oh, maybe I do. Get him, Wilbur! Before he sits on you! Some crazy enemy designs. What the fuck were they thinking? Personally, that didn't even have a butthole. I feel cheated. Go back and animate the butthole immediately! With the PS5 and Unreal Engine 5, we can now animate buttholes. That's right. Long have we wished we reached a new benchmark. Infidelity. Assanity. Damn, he survived that. You won't survive this. Turn you into shish kebab. Alright, we're almost here. I think, uh, where is it? I think that boss fog somewhere there is the demon of song, which is the boss of this area. I think if I remember what they want you to do, 
here is I go halfway, meet the maidens, then get the key, then go back and free her, one of the embedded. Gotta go free her. Now time your roll just perfect. You got this bitch coming up. Maybe not the aggro anymore. Damn, see, if you're not close enough, the uh, special power stance pincer move, only one of the katanas will hit it. Actually really cool if you think about it. Damn, does it hurt when you're just trying to get a kill and it falls asunder. Mummy! So you can get two kills for the price of one. Not quite, almost. Oh, he's healing! Bitch be healing! Monster Trez, hello, hello! Welcome to the stream! I just started a playthrough of this for the first time! Ah, oh, nice! Did you just pick it up recently? Have you just got into the Soul series? It is a damn good game. People be sleeping on it. This is a cool place called the Shrine of Amana. You'll see it down the line. It's a little over halfway through the game. Have you played any of the other Souls games before? I got Souls games, but I'm not a soldier. I got Souls, but I'm not a soldier. I don't know what happened to the killers. I used to like them. They're not one of those bands you go back too much and listen to, though. But they're good. They were good for their time. Why is why is she not aggroed, but the other one is? These questions and many more I have, do not have the answer for. Like, I wouldn't mind if ma like, magic is one thing, whatever. The fact that it tracks you halfway across the map, that's, that's just tits on a bull. It's pointless. Why are you doing it? Where is she? Back up, back up. Tell me what you're gonna do now. More blue shit? Probably. I'm gonna stand on you, bitch. Hell yeah. Weren't expecting that. You hear a lot of, like, step on me mummies and all that kind of stuff. But never did the way around. The ladies like being st 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 stood on? I don't think so. You gonna do something or you just gonna... Just dance? Oh, polishing up my skills before Elden Ring. Same, 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 same. I'm doing a cheeky little road to Elden Ring and... Uh, for the first time, doing an actual giveaway. Everybody's welcome to join. All you need is 1,000 channel points. Then you can uh, you see it down the bottom. You can just press on it and get a, a giveaway entry. One per person. All you have to do is uh, guess how many deaths you think I'm going to have. And the closest person to the right answer. They win. They win a brand new car. No, fuck. No, no. They, bring, they win the Elden Ring. Basically, when this playthrough is over, I'll announce the winner. There'll be loads of time still to get Elden Ring or do whatever you want. That's why I said everybody should join. If you don't want to get Elden Ring, if you want to do something else with it, that's cool, you know? If you want to buy, like, a whole rake of dildos, that's fine. It's fine. I will never judge. I will never judge what you want to buy with your own money. It's fine. It's fine. You want to buy a, a, a officially licensed Cyber Houdini body pillow? That's also very fine. Damn. Good quality right there. Mm hmm Washable. Dry, dry washable. You can do what you can wash it any way you want. Shit, bring it in the bath with you. Bring it in the shower with you. Cause you know what? I'm I'm going one above. These these body pillows that come out now, they're a bit shite. Let's be honest. But the Cyber Houdini body pillow, oh yes. That's next level, baby. It comes with little arms that you can pull out. And uh, Cyber will even perform certain tasks for you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. The Cyber Houdini body pillow will wash your back when you're in the shower. He'll file your taxes. He'll answer those phone calls that you don't want to talk to. Like your mom. God, mom, leave me alone. I'm trying to play Minecraft. Oh. This is the poopy part. Big Mama Mushroom over there is spewing out the orange stuff. That's not poison. That's acid. That destroys armor, weapons, everything. It'll destroy the 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 value of your Pokemon cards. Be careful. It's not PC Gen or whatever the hell this call is PCG. Damn, dude. Just stop farting for a second. Back out. We better just to strip off. Yeah, they're already half broken. Thanks, Billy. 
Thanks to you, Chester. Fuck him up! Stop spewing that nasty shit. That mushroom was a representation of LSF in the flesh. They stand around, they circle jerking off other people's business. Mm. That's life as an LSFer. Motherfucker. Alright, I gotta put my shit back on. Not rocking too much armor because I have not put much into vitality. Hello, lads! Three maidens, three areas. 33 and a third. Ugh. Ugh. Damn it! This one's tough because they just all the mages go off at once. They're busting out, daddy! They're popping off! To the left, to the right, sideways. Whatever way you like it. Ugh. Uh, beating them, it's all just been a few years. Me too, it's been three years since I played this one. So I'm rustier than a rusty ghost. Meh. Yeah, so I've been trying to find uh, others in Ark, little mousy. You know how I be, I'm always up to some uh, cheeky little business. But it's all... Uh, I, I, I'm dying to baryonyxes and leeches and everything. Titan boas. I don't know if they, I don't know if they exist. They're real to me, damn it. I will find him an otter, do you hear me? And I will present him to you. One otter coming right up. Alright, time for an invasion. And he's a mage in great. We love mages here, don't we? I spew blue and black shit out of a wand and stand in the corner like a little bitch. Get wrecked! Ugh, it's like footloose, but magic. There's no magic allowed here. You're done, son. You better run, son. Put your little staff and shove it up your ass. Bye bye. Bye bye, Barry. Gizmo, you don't won't break my heart again, Gizmo. Bye bye, Barry. Point like, point like. My God, if they fuck up this new gremlins, I swear to God. Doing new gremlins, new goonies, new everything. They're just systematically, piece by piece, destroying my childhood. And I'm not okay with this. I think Disney should be giving each and every person who watched the original movie back in the day a little piece of the profit. If you're gonna fuck up my childhood, someone better be getting paid. Hell yeah. Hell better. Another mage, another one. Ah, damn it. They watched David Blaine's Street Magic one too many times. They took that shit on the road. We know what happens when you take shit on the road. It becomes roadkill. Get that magic out of here. Shoot that poison arrow at my heart. These feckin' frogs. Get out of here. Jump scare bass. Just keep, just keep Anakin away from other six. Oh, they're so cute. Otters have always been cute, but the fact that they double up like a scarf in the game. Scarf, scarf. They've never been this hard to find. Never. And then half the internet's just trolling, you know? Oh yeah, have you tried looking inside of a dire bear's mouth? Mm -hmm. Otters for days. That's not funny. I present to you the internet. Yeah, be careful there's holes in here as well. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. Oh my god! Richard! Richard, come here! It's just talking about a wet ass pussy! What? What? Uh, the, the fucking filth of it! I, my myself, have never had a wet ass pussy. Monster, thank you so much for the follow! Hopefully that'll get you a bit closer. To the 1,000 points. Oh. Can I, well, it, it also helps, you know, you get to hang out for a bit, watch me play very badly, watch me rage and make weird dick jokes. I mean, that's just a good way to spend your turds day right there. Mm -hmm. It's all free. It's all free. I'm looking at you, Paramount Plus. God damn, those shows were all free. 
What have you done? Paramount negative. I'd like to pick up uh, Kronos before the ashes. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. So that is the prequel to Remnant from the Ashes. It's it's their own take on an actual Souls like rather than Remnant from the Ashes being shooter souls. A lot of people say it's quite clunky. If you look out on Amazon, dude, you can actually pick up a physical version of it. But like fifteen dollars. And then, you know, having a physical, you'll always get a little bit back for it, you know? Just make your money go further. You probably may get it from a tenner. Yeah, it might, it might be cool, even if it is clunky. Have you tried Ashen? Ashen's fun. Beautiful as well. It's got this whole, like, pastel color thing going on. Is there not a froggy in here? No. The, the 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 kind of mannequin non faces it's a bit weird isn't there some big bad here he used to kill me all the time comes rushing out of the water somewhere I'm telling you close to, we're close to one of the maidens I swear someone used to get me here oh maybe it was the invader and I I Push them all the way back. That was much healthier than fighting them in the water. Alright, fair maiden. Don't stop singing. Oh my god. Ding -ling -ling. Alright, I think this is where the boss is. This guy is a little one of those bosses that can be really easy or a big old pain in the ass. Ooh, 40 effigies already. Cause it's a good enough for me. It's a human effigy. Let's fucking go. Is it? Maybe there's another one. There is so fucking big. No, the demon of song. This is what is actually singing. Look at that. A big toad and it opens its mouth. It's actually a giant skull. Oh, with hands on it, and he pulls it over. It's the foreskin boss. Forcing boys and foreskin boys. Gotta be careful. He's a big chungus. Oh, you ha yeah, I forgot. You have to get him in the mouth. That's his weak spot. He's real sensitive under the foreskin. Oh my god! What kind of damage was that? Isn't there a way of like, uh. Yeah. I think I'm dead. Jesus! How does he do so much damage? Forcin boys! Look at that, look at that mouth. Nasty. You expect eyes, but what you get is skull fucked. Girl, I'm a skull fuck you. Is that is that something you want to say on the first date? I'm a skull fuck you. You raise me up, but then you leave me hanging. Boom! Oh, you're so close. You just got your little protective foreskin up. Well done. We won't let that happen again. We gotta finish this monstrosity off. The demon of song with the, the song on. Goodbye. Goodbye. Victory achieved. The demon of song soul and the key to the embedded. What's up again? Hello. You're just in time to see me defeat the demon of song. The song, song, song. I like it when your buddy go. Now with the key to the embedded, you can go back to the Drang Lake Castle and free that maiden. Uh, I think that's part of some other side quest, right? Re, re. You're trying to keep up with all the lore in this game. He's trying to like doing uh, fucking quantum physics. With your hands tied behind your back, your eyes blindfolded, and your ass stapled. Why is the last one important? I don't know. Think about it. Think about it. That one didn't even have a, a bonfire. Wait, no, actually, I went through the wrong door, that's why. Sorry. I'm 
fucking stupid. I hope you're doing well. I'm hoping to get as far as the, the, uh, we'll see, as the Dark Lurker. We still have the whole dragon area and the ancient dragon and all that to do. Actually, this might just be a dead end. No, I think there's another door over here. We have a little bit to go. The dragon, I think it's called Airy or Irie. It's spelled A-E-R-I-E. -E. How do you, how would you pronounce that? Irie? Irie Mon! That's why I don't want to call it that. Because it makes me think uh, Rastafari. Boink! Airy. Airy. <laughs> Come out, you son of a bitch. I fought a dozen just like you, and I'll fight a dozen more. You bring friends? I brought friends too. This is my friend Katana, and this is my other friend, Uchi Katana. Uchi Bochi. Uchi Bochi. I have not tried Ashen. Yeah, that's one you want to keep an eye out. It was on Xbox first, you see. Then we released it on PlayStation. Sony kind of just treat them like, um,. Stepchildren, they're like, oh yeah, this game came out if you if you want to, it doesn't really matter. I hate that kind of stuff. That's why exclusivity stuff really can suck sometimes. Is uh, it turns some games into like second class citizens? It's like fuck me. Oh, I think this this actually brings you to the dragon place, right? Have to make it even weirder and weirder as we've gone from forest, fucking dragon lake castle, all the way down to the shrine of a mana. You know, you feel like you're upside down. Or something it's crazy now we go to like a beautiful dragon peak dude i've been drinking this boost it's not fucking bad half it's probably made by with to uh, bold testosterone taurine literally strained from the balls of the balls i'm gonna keep drinking it taste that or is this more of Dragon Lake. I'm looking for a bonfire. Thank you. Oh, the undead crypt. This place is fucking wild. Oh! I always forget him. I always forget him. Of course, right outside his brother's basically grave at this point. But it's more of a living grave. This is the scholar of the first sin. He has been, you know, uh, experimenting, as you would say, you know. It's just your brain on drugs. This is all the uh, the scholar of the first sin. His mouth kind of there, nose kind of there, eyes kind of there. He's everywhere. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Hope you're all doing well. Nice to see uh, so many fans of this game as well. <laughs> There's so much booty shaking. I love it. Miles, you're probably busy as hell. You're still finding time to shake your little booty. I'm glad. Glad. I swear. It's it sends some good karma out in the world. If Miles is dancing. <laughs> We should all be dancing. Remember that song? We should be dancing. Yeah. All I remember from that song was this Cartoon Network. You remember when Cartoon Network used to switch off? And before they brought in like different channels. When it was finished at night time. It would just play this same disco. Someone had animated a disco from all the characters from like Hanna Bambara and all these things. It was really cool. They'd all just be dancing in a disco. And I loved it. Then later on, as I got older, it would just switch over to something else. It's like a boomerang or... I think I'm about to play Ark. Ooh! Get it! Get it! Ark, Ark, Ark! Ark, Ark! Ark, Ark, Ark! A lie! So this guy, he's kind of like, uh, he's meant to be, is he good, is he bad, is he indifferent, you know, that kind of way. But trust me, he is very much the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing. I think if you, you can string him along, it's another one of those things you can say yes and string him along. Let me see, let's not try and ruin the gameplay or anything. <laughs> These gloves. 
tickle me. Tickled pink. That's always a funny one. It sounds dirty and it's not meant to be. I think you can just string him along, it doesn't really matter that much. But you... You will be killing him. So he's part of this... The, the, the kind of DLC, I suppose. This is the first time the From Software have ever gone back and kind of sort of completely changed their game around while adding new content. Besides, you know, DLC. But this was like a Game of the Year edition. Added more bosses, all the DLC, a whole new ending, different enemy places, harder enemies. I, they've never done anything like this before, and this game is still shit on. I don't get it. You're getting so much content. Content. DSP would say content. Uh, what's going on, Narc? We're living in a cave go doing gangster shit. Yeah, we are. Gangster. Just straight gangster, man. That's uh, from San Andreas, GTA San Andreas. Oh, I'm OG, look, baby, I'm straight gangster. Jesus Christ, that guy was cringe. It's even cringe me saying it. A scholar of the first sin. Uh, I'm just trying to f make sure I don't miss him as a boss. But yeah, he's he's just the enemy of your enemy kind of thing, you know. He's he's out for his own shit. He's very much representative of uh, Frompt and uh, Keith. Was that his name Keith? Kate from uh, Dark Souls One, the serpents, the slimy little world serpents. Maybe there being a little secret back here or something. People complain about the weak bosses. No. I mean, here's the thing, right? There's like 42 bosses in the game. Some of them are going to be hit and miss. But in my personal opinion, I would prefer to have the weaker bosses over not having the bosses at all. Because you've got like masterpieces throughout the ages, right? Even Dark Souls 1 itself and Shadow of Colossus and so many other games where they have cut content that never sees the light of day. Bloodborne as well. Bloodborne... Had so much cut content. And we'll never see it. Ever, ever. Like the, you won't get like a fucking Snyder cut of these games. You know what I mean? So that sucks. So at least with Dark Souls 2, The Scholar of the First Sin, it wears its heart on its sleeve. It bears all of its beauty and all of its ugliness right there for you. And I love it for it. Yeah, there's absolutely some weaker bosses for sure. But, damn. Compared to some of the other games, uh, you know, where you'll have like a gimmicky boss... And then you'll feel cheated. You'll actually feel cheated. Even Dark Souls 3 has got a, a lot of gimmicky bosses. You have all this build up, this amazing cutscene, incredible battlefield, beautiful looking enemy, and then he, he goes off like a wet whoopee cushion. Just pointless. Like you've got that, uh, what's, the, what's the guy's name? Um, the big skeleton in the darkness that you get sucked into a chalice, a, a, a gauntlet or whatever. It's really cool. And then he's just... He just stood there in the dark and you smack him a couple of times and it's over. And he's like really important boss. There's a lot of bosses. Or the wyvern. This huge, big, fire-breathing wyvern. You're, and you're just ready to take it on. You're like, hell, here we go. And it builds it up in the whole area. And you walk around, jump on his head and he's dead. And I was like, what the fuck? So some weird choices. It really does feel like a good old switcheroo from Miyazaki. I like that it subverts expectations. But if you're not going to give me a boss after it that really brings it then kind of just was like no it's like uh, when your when your birthday candles get blown out by somebody else mm -hmm. we've all been there it was me it was me 
But yeah, I, I hell yeah. There's definitely a lot of bosses, but I feel like those are kind of like mini bosses. I think it works really well. You know, like the rat boss and uh, the skeleton lords and that. They feel like mini bosses. Then the next one is the big bad. Cyber, did you ever play Inside? Oh, I did. Yeah, hell yeah. I had to. Like, Limbo is just fucking a huge game, you know? Hell yeah, dude. You bet your sweet buttocks I did. It's so weird, right? Such a weird game. Inside, it's so weird. You can see where, like, Little Nightmares got it and stuff. I'm waiting for their next game. They're called Play Dead. They're, like, Swedish. Put out a game every five years or so. But it's usually always worth it. That is not a good, like, return on investments and all that stuff. Uh, okay, I'm trying to think where I need to go now. I think it's here, is it? To free our maiden fair. I don't think it matters too much. It's just that fun side of things. Do -do 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 -do. Who's gonna drive you home tonight? I said you can't go on thinking nothing's wrong. Talk to the Malfinito. Divine blessing. Oh yeah. People use this this key you get to open this. It's meant to be shoved into the dude's mouth. You can actually use it as a weapon. It's almost like someone say a keyblade. Red iron twin blade. People love the twin blades in this game. Great weapons. Uh, just completed it now. Loved it. Yeah, what a batshit insane ending, right? Oh my god. More more games need bosses. Yeah. That's the way they did it in the past. And uh, thank god the Dark Souls and, and From Software Games keeps that tradition alive, you know? Even just simple boss help bars. I love it. It's becoming rarer and rarer these days. I like it. There we go. Key to the embedded. You can actually use it. It's a, a cool, isn't it? We're going to jam this in his mouth. And use it as a weapon if you want. It's not a bad weapon either. Alright, we still have power stance? Hell yeah. We're, power, we're dual wielding katanas. Power stance activated. We're pretty hefty into this build right now. Ain't nothing going to stop us. Let's go free this lady. What? What does it mean? Exactly, yeah. I remember doing like an, uh, there's like a little secret ending you can get, if you want to call it that. Uh, you should look into it. I think it's related to a trophy as well. But I remember doing, at the time, back then, there was such, you know, there was the ability to do those kind of videos on YouTube and actually garner a good response. I remember doing a video on that ending, trying to explain it. And it went a little bit something like this. What the fuck? And that was about it. It's a three second long video. <laughs> no, no. It was a bit longer than that. I started tearing up my living room. Destroyed my TV. I was so confused by the ending, it left me bewildered. I was beside myself. Smacking the shit out of myself when I was beside myself. What is it even? I was beside myself. How many of you are there? Are they in the room right now? If there's someone in the room right now, please do a big fart. That was me. That was me. All along. Damn, where is this chick? I can never find her. Is she up on the elevator? I think so. Ah, oh, damn, girl. Sing a little song so I can find you. Sing Wonderwall. I've been known to be able to lock on to anyone singing Wonderwall at any time. It's a gift and a curse and a blessing in disguise. All those things. Ah. What does it mean? What are those? I just played a, a recent game called White Shadows. If you're into those games like Limbo and Inside, White Shadows is pretty cool. Very cool. Check that one out. I'll always be supporting them indie devs. I love you indie devs. I ain't never gonna stop loving you indie devs. Bitch. Who's he calling him bitch? Bitch, 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 bitch. There she is. Check this out. You want a bit, a bit of body shock horror? You might have seen Deep Trotin before. You ain't seen nothing yet. Stick it in! Take it all! Ah! And basically, that's how you make Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellingtons. It's fucking raw! Still waiting for Gordon to do his first Twitch stream. 
But I'm gonna be there. Oh, I'm gonna be there with my lamb sauce. Mm-hmm. Quacking off. Lamb sauce makes a really healthy, nutritious snack and some good lube too. It burns. You are free. Ding, 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 ding. The ring of the dead actually helps you out a good bit. Let's see what it says. Keep human appearance even when hollow. Basically, pull a full Fiona. They say that in the undead crypt, we can reacquaint ourselves with the dead, but we all suffer loss, and none of us can escape death. Then, what is the fascination with a reclaiming that has already passed into the beyond? Don't remember this game being this hard as the beginning of the game. It, it's tough, and you hear you hear us singing. Creepy, right? It, it, it can be tough. What you want to do, right? And it's not something you might be used to. Cleric. Cleric is a great starting class. But if you have a little bit of trouble damage output wise at the start, you gotta look for the good old classic morning star. It should be where them old bitches are. You know, them old biddies at the start that give you a human effigy? Get yourself the morning star. It's good in Dark Souls 1, it's damn good in Dark Souls 2. But yeah, the cleric starts with a banging mace as well. It might actually be the morning star. It's up to you. Most people will go with the uh, deprived. Because you can have like a clean slate. But, uh, like most playthroughs, you'll kind of think about a build, but you'll end up being a jack of all trades by the end of it. My name's John. Yeah, well, you're Jack today. Some people, right? Didn't so Wasn't John F. Kennedy known as Jack? Like, how fucking confusing is that? Here's what I think. Motherfucker's a clone, and there was one clone called Jack, and one called John. But John was the one who was assassinated on that grass, you know. Oh my god. Oh my god! I better shut up. I'll have a fucking sniper sight trained on me. Giggity! Take out his balls first. He's done too much damage. You bought the rapier. Yeah, everyone loves it. What got you into playing it again? Have you watched Moist Critical play it? You played it about a month ago, three weeks ago. Good old Charlie. Good old Moist Jesus. In fairness, like the actual original Jesus Christ, he's probably getting laid left, right, and center, right? He's out here doing miracles. He's got all these bitches, Mary Magdalene. I'm telling you, Jesus got tail. He did. Jesus got back. He definitely did. You know, Moist, moist Jesus gets it too. Moist. Moist. Now we get to visit the one and only King Vendrick. Poor bastard. The undead crypt. Lads, he's gonna fight, he's gonna stir my dick all day. He tried to, he tried to fucking get me in pussy. I start to lose my marbles from playing this for too long, I swear to God. You guys see my marbles? Please return my marbles. What happened there? There it is, gone after about three attempts. Backstab be Jankums. What's your name, son? Jankums be Willoughby. That's, that's, a, that's a hell of a name. Who gave me that name? I picked it myself. I bet you did. Jankums be Willoughby. Up no good as hell, you can see. his Jankums be Willoughby, and he's coming for that key. Woo! You picked the sword. No, there's no fucking up. Don't, don't worry. Don't mind me. I just thought you were literally at the start. You're all good. There's no fucking up. Honestly, I picked like knight and I was like, damn, this ain't too good on the old adaptability. But yeah, that's the key. If you want this game to have the roles and, and have a feeling of Dark Souls 3, it's all about adaptability. The game, I don't know who thought it was a good idea, but it's definitely one of the, the most divisive parts of Dark Souls 2. How, um, how like, wooden it feels. It feels stiff. So they added this whole fucking extra stat in the game called adaptability. Uh, let me see if I can find it here somewhere. See it down there. ADP, right there. AD NEP? ADP. And what that does is it affects agility. If you look two screens over, uh, where am I? Over there, yeah, you'll see AGL, which is your agility. And that's connected to your iframes, your roll distance, your back step. Even if you don't use it that much, it's very, it works with your roll. And also, like, how fast you drink your flask, all this kind of stuff. Most people, I only got a 23, but most people tell you to get to like 105 which is about 26 or 7 I don't know maybe 30 
it's, it's a lot to put into adaptability. But I think you'll be fine with 96 agility. It'll start to feel like uh, Dark Souls 3 rolls. And that'll make your playthrough much more friendlier. Trust me. Most people, when they do it, they'll actually... Um, they'll get so good at the game, they don't mess with the adaptability at all. But I, I want that feeling. You know, I want that feeling that it makes it, you know, like uh, the fast rolls from DS3 and DS1. Look at this guy. What what an enemy. He's literally made a gate out of shields and won't let you pass. You gotta kind of wiggle your vagina in front of him. Vagina. Shield boys. Then he'll scissor kick you in the nuts. Which I thought was not very nice. Honestly. Now he's just confused. Bye bye. Fortunately, later on, there's two of them in a the tunnel, and they just block it up. Oh, more mages. Are you sick of mages? Well, here's some more. Only good thing you can do with a mage is rush it. Because they don't have a lot of health. This one has a lot of more health than I thought. You got a fucking problem, miss? Have you? I'll sort you out right now. I will. Donk. She's about to do. She's about to do the flame ball kiss. Do the watuchi. Like my little Lucy. How's it going, lads? Line up. Swift and clean death for all. You're welcome. That don't come cheap, you know. What's this summon for? Is it Vendrick? No. I don't know who you are or what you've done with my underpants, but give them right back. How did you remove them? But keep my pants on. Ah, this is a magician's secret. That's the only trick you know? Yes, I remove on the pinch and a whim. That's not a bad trick. Where's my bra? What are those? Finish this game called Punchline. I think I seen you posting about it. It looks cool, dude. One of those kind of panty raiding games, and you're like, oh, this has some substance besides panties. Smut. It was a, it was smut with a heart. There you go. There's a Steam review for you. Nine out of ten. Wood fap again. Smut with a heart. Oh my God. It's like when you find that rare porno with a good story. Like damn, I don't know whether to fap or cry. Fuck it. Cry fap. My tears shall be my lube forevermore. Jack is a nickname for Johns, but sadly no one. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't get it. It's just crazy. It's a whole different name. Oh. Oh, here we go. Human. Yes. Do not produce light. Light. And all who bear it. Are unwelcome in this place. A bet. Hubbard. What are you? Halt! Who goes there? Isn't he supposed to be like invisible? He's like here or something? Was that it? Or am I thinking of another game? Fucking invisible NPC. Cause I'm not really sure that they're enemies up there. I'll produce light all I want. God. It's my gift. Some people got skittles when they were born. I get to produce light out of my ass. Shh. Be very quiet. Yeah. Uh oh. They're fucking piss run! Come on down! We've steaming from from Trent on Trent. Some, some of you, the British towns over there just sound ridiculous. It's stroke your mom on Trent. Like, what? what is that? Imagine saying you come from there. I come from stroke your mom on Trent. Stroke. Now, there is a place called stroke on Trent. And I'm telling you, that is the dirtiest, filthiest, nastiest place. But if you are born in stroke on Trent and you were given the name Trent, you're a lucky son of a bitch. Hey, it's welcome to stroke on Trent. This is Trent, you gotta stroke him, it's the way it goes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and then it's eventually passed down to the next Trent, you know? Where they're, they're given Trent Hood. Yes. Do you, Trent, take on this horrible, horrible curse of having your wiener stroke by whoever enters stroke on Trent? I do. Fuck yes, I do. It's a terrible curse to bear, but someone has to do it. What the fuck is he talking about? Whoo! I'm getting no work done at all. And also, this is the year that Stroke on Trent hosts the Olympics. Oh my fucking wiener! <laughs> yeah, isn't there a place called Stroke on Trent? 
<laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, stroke your mom. <laughs> Uh-oh. A lot of bombs, a lot of trends. Is there a place? Am I getting it wrong? Look at these little mice all together. This was like a mouse orgy. Mousey. You got some splaining to do. <laughs> this is the guy who doesn't like light. Uh, Ogden. Ogden. Guardian of the I'm just going to try to remember some of these names so I can call my dinos them. Damn. Place. Look, he's just caught a cute little otter. What's he called? Ogden. Damn, this is a foreboding oh, name. Jesus. Yes. He's well, cute, but it's called Ogden. Ogden the Terrible. You rip your fucking face off and wear it on his own face. And watch over face them. off. <laughs> this task was granted to me. Nicholas Cage actually pays me 17 cents every time I mention face off in a stream. I'm now up to 85 cents. Thanks, Nicholas Cage. Some heroes don't wear capes. Some of them wear bees. Not the bees! Ah, not the bees, man. Not the bees. 85 cents. You might think it's... A small amount, but I'm 85 cents richer than you are, thanks to Nicolas Cage. Nicholas. Did you come for him? He said I can either have that or 10% of the profits of the movies, and I'm bad at maths. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. I thought people would be talking about Face Off a lot more. <laughs> Only me. Only me. Sadly. Only me can talk. About face off. It's a good movie, damn it. In the good. Humans Bit where he takes the scalpel and starts to tear his own face off. That's good, clean fun right there. Fun for the whole family. Mommy's doing it again. How queer. People just don't use that word in that in that uh, way anymore. It sucks. You'd be cancelled right now. Do you know that little blue man? You'd be cancelled. Then you'd be going to have to shave your head and work for the Blue Man Group again. You don't want that. Mm-hmm. Sick of that blue paint. Sick of... Sipping blue milk. Oh, it is Stoke. Oh, it's Stoke on Trent, is it? Like, stoking the fire. So someone was, like, stoking tent. Oh, fuck. Now it's getting weird. Stroke on tent. Hey! Every morning there's a boner on, under my blankets. <laughs> Damn it. Ain't that the truth? Oh, good morning, sun. Good morning, world. Good morning, morning wood. Morning, morning, morning wood. Morning wood. Morning, cyber. Since when do you talk, boner? Since now. You've gone quite mad. Yay. Actually, I think if you do light this place up, it does something else, though, right? It brings out all these nasty monsters, but it opens up a door. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do you feel horny, baby? Do you? No, not especially. Oh, this fucking place! I hate this fucking place! No! There's these fucking necromancer Grim Reaper looking things and they ring a bell and they just send all these monsters after you. Oh, they're the worst. And what's worse is they keep respawning. It's not like, gotcha, bitch, you're dead, you'll never come back. Nope. They keep respawning. I hate them. They run over and ring the... Oh, yeah, these fuckers as well. It's like ghosts that come out of the... God, I forgot this place. This is a horrible place. I don't need, can you break? Yeah. But don't let them ring the bell. You can ring my bell. And I think... Yeah, here he's trying to go ring the bell. I think these, um, scallywags always come back. Oh, I rang the bell by accident. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, dear God. I'm sorry! So, false alarm! Uh-oh. Now you've done did a done did a dun dun da ding da ding 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 ding. I rang the bell. Who rang? The oh yeah, look at these fucking Grim Reaper motherfuckers that come out. Damn boy, it's the last time I ever ring a bell. Come on then, have at it, bitch. Have at it. Ah, oh, you rang the bell again for fuck's sake. They can't look like the dark lurker. Keep ringing the fucking bell in above. Stop it. Bell is retired. Stop it. Oh, bollocks. What mind, but they're filthy magic users. Ah, oh, so it just fucking almost kills you in one hit. Oh, bring him a boo. 
And you get stuck in this weird loop where they're ringing the bell over and over again. Oi! No one asked you. Alright, are we, are we cool? Stop ringing the bell, guys. For fuck's sake, Johnny, you rang the bell again! I'm telling your mother, you're making a holy show of yourself. Can I wear that hood? Oh shit. Time for high fashion. Fashion! Yes, I can. Look at that. Check it out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, damn. He's a cutie, little cutie. Catch a cutie. Nice. I don't think I did a bad job. She lived cross eyed. But, you know, that's the best you're going to get, okay? We're all a little cross eyed. Keep staring at my dick. I keep doing it. Alright. We cool? Stop ringing the bell, please. We're going to have to escort you off the property. And then you'll be banned from Wiener World for life. Not Wiener World. I believe it's called Wonder World. Look at the way they put the items. And then these fucking NPCs. No! It's trying to ring the bell. This whole place is one big trap. Bam. No! No autographs. How come they're called autographs, but you have to do them manually? Fucking lies, man. Lies. Manual graphs. Just never caught on the same. Oh, shit. That's my dick in a dick. What the fuck? Ah! I want to get out of this room. I want to get out of this room. Why do I don't need these items? Boss, your loot hoarding will be the death of you. But it could come in handy, maybe, one day. Yep. That's what I do in RPGs as well, man. I got like 67,000 high potions. Walks in and annihilates the fucking bash. Well, I guess I could... Just nice to collect them, I suppose. I never use the fuckers. Full heals, all this stuff. Never use them. Pokemon is another one. Doink. Where's the way out of here? There's a lot of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonfire. Can I light it without sitting down? Because I don't want to re-up everything. I don't think you can. So true, right? Same as autobiography. Right? What is that about? And auto writing? At least auto writing makes sense. But that throws the whole rest of it out of a loop. Light. Yeah, it's, it's time we crack down on the English language. Dink. We fucked, we done fucked it up. A lot of bells around. A lot of shit throwing magic as well. Oh, well, here comes the scallywags. Oh, I think I rang the bell. <laughs> Not like this. Please, not like this. That scene happens so fast where they just annihilate two people in the Matrix. Ah, oh, so sad. Oh, here comes the Slurper again. He's back. It's always that one guy. Everyone's allowed to drink the way they want to, but not the Slurper. Sup, Slurper? The Usurper. Pain my automobiles, pain my automobiles. Then like automobile as well, right? And then you try and self-drive, let it self-drive one time, and you 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 cause like a ten car pile up. Like come on! It's fucking automobile! Uh. Who rang that bell? I will find you and I will murder you in your sleep. Then resurrect you and then tell you I murdered you in your sleep. It's it's not a well thought out murder plan, I'm sorry. No, not the ghost. Who's the ghost about to strike? Cause this is Triller! It's Triller, but I can't actually pronounce my THs. So it means something else. A person who trills. Damn. Damn, girl. Get wrecked! Get shish kebobbed! There's not too many who actually get the pleasure of being shish kebobbed. So, go to your grave knowing that you're one of the lucky. 
You are the lucky one. I want to find Final Fantasy the first RPG I've used potions in. Actually, I actually count Kingdoms of the Yeah, oh, there you go. I bet. It's weird. We become like weird video game hoarders. And well, we want to be as video game whores. Whores! Trophy whores! Most people, you know, they're pretty, like, uh, happy in their relationships in real life. But damn, girl, you put them in a video game? Whoo, I'ma fuck the shit out of everything. That's a houseplant. Whoo! <laughs> Dear God, I didn't know you could do that. Now you can. Ah, oh, damn. What did you do to my germaniums? I fucked the shit out of them. Told you to water them. Not waterboard them. See, plants are living things, right? We've been waterboarding them all our life. All of our life. We just completely drowned them in water. We bring out the water and can and we're like, I'm helping, have a little drink. Oh, isn't that nice? When secretly, if the plant could speak, they'd just be like, <coughs> Please stop them. But no, we'll never, we'll never hear plants speak because that's another one of my patterns that were taken away. I had a plant translator. They thought it was a transporter. Yeah, damn it. Oh, here we go. This is like one of the um, bitch ass hallways. So you got right, full of ghosts. Then you've got two shield bros completely blocking the place. It's kind of like that boar in the, um, what is it? The fucking Duke's archives in Dark Souls 1. I accidentally crushed my baby under its mobile. It was an automobile. There you go, see? Beep, beep. Automotive. So give me this little best. Look how far they can go. He's still alive. Problem with these guys is you want to try and aggro one, but it just ain't happening, boss. It's both of them. Come on. Ah! Oh! Zippity doo da! Those are my tits. Ah! How am I all out of heels? Oh, because I didn't sit at the bonfire. That's why. I didn't sit down, I just kind of grazed my bollocks office. You know, where, you know where, like, cows and sheep and pigs, you bring them outside and they're grazing in the grass? Has anyone ever thought of like doing that for people's ball sacks? Like we're not allowed to just let them hang out because it's indecent exposure. And that old chestnut, I know nothing about. But what about just like creating these tiny little fields in the middle of towns, just for letting people graze their balls, ball grazing, just graze your balls off things and just just let them let them go free. You know, it's a sweaty world, and I am a sweaty person. I am a material girl. Do we jump down here? Yeah, we do. And then they set the bells off immediately. Damn. I need some heals, man. This skeleton knows what's up, right? I'm just playing dead. I'm actually really alive. Shh. Can you scratch my foot? Oh, my God. It's been itchy for about 6,000 years. Oh, I got your butt. Hold on. Tickle, tickle. On a skeleton pickle. One of these will help. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Ball grazing. I'm just waiting. Yeah, you know, we're not that far into 2022, so we haven't found out what the new craze is yet, you know? But I don't want to know what it is. It'll happen soon. Get away for one of those really cheesy news reports. You know, it's like, here's a, here's a dwarf in a bikini. Bringing you in the new news. The new news. Hi. I'm here at Trafalgar Square where ball grazing is the brand new phase. That's right. People have just let loose. Let the bodies be freed and the balls too. Uchi, no. I just can't quit you, Uchi. Give it to me. Oh my. Oh, I remember this so well. I remember it like it was yesterday. Getting absolutely wrecked. And they keep ringing the bell over and over, yeah. That's a dead right there. We haven't died in a while, but there you go. There's a mixture of having no heals, 75 Grim Reapers, you know, Sasha Gray. A typical Sasha Gray story right there. Basically, there was 75 Grim Reapers fucking me at the same time. 
Jesus Christ, what kind of mushrooms are we on? No, that was just a Saturday. Wow. At least it respawned us there. That's good. So it proves the point that you can actually light a bonfire without sitting at us. I know you were asking. Won't you ring that bell? I don't care if you like that song. Don't you fucking ring it. Oh, did I miss this? I forgot to get the bitty. Oh, you dirty bastards. Who rang that? I want him brought to the front of class immediately. He shall be punished accordingly. Concordantly! One step forward. Two steps back. I sat in my balls! I, I have sat in my balls a couple of times on stream. Let me tell you. It has almost been cause for ending stream early. There's nothing quite like the rising pain that starts... The foot of your penis. Does a penis have a foot? I don't know. And then it climbs ever so gently up into your tummy. And sits there. And wiggles around. Scrooge! And I hear people pay good money to have that excruciating pain. I will never kick shame, but I'll still ask the question. Why? Why? I believe they call it Vandersex. And it's administered from uh, Lucy Lawless. Yes, that's right. Xena Warrior Princess herself will stand on your balls. Vandersex. Nah, no, that's, that's a Euro trip joke. She pops up so many places and no one even knows. Eurotrip, Spider-Man, your mom's basement. Boink! Do you ever like, it's kind of a weird thing, do you ever see those like, okay, I'm gonna just have to, I'm gonna have to expose myself a little bit. You know those kind of nude <laughs> pictures and posters of like celebrities over the years? And then you'll have them on certain websites that have been signed. They've been signed by the actress or actor or whatever. Like, how embarrassing must that be for someone to walk up to said celebrity if they're not an adult star? If they're an adult star, right, it's not that big a deal. Like, hey, it's my tits. Everyone's seen them. Shit, they've seen them more than I've seen them, you know? But if it's just a normal person and, you know, the fappening has happened and you just walk up and you're like, will you sign this? And then they sell that shit on eBay. It's so amazing. And it all starts... At the cringe moment of when you sign this nude poster of yourself that I've probably whacked off to a couple of times and will do so again at my leisure. Without smearing the, the, the signature, of course. Because that would depreciate the value. Yeah. Is, oh, fuck. One of these is actually a little secret area. But you try and find it. Look at this mess. These guys are tough. We got rid of two of them, but once they start doing magic, it's tough. No, double deaths. I should know better. This place is heinous. Don't go down any of those hallways. Don't even think about it. If you're starting to think about it, stop thinking about it. Don't do it. Now I'll have you thinking about it, don't I? Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 See a couple of those, right? Like, what the hell? I mean, they've got balls. I'll give them that. But clearly, some of it's been smeared on the poster. And it must be that weird moment. And then, then they would have gone to, like, a Comic-Con or whatever. And queued up for hours. With like a sweaty nude poster of someone just to get it signed by them. Like the whole thing, like from the gecko, it's just yeah. I don't know what to say about it. There's super fans and super stands and sweaty neck beards with nude posters of Anne Hathaway. Good god. I'm Anne Hathaway. And I will sign this nude poster of myself. Hey, this is Hugh Jackman. Is it not the same person? No! Hugh Jackman and Anne Hathaway look nothing alike! They're not the same actor at all. Or are they? Sorry, that's my uh, my asshole asking a question again. Boing! Come on, get some! Guy hits like a truck. Wish I hit like a truck. I hit like a Tonka truck. 
just uncomfortable, right? Yeah, oh god, it has to be, it has to be. Because you, you know, right, your brain, like, it doesn't matter how, like, overactive or non-active someone's brain is, they're still thinking about, you jacked off to that picture! You have to have jacked off to that picture, come on, come on! Then someone had to print out that poster or buy the poster. Oh, I'm telling you, it goes like seven or eight degrees of, of dirty, nasty separation. It really does. There, this is the right one. You want to follow the train tracks, but now I gotta get my souls back. So look, you gotta stop these guys from ringing the bell. It's a cool little MP. Uh, I was gonna say NPC, but AI uh, idea, isn't it? Oh no, this is just an item. This was the one I was actually looking for. No, there's another one spawned. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, one of those already spawned. You jumping jackass. Don't let him ring and he's gonna do it. Son of a... Oh, Lord Jesus, there's a fire. There's a fire in my pants. Fuck. Damn, it's so heinous in your anus. Dude, look how many of them fucking spawned. Room full of jackasses. <sighs> Even with the power I have, whew, he still gets completely ganked by the gank squad. That was the lesser known boy band from the 90s. Hey, buddy, we're the gank squad. What's up? Do you want my loving baby? Gonna gank you straight. Then I'm coming for your mama if it's not too late. What the fuck can I. What kind of fucking song is that, anyway? We love the gang squad! Ooh! Ah. And guess who was the lead singer in the gang squad? That's right! Hideki Miyazaki! Founder and millionaire owner of From Software. Such humble beginnings. Ah. Goddamn ghosts. Always have a tiny little bit of health up. Come on, you bastards. Come on. Come on, don't be afraid. I'm right here. That's it. Oh, I thought I aggroed one of them. Sometimes you can just aggro one. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I'm caught between. Oh, no. This is not a, a rock and a hard place. This is my dick is in your mom's face. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, no, no. I think I just lost about 60,000 souls. Shout out to the fucking cyberspace. It's the richest, richest one of us all. Where all the little lost souls go. Like that weird hallway in Beetlejuice. This is the the Hall of the Lost Souls. That thing scared the shit out of me. Did they just spawn beside it anyway? And this I never knew, huh? Sometimes they just spawn in their own volition. Isn't that great? Yay! I fucking hate magic. I hate it! Then they put your other dead body right there. And it's almost like the walk of shame. The walk of shame! We've all been there. Normal walks of shame is fine, you know, right? It's, it's actually kind of prideful. But the walk of shame when you've been to like a birthday, a 21st, a wedding do. When you've got to leave a house at 6 in the morning in a tuxedo. Oh yes. People will honk at you. People will point and laugh. Some people will even throw things at you. God damn it. That was a rental, motherfucker. That's the true walk of shame. Or like the walk of cream. The walk of cream pies. No, I think, I think the, the walk of shame only, is only with the ladies. Because the guys are like, that's right, I've just had sex, <laughs> and it feels so good. Thanks, Akon. I've just had sex. <laughs> but the ladies are like, oh my god, I'm not wearing my heels. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Someone call me an Uber. Ah, yes. The days before Ubers would pull up at places, you really did have to have the walk of shame. Now it's easy. Now you all get away scot-free. Oh, speaking of Scott, did you see? I bet you did. Fucking Scott Pilgrim. They're doing a fucking Netflix show. There was a time when that would get me very excited. 
But now when I hear the words, they're doing a Netflix movie or doing a Netflix show, it kind of worries the piss out of me. Because they're, they're starting to get close to that, you know, 60% success rate with shows. And I was hoping Netflix wouldn't be the son of a bitch like the other networks that would just cancel a movie or a show, sequel, whatever, while you're just getting into it. You know, and it really sucks. But Netflix have proved that, yes, they have no problem doing that at all. They will cut it right out from underneath it. Like, Cowboy Bebop might have had a chance of getting better and better, you know? It was most certainly better than that fucking Death Note movie. But, yeah. The legs were cut out of it after one season. So it's gonna be one of those weird box sets where you buy... I'm gonna buy the whole bo I'm gonna buy the whole season. The whole show. Of Cowboy Bebop. It's, it's one. It's just one season. Yep. Yep. That's a big one. Uh, hello. Yeah, this cheeky bastard will set this off while you're just in the middle of walking around. Now be careful. You always remember the trolls. You always remember the trolls. Why is that? Why does negative stuff have a deeper impact on us mentally than positive? He still did it! What a wanker! Look at that! Look at my health! Oh my god! I fucking hate magic! Woo! It left me a tiny nipple of health! And my tiny nipple of health went to France. I can't even go traveling because of COVID, but my tiny nipples went to France. Good for you, nipples. Good for you. It's funny how different body parts go through different trends, isn't it? Like during the 90s, it was all about the midriff. You know, if you weren't short, showing your belly button, were you really even a celebrity? Then, as the 2000s went on, it turned into the booties. Shout about that booty call. Nowadays, it seems to be about the nipples you know and it seems like the bigger the better you know if you're not going full uh, pepperoni nipples it's just it's not real it's not real it can't hurt you then you can go you can just go too far you know full dinner plates just whip those things off and fly them around the room like risbies jesus stop ringing that bell in there god i don't think there's any way of stopping them gotta like light the fire or something gotta bring take that out here be that Messiah, this song will keep us paid for two years. Fucking hate magic. That's magic. And I hate it. I haven't been able to spew a giant fire tornado underneath your ass. Kind of cool, actually. Damn. They're just going to keep respawning. Fuck this. I'm out. I'm out. This is the weirdest Dragon's Den ever. I'm out. I'm out. And I'm out. You think all the people on Dragon's Den, when they pull out their missus, they're like, And I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No oh, bollocks. Please, Jesus, no. We got a Dragon Rider. We got some of these, uh, sons of bitches, Grim Reapers. We've got it all. Come on, line up, you motherfuckers. I'll take you all on. Every last motherfucker. Sip you. I don't like you very much. No magic. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. God damn it, dick sauce. Would you like to try today's special, ma'am? Oh, yes. What, what is it? Dick sauce. Over a confit of duck. Fuck. I'm trying to duck. We're gonna have no heels with the boss. I think this one is like, uh... Is it like Ven... Oh, what's his name? Might be... Might be Vendrick, which is like, uh... No, Vendrick's the king. What's this one? Oh, it's like his... Basically his personal bodyguard, I think. This one... Come on up here. Why is this guy so hard to beat? That's right, because he was a boss earlier. Stonk. The boss that got relegated to a normal enemy. How does that feel? How, how does that work for, like, you know, mob enemy mortality? That sucks! She wouldn't roll off the edge. But he certainly took me off the edge, thanks. You know, you gotta think of, like, NPC. All the, all the, their, their poor old morale. It must be pretty drained. Like my Bowers. Bowers. 1200 damage and it barely left a scratch. Oh, 
Oh, he might beat me. Fucking hell, Belge. Look at that camera. Nothing like seeing the back of your head. Good Lord, Jesus Christ. This is the uh, FBI's fucking FBI's view. Your girl's going down. And she's staring at you from the fucking laptop. What's the uh, Netflix meme? It's like, Netflix, 3 o'clock in the morning. Are you still watching? Someone's daughter. I charge, charge, motherfucker. I've successfully gone through another charger. Yay, well done. Yeah, woo, we love you. I go through about a charger a month. I've got problems. Ay, ay, ay. I've got chills. They're multiplying. I think I might have hemorrhoids, too. But the power you're supplying. Keep Rogan the tiger bombing and all this. It's Greece, but they're all old and they've got ailments and they just sing about their ailments. I've got laryngitis and bronchitis. I've got a knobbly knee and only three toes. Better shape up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cause I'm half dead. Woohoo! Can we beat this boss? Can we? Can we beat off to this boss? Be beat this boss? Sort of. A you find yourself beating off the bosses? Me too. That's nice. That's, that's some good shit right there. What the fuck? These are the fans of from software games? Get Miyazaki to shine a nude poster of, of the, one of the busts. Oh god. Quilana. Half spider, half woman. Can you sign it, please? She's my favorite. Uh, are you okay, son? Are you nervous or something? No, I'm, I'm actually. Oh, I'm, I'm jizzing in my pants right now. Oh, for fuck. Get, out, get him out of here. Security! You let him in again. He just put a fake statue on. Oh, my. Oh, no, no. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the king's like personal bodyguard. I think you can summon him later. He's probably the most lo human looking guy. But he's a big guy. He's not quite Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dwayne the Cock Johnson. The Cock Ronson. Dwayne the Cock Ronson. V Velstad, that's it. The Royal Eagles. He has this... He says one of those uh, things the Pope has. He's turned into a mace, but still rings a big old bell. Ah, fuck! It's not gonna go well, trust me. Stunk! I didn't even hit him! Oh no! Somebody say a prayer for me. How did you get me? Oh, he's got a 360. Watch out. Yeah, he does a lot of shockwave stuff. Come on. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of nothing. Except that tiny little spider right there. He freaks me out, man. Stop looking at me, Swan. I ain't scared of nothing. Maybe it's halfway. Doesn't he summon someone else? Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on preach. I'm rolling too much now. Sorry, I got a bit giddy there. Oh! Touch me in the morning. Can you imagine the damage that would do to a uterus? A uterus, Bob. Did you say uterus? No, I didn't say uterus. Oh, shit. Yeah, what the fuck does he start doing here? Dark magic. Oh, he's healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He love that dark magic. I just can't get enough of it. I should be dead, honestly. Darkness, then lightness, then darkness. Let's not play greedy. Let's do our thing, chicken wing. Come 
But I'm doing next to no damage. He must have used something to make him uber powerful. No, it's a bit better. Have it! You can ring my bell, bell, bell. Oh my god, I hate magic so much! I was out of there. I was gone. I was gone. I even hopped in my car. Oh, I was out of there. There's no way that stinking ass magic hit me. Death to magic, man. It is a poor man's death. Give me a real fight. I want you to take that magic little mace, right? And shove it directly up your ass. Then ring away. Ring away, Murphy. Ring away. You say Murphy? Oh, Smurf. Oh, Smurf, Smurf. Damn, now we gotta fight through all that mess. Funny I was a little more aggressive. I always say that, but aggression doesn't pay off. You gotta be like a, a tactical whoopee cushion. Where you can kinda, you have it on a piece of string. And you, you're able to fire it like a frisbee underneath someone's seat just as they sit down. Tactical whoopee cushions. Another one. Shiver's million dollar ideas. How many millions have you made off these million dollar ideas so far, Cyber? None. Check out all of my non-existent millions. That's right, you fucking jealous, aren't you? <laughs> I'll tell you, that fat flap is going to take off, though. I, I feel it. I'm actually testing one out right now. I'm not supposed to say. It's for NASA. Testing out one right now. Who better to be the guinea pig than me? The brains behind the fat flap. When did this idea come to you? It's just so ingenious. While I was having a wank. When else do you think it came to me? It came to me when I came on my shelf. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, you know that post not clarity? For me, it's the one little moment in the day I get to have a little bit of genius thoughts. Genius! That boy, that's genius, boy! Is it post not cl clarity or just pre not clarity because you're in between the next nut, you know? <laughs> Think about it. See? These are just tiny little nuggets of nut that I, I've now spat out in front of you and in front of the dinner party and, and sorry. It's everywhere. Jism for all. And so all a good jism. Okay, once we kill him and talk to... Actually, you know what? This is taking longer than I thought. Let's fucking speed run. I push it to the limit. It's time. Go on. Let's go. Take it one step further, yeah. I'm fast as fucking that, yeah. I'm gonna push it. Oh, these guys are all gone? Nice, dude. Come on. Gonna push it. I'm pushing right now. I knew you were going to do that. You know what I know? I don't. Damn boy! A big old tallywhacker you're swinging around there. Hmm? What'd you do with that tallywhacker? I told you not to take out your tallywhacker when family's over. That's disgusting, Billy Bob. God damn. Why'd you dress it up like a goddamn fucking alligator? You made an alligator costume for your tallywhacker? You know what, that's kind of ingenious. I ain't even mad. We almost got him. See what I said? I should have been more uh, aggressive. Sometimes aggression pays off. Sometimes you lose half your health in one hit. Oh my fucking genius. Oh. Brand new Jesus juice. Actual juice that Jesus lost during his many, many trips. Finish him! Flawless victory. Look at that. Untouchable. Actually, no, he got me for one, didn't he? Isn't it funny how quickly we forget being his? So now we get to visit the king. You can already see him running around there. King Vendrick. The mighty have fallen and quite literally become undead. This is him. Walking around in his you know what's doing his you know who's the giant king. 
He does not aggro. We just get to see what happened to him. This is why it's called the Undead Crypt. I didn't say it because of the hollows. It's because it holds a deep, dark secret. Queen Nassandra, or so she's called herself, has taken the throne and left her husband to a horrible fate worse than death. To live out an eternity as a hollow zombie walking around his grave. Would you get to uh, take some of his... Uh, his armor. He left it all behind. This is an important part of the story. The King's Ring. So this will open up the uh, the memories. I think there isn't there like a separate memory here. I don't want to fuck this up. How does this work again? He added so much. Isn't there like another memory right here? So now we have to go back in time and see what has befallen this kingdom. It's kind of cool. So you get to see the giant war, literal giant war. There's so much to keep track of, I have to do a little bit of wiki digging, I'm sorry. Wiki, wiki! Where would we be without wikis? I don't know. I'd be up a creek without a wiki. Wiki, wiki! So you can fight him right now. He has something like 80,000 HP. Not bad, right? Not bad. Almost, I think, he almost has the highest HP in the whole game. Maybe the Ancient Dragon has more. Something else. But what you have to do is kind of weaken him. Because, uh, yeah. You want to kill him. I'm nearly sure this is a memory, though, right? This is something they added. It's an extra memory. Um, let's try it, memory. I'm trying to remember this. God, even the wiki don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Memory of the King. And it's part of the Crown of the Sunken King DLC. So we won't touch that. We won't touch that. We're not there yet. But we will come back for it. I could try and fight him right now. But look who's watching in the wings. The real fate of this kingdom has been shown. Hello, Emerald Maiden. This ring is the symbol. How long are we going for now? Fucking midnight! Six hours! Alright. The, the monarch! Then one day you will walk through his crown. Without really knowing why. Keep talking, girl. How can that dirty nasty? I said keep talking. I'm close, bitch. Keep talking. No, oh, fuck. Uh, okay, next up is... How do we get to the dragon? Ira. Ira. Or Air, or whatever it's called. Maybe we have to do the memories next. Probably not. Arr, arr, arr. On that crypt. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we can go to Aldea's keep. We can find uh, the brother. Brother! So now we have the King's Ring. There's like four or five doors around the world. But now mysteriously open. Yeah, you can totally fight him there. He will wreck you sideways. Probably should just homer boner it, huh? Fucking magic's gonna kill me before I get the chance. I hate magic! Whew, that was close. Bye, Felicia. The, the crazy amount of stuff that actually happens in the, uh, the Shaded Woods is unreal. Almost like 66,666 souls, but not quite enough. Six. I'm trying to think what boss truly gave us difficulty this time. I, I don't think any so far, right? Damn, every time I come back to Majula, the Elgato freaks out. I can hear it clicking again. Every time. What is that? Is it because it's so bright or something? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. 
I don't care if we gotta go to fucking the offices of Elgato. Do they have offices? I'm gonna find them. And I'm gonna tear them limb from limb. Hell yeah, brother. Three hundred dollars to be a piece of shit. Are we anything else to burn? No. Only time. Look at all these places. Definitely the biggest Dark Souls there ever was. Some people hold that against it. I'm a guinea. What's wrong, dude? Don't you like gameplay and lots of it? No. I want the game to roll the credits as soon as I start it. I paid sixty dollars. What do you expect? You're a confusing son of a bitch. Uh, no, not going in there again. So maybe it was here. The one we didn't really mess around. So we got a couple of these little rat dogs to take care of. And it leads up to... Sorry, but Aldea's keep. And sadly also a big chungus. Hold on, we're not power stancing again. Damn it, you gotta be careful, that can happen. I must have hit triangle or something. Triangle, the one in the one. Damn, you one thick bitch. Well, he always gets me on the- Oh, he got me there, too. You gotta get round behind him. You gots to do what you gots to do. Ow, 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 ow. Uh-oh. Almost became Bud Jam. Sister, sister. Talk about a two-way twister. Dude, you gotta clean that buttocks, I'm telling you. Everyone has seen it. Now everyone must clean it. Oh god, that was a bad spot right there. So Aldi is keep. This is his own little uh, what I want you to call it, like laboratory, I suppose. We did all these fucked up experiments, and trust me, you're about to see some nasty shit. So these, once you ever find these kind of doors, these are the king's doors. So you wonder, is it just uh, a beautiful made door and not made to open? It is. Is made to produce the symbol of the king. Which means wear the ring, bish. Wear that ring. Yeah. And then pop that pussy. Yeah. Uh, king's ring. There we go. And the latch shall open. Dude, I don't know how people found out how to do this stuff. You know, when this first came out. I didn't anyway. For me, the first place true was always like... Durr, and what happens if I fall off this ledge? Oh damn, I died it again. All deers keep. Look at it. Almost like a little church. Seems fairly humble. It's usually the places that look the most inconspicuous and the most nasty. It's just an ice cream factory not going on, on here. What the hell is that? Is that, is that a gnome? That's, that is not a gnome. Have you been capturing gnomes? Gnomes are real. Gnomes make the best ice cream, sonny. You think we've been getting fucking cows this whole time? What are you, what are you saying? It's right. Oh, fuck. Mimic time. I'm dead. Too busy talking about gnome ice cream. That's the second time a mimic done hit my soul. And then presented the, the mimics. The mimics keep presenting themselves. I like to believe that in some twisted world, those mimics are getting it on. They gotta be. Very hard to see if that was a mimic in fairness. It's one of those buggers. That is actually fucking hiding in the grass. And it's not very often you get the metal chest mimics. That's pretty rare. Still got me, you bastard. You know I'm up on a ledge. Yeah, I always win. I want to know the story behind that cyclops and those two little dogs. Because they lead you there. It's a trap. Very clever. Does the king ring do anything? Give you anything? Nah, it's just a symbol. Open your doors, you damn whores. Go. Uh, please, let me in. 
Once I start to get to the back half of this game, then that's where my memory starts to fail or something shocking. As you expect. What did we say? It was like a 60 hour game. Yeah, yeah. Tim, things like mimics fucking me up. It's par for the course. Damn, boy! Whoa, that barely did any damage. I think it's because he's a metal chest. So he ends up. Oh shit, I'm gonna get petrified. No! Petrification! Cool. Damn rat dogs. You'd be, be surprised how quick they'll petrify you. Fucking shits. It sucks as, you know, if it was any other weapon to be dead already, just the swinging at the. Uh, uh, at the mimic, but because of bullshittery and the Uch Katana has such a weird swing at times, anything low to the ground won't hit. It has a, it has a diagonal swing. It doesn't really fucking work. I do love it. It's a good weapon. Just that's something you have to take into account. That's why Crystal Lizards be avoiding my ass. I have to equip it again. No, we're good. Once you open it once, you should be good. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There's even a bonfire there, and I just keep not lighting it for some reason. Fuck. Come on. I don't got too many souls on me anyway. It was like 10k. Not that much right now. Not even half a level. Right. This chest gone? Do we even get the? I don't even even picked up what it dropped, did we? Absolute bastards! Need to figure out where to get the the dark set. I like the dark set. Run around with a big skeleton. There you go. The four garden. Never heard of that before. I swear, dark souls have used. Sometimes they make up their own words though. There's four grounds, but four garden. Hmm, must be a thing. Goddamn fire siege. Alright, let's, let's fly through this area. This will bring us out to the dragon. Airy or Airy, whatever the fuck's called. Then. Such a monster of a game. We'll fight the ancient dragon. I can't. Oh, yeah, the memories then. Oh, fuck. We'll leave the memories. They're a bit, a bit too much. I'd rather. Do the dra uh, the dark lurker. Oh yeah, this bit's fucking crazy. So now we're going into his little laboratory. We've already got some very sus stuff. This I think this is Lucian Tal's sister, right? Gotta be careful. Cause that wagon will burst open. Oh, she's still alive! Keep forgetting it needs to say Invader Banished. I mean, they're, they're just that sliver of health. Seems almost odd to me. Let us enter his keep. What secrets have you been hiding, Aldia? You creepy bastard. Oh, yeah. There's one of the coolest fucking jump scares. Right here. I think it's when you pick this item up, is it? No, does it still does it still happen? Oh. Maybe it's when you come up here. What is it? What sets this off again? Maybe it's later. Maybe it, 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 you must know. You must know. I always fuck it up. Alright. The first of many nasties. Giant curse frog. A lot of people turn to stone. They use the basilisk so much. Basilisk won't attack until you attack. about the tail. There are a lot more 
attacks than normal. More dinosaur than anything. Crimson water. I think if you don't attack anything in here, something happens or something like that. Got a little message, this one being from the devs. Don't you dare, do not light the torch. Don't you do it. This is not a mimic. Might be a trap chest, no. How cool is that? Like that's something you'd see in Night Museum or something. Look what's right there, one of the Cyclops boys. I think he keeps respawning. So it makes you think that he's been using that basilisk to turn everybody to stone that we've met all along the way. Althea cannot be trusted. Damn girl. Damn boy. I'm trying to remember how to set this bugger off. Oof. Superstar DJ. Here we go. I have a lot of fragrant branches of your, but it's, I don't feel like using any of them. Whee! Well, you're nicely hollowed, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Tormented by memories, burdened by guilt. Now the question: Are you ready for more? This, this contains my power. Someone locked him here. Long ago, this Aldea must have been afraid of him. Vessel of mine, the fool dreamt of bringing new forms of magic into the world, but instead, he created me. Mostly, what he sought was strength, and so I decided to demonstrate. While my vessel slept, a vessel is like a demon inside of a human down. flesh bag. But no, I don't. But how is it that you go about defining good and evil? Good point. I'm only using what the gods gave me. How can that what be? What gods? So what say you to a spot of murder on my behalf? Oh. If you don't, I'll leave this place and take more lives. Many more. It's a little deal with the devil. I couldn't give a fig either way, so... I couldn't give a fig. I like that. Your choice. Don't hear that very often. No. Yes, yes, that's what your feeble mind can't begin to comprehend me. Not that you ever tried. Definitely, <laughs> definitely a scary dude. No, I don't have anything against you. I'm so. Just sure. gonna keep asking until you say yeah. Yeah. yeah so to kill another NPC. I don't want. never consistently trigger this guy maybe it happens later maybe it's with the fragrant branch I don't know what's down there anyway maybe you gotta light something hello mr. Dargan this one don't you dare keep telling me you're gonna make me do it pull back pull back what does it mean go back don't you dare all dear seems like a quite the shrewd little scientist you can't stop me they're telling me not to push the button I must push the button uh oh, somebody's free. Uh -huh. I hope you appreciate the ramifications. Well, no matter. 
what's done. Now he's gonna go on a killing done. spree. Besides, I've found myself a new mark. <laughs> Us. I'll spend some time alone. All right. What's the best way I crack in this place? Ah, yes, more of these goddamn mirrors. Anything over here? Hmm. I feel like there is a mimic in one of these. No. I can't really tell with the metal ones. Oh, cheeky buggers. They are absolutely massive games in fairness. That's without like failing and to kill a boss or whatever, you know. So it's had a good bit of time, but a lot of it is just straight up look at this. Like the looking glass knight. That also makes you think that he had a hand in that as well. These are much stronger though. He's gonna do anything. This guy is like the uh, original Dark Souls 1 guy, look. Oh, still got me. Check this guy out. Clearly the magic didn't work for him. He got caught between worlds and died. Ah. Oh. I assume his legs are somewhere else. I think it's so well done. Never lets me fucking backstab him. Stranger still. Oh, nice block. There it is. Animations be shocking. What's weird is the other Dark Souls games, they only let you backstab pretty much anything that is the same height as the player character. I mean, there might even be like inches in the difference and they won't let you do it. Because they find this probably too cheap, maybe. But this game, Dark Souls 2 is like, have at it, he's two times your size, but if you can reach his back, you can stab it. Have at it. You deserve it, mate. Have yourself a chucky bicky. A chucky bicky for me. The way they lock on to you, it's kind of funny. You can make them do a little dance. Oh, he's like, see the way they turn when after you attack? We cannot do that shit. Chucky Bicky! I wish I could do that. I should been able to move your attack after you do it. It would look ridiculous. As it does on those damn fucking AI. Like he's sliding across the floor. But it also can lead to some shitty deaths. Shitty. We got a, a bright bug. If I remember correctly, they're, they're kind of cool. Might even be a nod to the old ones. Alright, is this part done? How do we set off this little shit? I'm pretty sure there's a secret door here somewhere with a bonfire. Should we just wake up, Wilbur? Me up inside. Almost got there. Yeah, baby. Fuck your fragrant branch of your. Fuck your chicken strips too. Aldia probably had a thing for Nisandre. He's got he's got that vibe. Wait, can we talk to this guy? No, it's the fragrant branch. Okay, cool. There's one though. I'm like, what? Alright, onwards to more monstrosities. You got a cheeky. It wouldn't be a, a laboratory with a couple of secret entrances and exits. In you go. Here we go. Mimics. Cyclopses. Who knows what else. Giant mushrooms. Aldi has been experimenting on everything. Who knows what he's created or not created. Nasty. It's been a very naughty boy. He might have even created half of the enemies in the game. Sadly, these 
sons of bitch enemies. They don't stay captive for long. I like to come out and try a lot. Sometimes these uh, brick walls, like here, they tend to be uh, secret areas. Oh yeah, and this, what did this used to do? Better turn on the lights or open all the cages. Let's see what happens. Let's show you what's gonna happen. Turn on the lights! Turn on the lights in here, baby! Extra bad! This mimic's coming down, look at him. For priest! Oh damn, they spit poison. If he's already aggroed, he's gonna break his cage anyway, so it's best just to wait and let him break it. Come on, fucker. Come on. Might have admit all the mimics. Maybe he won't break it. What's this one? It's one of the turtles. And the mushrooms. Gotta watch out for everything in here. There is a secret bonfire somewhere too though. You gotta be a bit mindful of your surroundings. Hello there. We got one of these monstrosities. Like something out of Resident Evil. Once they all start bursting out, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a field day. The zoo is now opened. You son of a bitch, how do you do that much damage? I really gotta get more armor on or something. Everything takes me over 70% though. It's not worth it. Prisoner gloves is about it. And these? That was better than nothing. Now we start to see a bit more of the lab. Green concoctions. Isn't there poison down here as well? Yeah. I remember. What do you remember? I don't know, but I remember it. Remember. Poison by. Is it poison? It might actually be the other stuff that breaks your stuff. Can't remember. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of these old skinless dogs as well. Don't you dare. I think there was a bonfire here somewhere? No? Maybe the other side? No. Can't tell as it's slowly destroying my weapons. No, it's not, but I bet you if I go in there, I will. Can I aggro one of them from here? Probably if I had a firebomb. Jeez, my back. Alright. Sit the fuck up, sir. Aggro! Damn, he's connected before mine. Fuck me, I'm not winning this one at all. Joust of men, old dislocated jaw. That still got me, he must have got a double bite off. Ooh, Nelly. Coyotes after you. Come on. You're so slow. Look at that. Fuck me, another attack straight after the other one. Lousy bastards. AI always gets the, the better side of the shtick. You get fucked on the regular. Damn, that didn't even connect. 
Oh my god, what is this fucking tracking? He's doing the hibbity dibbity. He's still a one now. Every time you attack, it's like a chess game and just kind of comes down to who's lucky enough to come out on top. And get some bitches. I mean, there's more enemies in here. Corrosive. So that's what she looks like when she's power stancing without anything in her hand. Look at that. Fucking nasty. This is where he puts all these failed experiments. Jesus Christ. My experiments are not a failure. We didn't ever get the other ring of blades. What's that about? I need my blades. It's pretty minor, but still. And I'd like to get the ring of steel protection. Also pretty minor. But it's the little things that kind of might save you from death. Are you sure there was like a bonfire around here somewhere? I ain't lying. Why are you lying? Maybe it's in behind here. Oh my god. Why the fuck are you lying? Maybe it's in here. Oh, I hope it's not in here. I think it actually might be there, but you gotta go like the long way around to get it. Oh yeah. I think it's when you come to this guy, they start breaking out. They're gonna break out. Come on. Where is this one? Where's that bonfire? Don't be afraid. Come here, bitch. Come on, I know you're there. This guy's gonna break out of his cage, too. Better off to attack this big old shite while you can. Just gotta keep teasing that ass. Works every time. 97% of the time. Most of the time. Alright. Wakey wakey. Eggs and bakey. Naughty naughty. Who's gonna fix that wall? Who's gonna fix my sink? That mimic always laughing is so annoying. Oh, one of the cursed frogs broke out. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I shall not be petrified by the likes of you. No! Oh my god, my petrification! Oh my god, it was right there. Holy mother of Christ, that was amazing. Whew. That would have been an instant death. A dirty bastard, I'd love to know where he came from. One of the smaller cages, probably. Oh my god. And we got this little gobshite trying to break out of this door. If you just step away and let me open the door, we could have a chat. What a dumbass, Wilbur. Where's he going now, huh? Going around a long way. Mm -hmm. Alright. Probably fell down into the corrosive nastiness. Now he's coming around this way. He's probably gonna come out this door down here. Shit, I don't know where the fuck he went. Where'd you go, dumbass? Coming up here? Are you that much of a dumbass? No, oh, I'm not going on there. Yeah, I'd be tripping balls. Balls. These are my balls. F no, he's hiding behind the door like a little visual. Unti visual. Guten tag visual. Look at this mess. All dear hammer. Look at this. These are all giants, by the way. Yes. After the war with the giants, the sick son of a bitch went and experimented on them. Doesn't that sound kind of familiar? Mm-hmm. Come over from their native land. You start to see how the war started. 
It wasn't a war at all. It was a ruse, a setup by tall, dumb, and bitchy Queen Nisandra hatched the scheme. Started a war just so she could get everything. It's like those stories you hear of partners killing each other so of just getting a divorce because it's against their religion. But murder's fine. Absolute knob goblins. Damn, right beside the dragon. He built his keep right beside the dragon place as well, which is another sign of him experiment. Because in in the lore of most of the Dark Souls games, the dragons are the gods, the true gods. All right, I wonder how far he aggro. I'd rather not fight an NPC and oh, oh, the titty. Oh no, he's gonna break all the other cages. Mama, I love you. All right, let's fight this NPC fight in here. Come! Bring forward, fight me! I am the most beautiful woman on the planet! Miss Universe! Yes! Good God, it's like a shriveled up ball sack. Hey, is he coming down? Are they fighting each other? So something be going on down here. Y'all getting dirty nasty, aren't you? Where's the NPC? He went over and broke that wall for me. I appreciate you, but now I can't get through. Move. Move thy butthole. Try finger, butthole. No, it's in halves. Butthole. Are you gonna fight? You better fight for your right to butthole. Damn, that's the first time he hasn't done that. You gotta move that butthole. Yeah. No. Oh, this one doesn't really want to sit down at all. Why don't you want to sit down? You look tired. Take a weight off that ass. Finish him. Whoa. Whoa, no! The fucking mage! No, no, no. I hate magic so much. He stun locked me. Oh, I hate magic. I hate it. Oh, it's so stupid. He's able to just sit in the other room, just do blip, just a tiny little fart of gas, and it stun locks you to death. Oh, wow. That's the type of thing you'll get when you book a holiday to Drang Lake. Welcome, welcome. See all the sights. See the giant plague. See the giant fucking dragon. God fucking damn it. That's so annoying. What a piss poor death. I hate that. You're gonna die, die right. Die well, sir. Die well. In a good mono e mono fight. Put down the goddamn blue magic shits. Fight, like, fight me like a man. Like Russia. Fight me like a man. So annoying. Good lord. Ugh. It's kind of like an embarrassing death. That's how I feel about them. Because it's just blue shit coming towards you. So what what, what, what end up killing you in the end? Ah, oh, it's this wave of blue shit. Damn, yeah, that's got me too. I got the whole family that one, the blue shit. No. Fight me. You don't see me using blue shits and dark shits and yeah, all sorts of shits. My shits are normal shits. Now I gotta fight through all that again. Because of one little bit of magic. Bollocks. Bollocks. Even these little shits, too. Shipping on some blue shits. I don't get that. You're able to just wave your shield and it takes half my health? What? What? What you talking about, Wemus? Now we have to fight. Is it three more of these? Gotta be careful because these all, uh. They're inside here. Shipping on some blue milk. Oh, there he is. Were you over there all this time? You little toad bastard. Damn, look at you go, Bobby. I like how friendly fire is turned off for these guys. Drop that ass. 
jam, I rolled out of there and the computer said no. Drop thine ash to see thine butthole. You gotta be almost like right on the tail. He'll go, oh, I should just sit back down. You're right there. Not the most cleverest AI, but he hits so hard, we don't even, we don't blame him. You know? He's, uh, you know, he's, he's part of the outside part of the family. Twice removed from Tesco's, but we couldn't keep him. He's still there. Alright, that other bass is probably gonna spawn as well. Freaking invader magic. Come on. You're better than that, Dark Souls. Leave the magic to the Harry Potheads. The Harry Potheads. Now that's real magic. Them shrooms. It's pretty much is just. It's not even a laboratory. Nice shot, dude. It's pretty much one giant torture chamber, masquerading as research. You okay? Whoa, he got me! Oh, that's a death. He's gonna eat my head now. Yeah! Now there's a good death. Nice. He really gnawed on that thing. See, that's a good death. I'll take that. Hell yes! Gary Barlow, I'll take that shit. Yes. I'm okay with that. That's a cool death. Just magic splooge from across the room, the hallway. You're not even fighting the guy. Shit. Yes. I love when they butter their ass to do cool animations like picking you up, eating you. It's where he was biting into a piece of taffy. But no, that's your head. That's your head. Nice. It could be taffy. Just kind of feel a bit wobbly up there, didn't it? Run! So this is kind of like the Duke's archives. You can pretty much... Even Dark Souls 3 is the same as well. You can almost um, place each area be inspired by another one from another game. I know that seems like everybody's copying everybody's homework in this world, but I don't know, it works. It works because it works with the lower. That's how it works, right? Oh, fuck, I'm gonna do that. It's kinda cool, though. We just grinded down the rail. From software fans like me, we call it it's lower building, bitch. Anyone else like, you just copy dead man's homework. Lower! It's lower. L U R I. -E. That that's lure. Lower. <laughs> I ain't said I was the best beller in the world. Now won't let me up here. We may have to free our little friend. Dude, I did this like three times in a row. No problem. Or easy boss. Easy clap. Oh, just fucking ride the rail, man. This summer, me and my friends will all ride the rail. All right. Freedom. This may be what summons the dragon. Look, I freed you, my little psychops buddy. But no, instead you fall on me and try and kill me. You don't understand how this works. We're supposed to, we're supposed to be French. French! Friend? Boss wanker? It's either one or the other. There's no in-betweens in life. You're either friendly or you're a boss wanker. You don't want to be a bus wanker. Sometimes we're all bus wankers. It's a passage through life. Everyone gets their turn of being a bus wanker. Problem with that phrase, it sounds like you're having a wank on the bus, but it's not. It just generally means you use the bus. Get out of my fridge! Absolute boss wanker. When they fall back, they almost do it like uh, they're rolling. Because they can really push their body. Same when they're sitting down. Do you see that? Really push their body forward. Because he's nearly in the wall. He's in the wall! Just painting beautiful Bob Ross paintings. With booty taint. No one asked for this. It still goes to the highest bidder. Booty taint! Clap hands! Slap hands! 
This Christmas I got my whole family booty tinked. Booty call was such a good movie. Jimmy Fox. Come on, baby. Oh, mama. Stunk. Lately with the Elgato playing up and other bollocks happening, even if I wanted to do like a 12 hour stream or 24 hour stream, I don't think I fucking could. Technology has been failing me lately. Shucks. Now how people do it. A lot of them I've noticed still have to stop and start it, and that's, that's cool too. Alright, come on. Nevlon. Govlon and Nevlon. You like? I hear you like magic. Well, watch it. I'm going to show you a bit of magic, right? It's me taking these blades and fucking trouncing you with it. Just, she almost killed me one spell. Disgusting. Broken ash, yes. Where's the fun in that? Boop. It takes. The problem is, it just takes no skill. That's that, that's what annoys me about it. But they're able to pop off something so powerful in two seconds. There's just no skill. Okay, I think. Let's see. How do, how do we get in here? One of these should let us in, right? Let us in. I think we actually jump through one of the pink blocks. Shouldn't there be a door? Maybe we were meant to let him break through them. We broke through that one. There's nothing else in here. Just our little buddy boy over here. One of his little pets. Can't break that. Pretty sure there was something behind this. Wasn't it? Nah. Anyway, how do we? How do we do this? the way bone saw is ready oh fuck I probably shouldn't have raised that cyclops huh Oh well. Way away, away, away from me. God, I love side users. I love using the side too. That's a fun build. That's also a good dex build. Sides are really good. They're like second best to katanas. If you like the sides, the side, side. There's a lot of fucking shit, huh? Alright, we're gonna have to go power stance mode. <laughs> nice, we both traded blows there. Now you're stuck in a corner, bitch. Damn, what way did you turn? Oh yeah, that one's dangerous. That can finish you off pretty quick. So every time we light one of these, there's a little guardian to help us out. Nice. Trying to stop us from drinking. Lovely. Oh, that's so ridiculous. Fucking stun lock move. He just slices and dices you and you're stuck in your animation. So good. 
Usually you only get that animation when your stamina is gone, but in some cases like that, the AI knows it very well. They, when you see how the AI play, like they play better than any person can, in, in, in my opinion. Because the thing is, they're kind of not playing with a, a full stack, they're kind of cheating a little bit, you know? Because they know how, how to uh, roll against and fight against every move. They do it almost like you're like, damn, how did he know I was going to do that? All AI predictions and stuff. It's, it's genius. That's something that, no matter how good a player they are, you're not going to be as fast as that. Oh, it's one of those exploding lizards. Those exploders. New is connected to the bone dragon. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I shouldn't have fucking triggered these guys. God damn it. My brain is starting to turn to that old chestnut. That old mushy stuff between your ears. Yeah, they're just gonna aggro the whole way. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake! Ugh. I never fucking drink. Check and kiss my ass. Does not seem to make me comfortable anymore. I have to look into another one. Another one. Maybe the cushion's gone, I don't know. We start to wonder is all that lumbar support and all those cushions and all that. It's all just a scam because anytime I've got a chair with a little extra cushion that comes in it, oh man, I ripped that shit off immediately. It's such a pain in the ass. I suppose what it's trying to do is correct your posture and if it's painful to do so. I should go like to a fucking chiropractor or some shit. Cyclops, I am sick of fighting your kind. Can't we be friends? We can laugh about how big your ass is. Why can't we be friends? I wanna kill you! You leave me no choice, huh? Okay, where's the rest of these? This guy gonna respawn again, our little side friend? I wouldn't mind fighting him again. I like fighting side. Yeah, yes. Dias! I don't know if you, you even need to fight him, but it's a matter of motherfucking principle now at this point. Now, how does that hit me? See what I'm saying? They, they can just fly through anything. Oh man, I hate that. If you do an attack after roll, the game does not always. Oh yeah. Damn, that's just an inst. I might have to use a shield against him. That's an instant stun lock. That's a very special move. That one. Oof. I must have sat up weird there. Fucked up my collarbone. It's crazy. No matter how old you get old breaks and fucked up bones and injuries you come up at the weirdest time they're all phantom pains yeah so without having a shield there he's getting that uh, that stun lock where he, he spins the side and then I'm trapped in that animation it's fucking genius so yeah you may have to use a shield against him because he's just gonna keep getting that off for free it's like a uh, parrying without the other person having to attack. Free parries. Oh, fuck. Fight this cunt again. No, he's gone. Baby girl, he's gone. Come on, my little side bro. Sides for life. So cool.
How does he know like to do that? It's crazy cool. Such impressive AI. Yo, he, he keeps trying to do it, a cheeky beggar. 40k souls, I better not just leave them on the ground. You good, son? You good, you got you got the games. But have you got the moxie? Oh my god, that, that move! Every time that move. Cheeky beggar. It's such an insta win button. What a cheeky little shite. You can't even block it or anything. It's just like. It even walks away. The cheek, the absolute disrespect. Good for you, you little bitch. Wish I had a fucking insta win button, huh? You little shit. I'd love to see the kind of code behind the uh, the NPC or the invade, whatever you want to call them. NPC battles. Because that shit is cool, man. It's like watching the uh, actual like artificial brain at work. Lovely. Instantly does it. What a douchebag. So how do you get away with using that move over and over again? Yeah, I don't care. They'll spam. Spam in a can. That move still gets you when you block. I'll tell you what we're working with here. It's an overhead slash. Block don't matter. There he is again. Look, constantly doing that fucking spin. Spin to win. People wonder why you use sides in PvP. Guys, you can do stupid shit like that. Come on. Come on. I'm like, how does he know to roll away from that? Genius! Tried it again. No spin to win, do you hear me? He actually flinched that time, that's a first. We both missed there. But my miss is worse because you have way more health than anyone else in the game. He's only blocking with a weapon, like it shouldn't be that good in protection. Oh, I tried to do the spin attack. Immediately got another one off. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. You gotta learn some new moves. He's gonna shish kebab me all, the whole time. Now, he should be dead there. Fuck. He couldn't have rolled perfectly through that. Oh, of course. Oh, he tried it again. Jesus, this guy is something else. There you go, bitch. As soon as your health goes to a certain level, the AI must say, do that spin move and it also it does the spin and then i made you like a little side slash very very clever crazy ai I'm telling you there's nothing like the ai in, in in dark souls games because usually what they do is they all these games will write one ai program and it'll do all of the enemies right but think about what the fuck they're doing here every single enemy has its own little ai pattern it's cool uh, it should be more down here. I will always suck at those fucking NPC fights, just the way it is. They have like 6, 7k health. Like, truly mini bosses. So the odds are forever stacked against you. There's another one. Here we go. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I gotta light, light the torch off this one. Come on, baby. So I think there's like four you do, and then it wakes up the bone dragon. I probably didn't even need to kill this guy, so 
Always with the unneeded deaths. It's like when you chase after a an item that you know you don't need, but ah, oh, you're so fucking drawn to it. See, now the torch has four hours of life on it. Four hours. Two dollars. Four. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's not enough to squeeze by. I'm sorry. You could just stand sideways, but we don't allow that. You don't see many games doing the all like shimmy to get past things. It's always shimmy for a. Uh, oh, no, it's the same thing. Shimmy for a load screen, you know? Shaky bag. Oh, there it is again. Oh, fucking douchebag! You gotta do another move, man. Ah. It seems to be one like smooth move as well. Such an insta, insta kill. Cause I can't roll away. I can't move. It's stun lock. Ah. And I see it happening, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck it, we're fucked. You, s you celebrate your death kind of well before happens because you know once he's done that move it's over you dirty bastard you light the torch from here no that's a bit unusual that's a first that's a fucking first man no no my shells I need those shells I was gonna buy a new dress out of them Look at that perfect dodge you did there. Through my attack. Le douchebag. Time for your spinning attack. That all they teach you. Let me try to get the backstab off there. As have I. That should be a backstab. Oh, fuck off, game. Fuck off. I am so done with that guy. That should have been a backstab right behind him. Oh. Fucking slippery NPC backstabs. The window for their backstab is like their back, but a little bit smaller. So silly. And he's wearing a cape, so yeah, whatever calculator goes off there, it did not, did not work that time. Someone needs to fire the Casio AI calculator. He drunk behind the wheel. I saw him. My calculator drunk. It keeps saying boobs. Boobs. You know, it is wrong. It should say moves. You know, like your dad's. What the fuck? What the fuck? Let's see. Where's this other lantern? My oh, you little know, spin bastard. This ain't Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Misfortune. Oh, you're not gonna fucking light it? Whatever. Whatever game. Loading damn animations. Let's go. Come on, I want to get to the dragon place. Too busy trying to. I should just run to the next area. Let's go fight some dragons. Why do I bother? Can't help myself. Hello there. Look, he immediately tried to spin an attack. Oh, my douchebag. The story of a little douchebag. Tried the same move over and over again. Probably down ones with the, the mirror knights as well. That's behind here, is it? Where's the damn lantern? You guys seen some damn lanterns around here? Oh my god, who's gonna clean up all this glass? That's seven year bad luck, you sons of bitches. It ain't my bad luck. Take it! Oh my god, I never get over. Never get over how fast NPCs catch up to you. Should be scurry. 
Because you just mind your fucking business and they're, they're all up on you. Shouldn't be that fast. My day, everybody just walked. Now everybody's running everywhere. Never slow down and smell the farts. Oh, oh, oh Grandpa, I thought you were t teaching us a, a life lesson. No, it's a, it's a smelly lesson. You should know by now, if you leave me alone for five minutes, I'm gonna shit myself. You said it was a fart. No, I followed through. You better change my diaper, you little shithead. The old follow through, huh? Where's these other fucking lanterns? Sipping on some blue milk. Do y'all know where the lanterns are? Bussy. God damn it. Should be one on each level. I thought that was there. there. I cannot find them. I'm gonna cruise back. Back. Maybe they meant in here as well. Mayhaps. I better not put the fucking torch away. Oh, we tried to sneak in, but I'm sorry you don't know the special password. I can tell you. Just go fuck yourself. No, I don't. I don't think the lanterns were in here. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Who the fuck are you, mate? Is that forlorn? Who the fuck are you? Who asked? Who are you? Who are you? Why are you here? Just to suffer? Just to watch me kill you? You call that PvP? I'ma piss on you. Call that PvP. Very important piss. If you wake up some of them monsters, I'm gonna be very disappointed in you. Boy, I can read you like a Russian novel. Oh, he tried to do a little flippy dippy, huh? Then he got out of dodge because he left himself wide open. Huh? 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 Come on. Come on. You think they lock on to us like we lock on to them? Or is it completely separate? What do you think? I always wonder because they really do just be hanging out there, you know? What? He took no damage for that? It was like a perfect backstab. Damn, boy. You must teach me the way of the AI, how you get away with all this stuff. Oh, look at this. I'm telling you, well trained. Should have been a second hit. Nice! Follow through! It should have been a backstab. It's not gonna be a backstab, don't load the animation. Dude. Don't fucking care at that point. He's blocking with the thing? Interesting. Dude, I spend more time on those damn fucking NPC fights than anything else. Man, he's releasing all this shit. He's releasing his SoundCloud album right now. Don't hit the picture. No. I was priceless. Oh, he tried something different there. This will get you killed. The player character, not the Cyclops. Oh, God. I'm losing out to the chair. You. Oh, I thought he was alive. Alright, one more lantern that opens up whatever. Where are you?
Dude, I got pissed like a racehorse. Sit that ass down. Bring that ass to the back with a boom, boom, boom. the last lantern la, 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 la. I don't even get into any of these rooms until we do that it's not even fucking worth it honestly and for me oh and for me that one this guys are chilling and open this Where's the room we can open? Is this it? They close it every time? What the tit? It's been too many years since I've done all this. Stance. Oh, I didn't like that, did you? A lot of damage, bitch. This guy's much more manageable than all sight. At least this guy doesn't spam the same attacks. They do seem to block with weapons, though. That's uh, very odd to me. Oh, we got a backstab on me. Nice. Oh, I should be dead. Immediately goes in for a very greedy second attack. I gotta heal my ass because that back attack was so tasty. Playing some smite. Everybody should be doing the, doing the fight. If you play some smite, we will spam all night. I fucking hate the way it stops the animation of drinking. Just continue, you know, even if you're gonna take the hit. Just drink. That's why we. We actually bothered our ass to drink in the first place. What a dodge! Well earned. Well earned. That one wasn't. Oh, that one was. Jeez, he's getting good at the dodges. I want to get one juicy backstab. Oh my god, I got randomly stun locked there. I think I'm dead. Yeah. Fuck! That was the weirdest stun lock ever. Ah! So he managed to get two Weasley hits in there. That was enough to bring me down. Golly. Golly. I wonder why it stone locked me. Probably poise. Who knows. Those are the moments where you have to scratch your head. Fucking made up calculator of poised versus the damage of his swords. So you're just stuck there looking at him. It's one of the weirder stats for sure. Because in real life, if you get hit by a sword, you might just be like clutching. You'd probably be dead anyway, but still, you're not going to stand around going, fuck. Oh. Stand there praying. Oh. Alright, shouldn't this be all unlocked now? Maybe you have to kill the NPCs as well as that part of the deal. I didn't sign up for this shit. You probably do. It's Dark Souls. Doesn't count unless the NPCs are dead too. That's shit. Dude, no matter how much damage I am doing, to go up against the NPC with like fucking 10k health. Jesus Christ! What the hell was that? 
Where does this guy show up? Gotta be careful, man. These NPC fights will start getting in the way of normal fights. Never seen a little frog actually do that before. It's not the attack I wanted you to do, dumbass. Wouldn't do that kick if you asked him. Health does not belong about taking a nosedive. Holy. Alright. See, where's the guy we were trying to fight? Oh, he's down in the in the gunk. I didn't need to come over here. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't even need to be doing this. I should just continue on. Fuck. Why do I do these things? What a time sink for no fucking reason. Otherwise, just to get the... And you try to get me from across the door. Fucking backstab animation. No, you cannot. God, they always have perfect rolls. Crispy bread rolls for everybody. Mine, not so much. I want them crispy bread rolls. I think we all deserve some crispy bread rolls. I'm gonna have some chili after this stream. Yo, man. Alright, I think we have to kill our side friend. So to send two of the great sword after you and then the two of the side. Nice. Horrendous! Was there even one mid- Oh my god, there he is! Pleased to meet you! Let's not aggravate the uh, poison frog. The basilisk, because they're a pain in the tidy whities I might have to go back to shield with this guy because they are exceptionally trolly. Fucking run now, real estate here. Trying to change equipment. You're fucking running. Why was he outside the door? Smell me. Where are you going backwards? Come up. Equip the shield, damn it. And now you get that weird glitch when you're power stancing. When you have a shield. Should have been a healthy roll. Nice. Sometimes the AI gets greedy and you gotta punish it. And sometimes he does the same spammy attack like that. I thought you were better. Better than your brethren. But you are not. Although, like, backstabbing is OP, I don't find it to be too shitty because you ha it takes so long to lock on. And it usually is a reward for the enemy fucking up, right? You know? So exposing their back. Well, it doesn't always mean it works either. Do 
Okay, now he gets your health to that level. And then he's like, I'm gonna finish the fucking job with a spin attack. Maybe not. This one's act this AI is work acting weird. Oh my god, that was very strange. I wanna believe, as much as it sounds ridiculous, that every NPC evasion is being actually controlled by a member of From Software. I know that sounds ridiculous. But honest to God, sometimes they do the most weirdest human feeling things, you know? That's, as I said, it's a good sign of good AI, but... Okay, oh, here we go. Wake up! The Bone Dragon. By the gods! Bye bye. No, sadly, he never comes back. Really cool. It would have been better if they just set off that animation. I think maybe in the original that's what they did. I feel like I remember getting jump scared by that the first time. Now we can open all the doors. Not fucking worth it. Not fucking worth it. The, the lens it takes me to kill NPCs. They're harder than any boss. I'll stand by that. Because a boss has move sets. A boss can be red, can be beat, can be found wanting. But these NPCs can do the craziest shit with those rolls. They drive you to drink. Roll right through an attack. Well, this mustn't be the one with the bumpware. Don't we have to go in here to get uh, something? Oh, the gargoyles are back. I need to switch over to Power Stance Charlie. Oh, fucking mages. He's about to heal, too. Motherfucking mages. Happy birthday, Cyber. Motherfucking mages. I don't like no mages. It's your birthday, you're gonna love them mages. Mages for the ages. I can't move right now. Holy balls, that was weird. Holy balls. In a vice grip. If I was playing Dungeons and Dragons, I would make up the dirtiest, filthiest, weirdest shit. You find your balls in a vice grip. What do you do? Oh my god. Okay, something's going on. I just drank and nothing happened there. What is going on? Have I really actually broken this game? And I break games for a living, but just take the piss. I bitch. Look, it's it's like the uh, the magus, wasn't it? The, the prowling magus. See, you can see connections to motherfucker. Oh, look! I think this is a, a mimic. Look, can you see the teeth? Do you see the teeth? More importantly, do you see the little claps? The clasp? I can never say that right. Claps? Clap? Clasp? Clap? Fucking English language. I'd rather speak in my native potato. Anyway, the little clasp means that, uh, it's a motherfucking mimic, y'all. Oh, he still gets me. Damn. When you spend all your money and you don't have uh, any money for the bus ride home. I spent all my stamina and I had none left to roll. Mother. Dude, all these NPC fights have taken like 10 deaths. Swear to God. If you've guessed in the hundreds, I'm telling you, you'd be sitting back, scratching your balls, very happy with your choice right now. Woohoo! Officially died more times to the NPC fights than actual bosses. Well, I think the only boss that truly caused me ridiculous trouble so far was it, uh, let me see, the gargoyles. The gargoyles fucking wrecked my life. Like they mostly do. But Jesus Christ, this was uh, exceptional. Usually maybe three is the average for me. You know, so you always get like, first is like, oh, this is how they're gonna fuck you. Second, this is how they're gonna fuck your mom. And then finally, the third try, this is how you're gonna fuck them. Hell yeah. It's education right there. But this took a lot longer. This is why uh, the dex build can take a long time to pay off, but when it does, oh boy, does it. Bet you that mage is back as well. 
I'm maging. He's throwing black shit at us again. Yay. So what, what school of magic is throwing black balls of shade at me? It must be a really fancy school. Oh. Here we fucking crap. Great. And then you do another one? Ah, you're just full of tricks and bullshit. If I was you lads, I'd back the fuck up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. I will not die to magic. Not like this. I'm gonna just stirred the. The sleeping gargoyle. That can't be good. Is that what you call it, the gargoyle? Yes. Hard as a rock and it's got big wings. Wait, what? Are we are we talking about the same thing here? I can't remember. Oh Lord Jesus, are you okay, sir? Is everything all right? This is what happens in the changing room. Good God, is that like when Donkey Donkey fucked that dragon in Shrek? No more AOEs. All right, have you broken out? No, that gargoyle is permanently stuck. What are you throwing at me? Keep that nasty shit to yourself. Playing some smite. Come on, put the shield down. I ain't here to fucking play with this nonsense. Oh my God. Stunk. That's what you get for being a little shield head. Who's a little bastard? You're a little bastard. What? No way! No way, man! What the fuck? From behind! It dragged my character forward. Oh my god. Oh my god, thank you, Dark Souls. I was behind the mimic. There's no way I would have to have gone through the floor and dragged out into the front. That is fucking hilarious. And just my luck. I was behind him. There's no way. That's fucking crazy. I was like, uh, the animation when he burst out of the chest. Assumed that just anything in the vicinity is killed that way. Holy hell, that's so silly. Damn, this mimic really wants to, like, shout out his mom or something. Look, mom, I killed him. I love you. Mama Mimic. God, that's so silly. That's so silly. You're gonna have it. I, I, that's why I pity people doing like no death runs, no hit runs, all that kind of stuff. How how do you account for that shite? To ruin a run on Jankums. Net not make sense. Okay, apparently all he does is just run up and jump on you. Play it smite. Everybody should be my game. Play it smite. No! I actually hit him there, but it didn't knock him out of the, uh, the animation of the AoE blast. AoE blast. In a fucking Dark Souls. I'm gonna die to shitty magic. I hate that. Holy m how are they doing so much damage? They're shitty little, little dudes. I've got to figure out what is up with my damage output. Or my my defense. Cause these are just common little enemies. The fact that I could possibly be killed by that. Pathetic. I like how they back up and heal them, cheeky beggars, huh? It's probably their magic weapon as well. See, it always comes down to that. That's the issue I had with Neo. Once Neo introduced the elements in the later game, I was like, yep, yeah, they're just one shot of me because they're wind element. And that's usually when a game is run out of ideas. It's starting to make that kind of stuff too OP. Alright, what's the story of this mimic? Why are you getting away with murder here, literally? Hmm? Not from behind. Look at this dude. Oh my god, I think I was riding on top of him there for a second. Hello, OGG. How's it going, man? How have you been? Hope you're doing well. 
Greetings and salutations. You're up late, sir. Yeah, we're, we're on a, on the grind. We finish Dark Souls. Souls, but you're dark. We're doing a cheeky giveaway as well. You're welcome to join. You just need 1,000 channel points down the bottom. And you can be in for a chance to win Elden Ring. Or whatever you want, really. It's just to the value of Elden Ring. But whatever you do with that money is up to you. All you have to do is guess uh, how many times you think I have died throughout this playthrough. By the end, we'll have a look and the closest wins. Yeah, see? Yeah. This is just Mimic City up in here. This guy does not take damage. But he will take Visa. Whenever they die, it sounds as they're saying, Mommy. I don't know why. I've always thought that. I've always felt that deep down the side. Mm. This is also a mimic. Tits out for the mimics, I suppose. He's been making mimics. <laughs> Play engines, mate. Alright, you're better to have him. Yeah, you don't want him doing this. Because he will still eat you and kill you in one hit doing this. You're better off having them. They really are monstrosities. Okay. This room really is heinous, huh? Anything else? Anything else? What's this do? Huh? Oh. Oh, that lower all the cages. Uh oh. Yes, it did. It opened all the cages. Oh my god! Wow. Baby cakes. Anyone else would be excited for that. It's like, hey, more enemies, more items. Not me. I got shit to do. Yeah, I hope you've been well. I know you've been uh, going through a lot of stuff, medical stuff. Hopefully it all came out right. 93,000 souls. That's usually when you know you're like in the middle of stuff. So just out of nowhere, I'll just keep boom and you go straight into an absolute butamish dragon area. Hold on, I didn't find the... It's so beautiful out here. Look at this. I didn't find the bonfire in there. Holy tits. Well, let's just hope I don't die here. Literally like a dragon perch. It's huge! Like, you don't think those pillars are big? Check that out. Just because this one is far away. Far I've got two heels. Fuck it. Let's bounce. I ain't no bitch! Guardian dragon! Bring it up! Alright, no... No hits. We already fought one of these, anyway. Oh no, he's doing flames. That could kill us. Oh no, maybe he doesn't do flames. No, I think he is. Fucking hate magic, man! Look at that shit! How do you do so much damage, sir? Huh? Teach me the ways! Oh yeah, I remember this now. And he just flames everything, right? You can fall off the edge, too. Come on, come back down, dirt. I've always found that you're very uh, down, dirt. Oh, yeah, he actually turns his body. I always forget that part. Turns his body while he uh, while he stamps it. Oh my God! I just can't do that. For fuck's sake! Ugh. How does fire do that much damage? Where's the calculator? Get it out. So silly, man. I put so many points into HP and it still kills me in two hits. Don't know what to say anymore. Don't know what to say. The monkey won't do. I was way stronger at this point in the other playthrough. I don't know what the fuck the difference is. I feel like I'm playing New Game Plus. I really do. It's the weirdest fucking thing. That is... Unnatural. Usually you do maybe quarter damage, not this. That's crazy levels. Because my health's up to like 1500 or something like that, right? So if you imagine that, that means the fire attack is doing 750 damage of health. Like, what? That's not on. That's not. It's not real, man. 
That'd make it one of the most powerful fucking attacks in the game. All because it's fucking fire. Oh no, they're all free now. Freedom! They don't go back in their box. You gotta go back in your special box. Black Witch's Staff. Look at the mess we have to deal with now. Oh no, and this thing's meant to like break your health. Oh, I should never pull that lever. Follow the lever. How did you know I was gonna roll twice? You stupid bastard. This thing is never gonna stop using this, is it? Roll back and roll past and hope for the best. Fucking dare! Oh, we got one of our abominations. They seem to have taken a lot of those out of the game. It was sad. Ah, for crying out loud. A little frog shouldn't be able to stamp us on the ground like that. Yeah, we've just turned this place into a fucking house of horrors. This is great. How is the gargoyle out already? And this fucker keeps coming back! I hate magic! It really is a house of horrors. Where's the damn bonfire that used to be here? It used to be a bonfire. Probably on the left side, maybe? Not really a dragon at all, are you? Don't start with the fire. Oh, come on. Damn. You get trapped in that, it's game over, Sally. No, not again, please. Not again! Fuck your fucking fire, bitch! Oh my god, what what is this? Why are you spamming fire? No, you see, we have a little bit of fun on the ground. But you're spamming. Oh no! Stop spamming fire! Really? Spam fire till the cows come home. Oh, that didn't even fucking connect. No, none of my moves are connecting. Worst thing is about how how OP fire is that it'll end the fight. You've even been hit once before. That's too much. There you go. See, try and take a couple of bites out of me like a normal dragon. No, yeah, time for fire. You got like heartburn or something, do you, baby? I'm gonna get you some Pepto Bismol and some gummy bears, okay? Gummy worms. You like gummy worms better? I get your gummy worms. Will you stop with the fucking fire? Are you not getting gummy worms? You some bit There you go. See gummy worms. Holy mother of Jesus! Oh, he's going for it. Still got me from there. You are a gummy dragon. You are a gummy dragon. There you go. See, this is the spiral you want. Oh dear. Oh, I'm probably dead. Fucking fire! What you got now? How about trying some other attacks? No? Just asking for my friend. Nice, that was kinda cool. Coming straight for us! Hey, Forrest! They're coming straight for us! How many souls is she gonna give me? 26,000? 37,000! Wow. That's real nice. We're up to 133,000 souls. That'd buy you a nice weekend at Bernie's. Damn. Alright, let's head up here, this place is beautiful, but it's also very toxic, toxic, pretty much every enemy becomes one of those dragons. But a lot of crystal lizards as well, so it makes you, it begs the question, um, Uh, does, the, does maybe the crystal lizards are born or something from the dragons or something like that? <clears throat> you know, they're like little babies or something. 
Who knows? They're all in the reptilian family, right? So I just realized that the Elgato hasn't fucked up in a while, but now I'm gonna jinx it, so. Yeah. Yeah, because we've been going for like six hours. Hello? Elevator now open! I'm stuck in the elevator! I wonder what the maintenance man would look like in Dark Souls. Like Soul of Cinder. What is it? I'm busy getting ready for the next game. Here we go. Dragon Airy. So pretty. Full of drakes flying around. Look at this. Damn. It's own little castle as well. Very cool. This is where they all come together and fuck. I mean, you know, you gotta say it how it is. And the maiden, of course, born from a dragon. Must have been weird. Bearer of the curse. Long have I awaited one such as you. One who might shatter the shackles of fate. One who can set me free. Bearer of the curse. It was my own manifestation that led you here. The ancient dragon has watched over the world for eons past. Take this. The aged fetter. So this works like a homeward bone, but never gets destroyed. So you can just pretty much homeward bone forever now. Pretty cool. God help her. The shackles of fate to free her. Like the fire keepers before in another life. Sadly, she is stuck guiding more and more people to see can they uh, break this never ending cycle. This place is so cool. It's exactly how you'd imagine, like, where dragons live and born and all that. Bear of the curse. Sounds so tired. God bless her. Yeah. Alright, I definitely put myself in a hole, but it's all good. It's all good. We might as well uh, do what we set out to do here. We'll fight the ancient. There she's there again. Wow. Bear until I don't think there's anything that really ups your defense or any of that kind of stuff either. You know? I don't know. Vitality, maybe? No, see, that doesn't help anything but your... Oh, it does there a little bit. It's not great, though. Jeez, my level is huge. It's not helping as much. I still feel as weak as a kitten. Everything hurts. It shouldn't hurt that much. It should definitely hurt, though. Maybe we do a little bit of something, something here. What can I do? Do six levels, so I put three into vitality. This will allow us to at least wear more armor, right? Let's try that. No, I, I've never believed in it. Every time I go back to my jewel, the shit goes down. And so oh, let's hope there's no one here. Okay, uh, and I mean three more. Why did it stop there? I wasn't finished, bitch. Bitch. All right, Dex is now there. That's as high as I'm gonna get that. But we can still put into strength. That will help. Because our uh, the Uchikatana scales with both a little bit. Bear of the curse, I'm bringing you a hearse. Cause you keep on dying, Cyber. I died to the stupid shit. Walk in the boss, all gravy, baby. But the goddamn NPCs on the way. Ten deaths. Look how big this game is. So look, you can see these are all usually connected to the DLC. This place is cool. I think so you have to take down three dragons. And you'll fight the ancient dragon, which is massive. And you're meant to just kind of talk to him. I beat the shit out of him. Hell yeah. A lot of rope bridges. Gone bye bye. Kaput. Kaput. This guy, I think, is a fragrant branch of yore. It's such a weird thing. Like, so you save these guys and it unblocks the path. But they immediately attack you. No tanks, no nothing. But yet their character model still blocks the fucking way. Isn't that wild? So there is... But that's just... There's no... It's not really much thought process with those guys. Don't do it! Hell yeah. This is where all the crystal lizards come to be born. Here's some dragon eggs. You might not want to fuck with them. Psych! That's right, bitch. Baby mama gonna be pissed. I think they make you break them to go to certain areas, right? And what that does then gives you the vibe of, like, that's why the dragons are attacking you, because you got all baby dragon gunk on you. But not necessarily. Here we go. 
That's right, Mom. I don't kill your baby. Oh, baby. I can't see a fucking thing. That feels good. Oh, baby. Do the Watucci. Bum, bum. Like my little Lucy. That should kill it. Not quite. Nice. That did, though. Dearest Crystal Lizard. How you like them nuts? Alright, there's one done. Flame Quartz Ring. As you can imagine, that's pretty helpful around here, but uh, I don't know. I think if you don't destroy the eggs, something else happens. There's, every area seems to have a cool little thing going on. That's pretty impressive. But the game is able to do that. For sure. Flame Quartz Ring plus two. Where is it? Perhaps with fire protection, I assume? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. That's like it's like putting fucking salt on fire. It's like yeah, you've got enough of it. Drag into it. I think these eggs even break when you just walk into them. No, okay, go. Cool. I remember differently. Oh fuck. Yeah, there's three of those dragons. This guy's supposed to jump down. Look at them now. Yeah, they're supposed to jump down when you're minding your business. Interrupt your fight with the Dargon. What, what happens if they are the ones who destroy the eggs? Still counts like we did, doesn't it? But I did not. Girl, I'm gonna break all your fucking eggs. Oh, you stupid bastard. Oh no! Wait, that was weird. I didn't take damage and he didn't die. <laughs> Let's just not talk about that one, okay? <laughs> Is he down there? Oi! Billy! Stop staring at my nuts! Those are my nuts. Oh, do you know what? Those, these guys are not even meant to hurt you. They're meant to break your armor. Another little nod. This is where we come down, right? Okay, cool. Not get confused. We're heading over there. It looks like it's floating on a cloud. Make sure the dragons don't scoop you up while you're crossing the bridge. That would be terrible. This stuff looks like spikes. Fuck out of here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, mamacita. Oh, mamacita. Oh, you dirty ham sandwich. I'm stuck in a damn fucking time loop. I'll just keep hopping and skipping and jumping. Run for your motherfucking life! All my shit is breaking all fucking life! Mama! Don't you do it! Damn, they're so fast! Bro- Oh, my shit's broken. So when it actually breaks like that, instead of being at risk, you gotta go back to the blacksmith and fix it. It's not a matter of resting at a bonfire anymore. This shit's terminal. Okay, we could have had fun. No, he's gonna knock me off the edge. Oh, well done. Well done. Dude, the game didn't even like load any of the noises or the screams or anything. I was perfectly timed. Kind of fucked by the camera. Because once he moved, the circle around him changed and it kind of just forced the roll closer and closer to the edge. Which I appreciate, you know? Because we're, we're out here legended and edging it, boys. That's why locking on can get you killed. Just finished my classes. Very nice, very nice. What were you up to? What kind of classes? We're now in the Dragon Eyrie or whatever it's called. Air, Eyrie, Eyrie? No. We got one of them down. We're heading on to the next one. But I am reaching the end of my streaming power right now. Over 9,000. Getting very late. Every minute I waste, the another I don't spend sleeping. That's as simple as that. So we gotta get wig along. I wanted to do as far as the dark lurker, but it ain't 
It ain't happening, Sunny Jim. I, uh, too much. What kind of delayed ass uh, sound was that? Oh, sit down. Oh, sit down. Blow yourself up next to me. Sit down, down, down. Let's try and kill these before we go up and take on the dragon, Mark II. Fuck, I couldn't do anything there. That was weird. Like, the, we were stuck in each other's character model. Usually you gotta pay for that kind of action. Gaggity! Alright. Dragon number two. Dragon these notes across your mom's chin. Don't she love it? It ain't a sin. Cause it ain't cheating if your daddy don't find out. Daddy, no! Why did you do this? Stonks! Wake up! I have taken your dragon eggs now. I wish I'm taking your dragon nuts. Another, there's another example of the. Damn, she dumping that ass like Sasha Grape. Hey, 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 hey. Fucking mage, man. The bane of my existence. Hello, dearest existence. How are you doing? I'm kind of pissed off at mages right now. Same dude. Let's have a perfectly nice dragon fight. Oh my god, I could be dead here because of the fire. Yep! Fucking fire! I fucking hear this! By the way, this is with the flame quartz ring on. Suck my fucking ass, man. Fucking fire protection bullshit. That's like when you get that fucking house insurance. We cover, uh, oh, yeah, fire and theft and non fire. What's a non fire? when we pretend your house didn't burn down at all. It wasn't real. Fire can't hurt you if it's not real. Bullshit! Whip that shit off right now, God damn it! I swear to God, if you waste any more time with these fucking rings. It's fashion souls. Doesn't actually provide protection. Merely works out at, uh, at Paris Fashion Week. Whatever it was about Final Fantasy really got into the whole fashion. Wasn't there like a weird time where it was like Final Fantasy Paris Fashion Week or something? I'm like, can y'all get back and make a good game for once? We haven't had one in a while. Like, no, bitch, we're making, designing clothes and fucking food and restaurants. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. We haven't had a good game in years, please. Obviously, uh, that's uh, objective. You know, some people like them, some people don't. But if your majority of your audience don't like them, then maybe there's something wrong. We'll see how this uh, Chrono Cross... If they fuck up Chrono Cross, Chrono Cross has already had a bad run of it. God bless them. You know, people just were like, it's not it's not Chrono Trigger, I hate it. So a lot of people just didn't like it. Or didn't even play it. And it's a fucking awesome game. And now they're remastering it. And Square Enix and remasters go together like fucking liver and pickle juice. Somebody out there probably loves that. They suck at remastering games. I'm hoping they can fix it. But I doubt it. When they re-released uh, Chrono Trigger, it was a mobile port with the touch controls still on. And the font looked like uh, kindergarten shit. Comic Sans out the wazoo. Nothing like cherishing old memories with Comic Sans. You might say the font is such a little thing, and I, I understand where you're coming from. But it was almost illegible. Like it was that bad. That did not make things. That's what happens when you've got a very greedy company that don't give a bollocks about their old games. They just want that cheap cash grab by putting their game on Steam. That's where we don't let them away with us. Hopefully they'll get better. Trust me, it's, it's important that we tell companies we're not happy. Because otherwise they'll turn into EA. And we've already got enough EA with EA. No more EA, please. Where you've got this compounded issue of bad FIFA games for 10, 12 years. But people keep buying the ultimate team bullshit, so they'll never fix it. We can't have that. I won't go for that. Hey, where's my buddy? It's over there. Hi, buddy. How you doing? I missed you. Come here. Give me that green good juju. Oh, yeah. 31,000 souls. Yes, please. Jesus, man, you're doing a behemoth of a stream. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. Hello, Elaine. How you doing? 
I set out to do something tonight. I, I ain't going anywhere. We're all good. It's not two yet. It is two o'clock. God damn it. How is Elaine doing today? Hello. Elaine, while you're here, I'm doing a, a cheeky giveaway for, for Elden Ring. And I, I definitely would love the regulars to join in. But um, all you need is 1,000 channel points. And you go down and press the cyber coin button down the bottom. You'll see giveaway entry. One per person. All you have to do is guess how many debts you think I'll have at the end of this playthrough. Trust me, it's a lot. We just, we even got like a lot tonight. And yeah, whoever guesses the closest wins Elden Ring. Or, well, you know, I, I, what I'll do is I'll PayPal the price of Elden Ring. So if you're not into Elden Ring, you can still use it for something cool. So I definitely urge the more the merrier. I don't, I don't do giveaways. It's the first one I've ever done. It's official one. It's been really fun. We've met some cool people. I thought it'd be a nice idea to spice up um, Dark Souls 2 because it's the lesser loved game in the series. But I love it. I love it because it makes me feel warm and special inside. And hands me a square of toilet paper when I'm on the toilet. Does, does it really? Mm -hmm. This one, if you're balls enough, this dragon right here, you can actually fall down, stab him right in the head penis. I know what you're saying. Tiber, dragons don't have head penises. And I say to you, when have you actually seen a dragon, my friend? Yeah? J.R. Tolkien? Yeah, of course. Dragonheart? Sean Connery? And Game of Thrones? That's fiction, bitch. This is real. And my dragons in my head have heads for penises. And penises for heads. Oh my god, not this again. Alright, so you need the silver cat ring, so we're not gonna bust our ass while we bust a move. We got little Jeffrey over here. Hello, Jeffrey. You all right over there? All right. Probably still gonna die from fall damage, but damn it! I'm gonna go out with my dick in my hands. Let's go! Ah! I think it, hello? Did you feel that? I don't think it felt it. Oh, wow. That's embarrassing. Is it in yet? It didn't even wake up. What the fuck? No, it didn't hit us. Damn. Don't I feel silly? That's okay, I'm used to feeling silly. Damn lads, would you just calm down, jumping all over me and farting? Fuck, I told you. We're not doing that shit to the weekend. Uh oh. Somebody woke up, Mildred. Ow. Now Mildred's angry. <laughs> you went and did it. You pissed off, Mildred. Mildred Hubble was the worst witch. But secretly, she was also the best witch. It's one of those kid shows that just really, really drove home a good point. You can be the worst while also being the best. Remember that. Remember that. Please, if you do one thing for me, you'll remember that. I will not be your toe jam. Not here tonight. Will you be the toe jam to my Earl? No. Keep those claws clean, girl. Sit your little drunk dragon ass down. You, you know how hard it is to get a dragon into an Uber while it's drunk? You ever cleaned up dragon vomit? It's full of acid. How do you think it breeds fire? One time it wasted the whole Uber, but we don't talk about that. Still gave the Uber five stars, though. Sadly, didn't help the grieving family. Oh, dear. Too dark? Too dark. Always. Always. I like my jokes dark. <laughs> you know, the Ring of the Evil Eye is a bit of fun, actually. You get a little bit of help back for every time you kill an enemy. Hey, meaty! Holy shit! How's it going, dude? I hope you're doing well. It's been a meaty minute. Just relaxing a bit now. It's nice of you. Sure to try to enter soon. Yeah, absolutely. The more the merrier. And everybody's able to. And everyone bust out singing and dancing. A big Bollywood dance number they always do. Bollywood makes everything better. It's enchanting. It's hypnotic. But most of all, it makes me warm and fuzzy in my bowels. My bowels! Jai Ho! This is the one we just fought, so I'm going backwards. Can you tell it's two in the morning? Fuck! I can't feel my fingers. How do you know? There's no feeling in my fingers. Perfectly stabbed. Uh, how in the mother pillow fluffing New Year's? <laughs> Seven. Oh my God! It's only eight hours. Sweet Jesus! How long were we in Aldea's keep? I lost track of time while I was sipping on some wine. I wish I was. No. Sorcerer Navlin, why are you here? No one even likes you. You keep. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, what a horrible death. Exploding Larry does it again. 
Did he explode? No, actually, no, no. He went out and he saw the world. Beautiful. Got married, sat down with kids, then he exploded. Wiped out his whole family. Horrible, horrible, horrible story. <laughs> Just once. The story of one exploding enemy in Dark Souls. It was beautiful. J.K. Rowling is set to, uh, to uh, helm the novel. No one asked her, but she's doing it anyway. All she asks for is that she doesn't have to do any more Harry Potter shit. And she gets to speak her mind. Her crazy, bigoted mind. You know how many times children's books authors turn out to be fucking crazy people? A lot. A lot of the time, actually. So either you live long enough to become a crazy recluse, I can't even talk anymore. Or you end up the big bigot in, in the middle of Twitter. Now you got them celebrating 20 years of Harry Potter. You're like, is that 20 years of that bigoted bitch? Hell yeah. What do you do? Like, all these kids grew up on it, they don't even know what the hell she's talking about. You burn it to the ground. And then you got like Hogwarts Legacy game coming out. Three years of development down the pisser. Thanks to this idiot on Twitter. Yeah, write a novel about that. No! You shall not explode. You know when you're getting to the end of the game when they put explosive enemies beside the uh, death cliffs. Good lord. That's the from software we know and love. And love to hate. And hate to love. Goddamn abusive relationship. What? I can't quit you from software. I can't quit you. Keep doing me dirty and I keep coming back. Let's see how Elden Ring turns out. Ah, the Elden Cock Ring. They say once it's collapsed over your manhood, you'll never feel anything quite like it. Boom! Didn't even get him. I don't know where the fuck I am right now. What is, was there a dragon here? Yeah. Come on down, you know you want to. Come on. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, you. Good exploded, Larry. There's his friends. Hell yeah. yeah. I can't remember what the deal with the dragon eggs was. I think it was something like, don't destroy them, you know? As I sit here and destroy every last one of them. Fuck y'all, dragons. It's time to end the bloodline. Wait for the Game of Thrones fucking prequel. Pre prequel, sequel, mequel. I'm still so unimpressed by prequels that do not involve any pre at all. Fucking lion right on the tin there. That's exactly what it says on the tin. Come on! Let's fight somewhere better. Stop doing that crappy magic. Boom! Alright, you heinous bitch. Get off that bridge. Oh, wait, she's ready in some cool magic, guys. Look how cool it is. It's like a fucking eight-year-old who got his first magician set and he just has to show the whole family that nobody cares anymore. Oh, here's more of that crazy fucking magic. Now we're gonna backstab the bitch. But she killed me, look! Am I dead? What? What the fuck? What was that? It loaded the backstab animation, we got it off, but I was technically dead. Damn, that was kind of cool. Jeez, don't you love magic? Just takes your whole life away in one tiny little two second spell. Great mechanics right there, oh yeah. Oh yeah, game of the fucking century, boss. Woo! We still got the, the, uh, the backstab out of that one, you gotta love it. Hell yeah, baby. I love magic. Just not OP or broken at all. How dare you even say that. Whee! It's been broken since day one. It'll stay broke. I guarantee you Elden Ring will just be as broken. Just have all the gang squad coming through with the magic. Just can't do it anymore. There's too much magic. I'm gonna play Hogwarts Legacy. There's not much magic in that one. Too much magic in IGN 7.5. Too much magic. That's magic. I gotta make a counter for how many times I've died to magic. This is disgusting. 
Wait, what's the one that stops them from healing? Lloyd's Talisman? I wish they'd make one to stop people using magic. I'd call it the Stinky Finger. Oh, Forlorn is here. Here he comes. Okay, pops up all over. Oh, he's got a sight this time. Bring it! Black and red. Her drip is off the charts. Nice. Black and red, black and red. Multiple dick punches and... Yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ, you did. You had a, a bad go of it. Seven hours. Yeah, I don't, I don't really... I don't even have the thing pulled up. I didn't know how long it was. That's what she said. All right, forlorn. Let's get funky with it. He has this one move where he'll just be spinning and shit. And it automatically stun locks me to death. What you thinking, huh? Oh, nothing there. Just didn't connect at all. Dude, the AI gets away with so much rolling into my attack. Shitty beggar. It knows every iframes because it creates the iframes. It is the iframes. We're getting, we're getting too deep here. This is some lawnmower man shit. I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, I don't even connect either. No connect for it. I'm going to need all me. Me extra splash trying to fight this bastard. What they really want you to do with these fights is parry your little ass off. I refuse to be holding to parries. You got the time to learn it. I don't need a system. It's win all. Wait, there's the movie always does. Oh, it is the worst move ever. Ah, insta death, insta win every time. It's crazy. Maybe it's the parry of the of the side. I don't know. It's a cool move. Just sucks to be on the receiving end of it when it's like unblockable, unstoppable. Really sucks. Little spin and then the side swipe. You're stun locked to death. It doesn't seem to be, no matter how much... I bet you that's what it is, it must be the pirate. It doesn't seem to matter how much health I have left. Still finishes it off. And usually that's the sign of a backstab or a parry. It'll do immense damage. Jankies, right? We need, we need a Scooby-Doo mod. Jankies! Every time something weird happens. Woo! Elden Cockring better than Elden Cuckold. Yeah, we'll see. I'll say, are we all cuckolds of, from software? It's possible. It's called a get good, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it's like it, they they treat sorcery in this game though, and all the games, like uh, your little sibling who would just spam the same attack in Mortal Kombat. Leg sweep, leg sweep. So they tend to just attack over and over. It's like guns, insecure on and. Uh, in Bloodborne, when you're coming up against, you know, a ranged attack that, that locks onto you around corners, when it's kind of mainly a, a melee game, it's a bit weird. It's a bit, it's a bit piss. Piss! It's all good. People like variety. I've never done a magic build, so it's just always gonna end with me being salty about magic. Because I don't care about it, Lottie. Holy moly, you gotta give a shout out to that guy. Did he really fall all the way on the ground? And then set off the explosion? So they're dying inside each other's character model. I can't tell which is the real one. Which is real? Yeah, it's so the best way with the mages is just to rush them, huh? Can I save my heals? So they, they just can't. It's hard to fight in the bridge with the Uchi Katana. Come on! Off the bridge. That one, she does that maelstrom around her body. That is very difficult. What is that? I don't want to know. What the fuck is that? What are those? No, with your magic shit. No. Girl, you need to learn something that's worth a damn. Fight me on my terms, you bitch. 
What the fuck? It's like a fucking heat sink in farts! No. Please stop spamming the farts, please. It's my job. Oh my god, look at that fucking damage from one spell. Absolutely rancid. <sighs> fucking hate magic! So broken! Damn! Two second wind up and all my health. I have 1500 health! That's crazy! That'd be making her more powerful than the final boss, because they don't one shot you. But she do. Ah, Weak. Weakness. Give me melee warriors. Fuck the magic bitches. Taking a spell to the face. It's not the best way of avoiding this. But when she's got two AoE attacks, you don't have much choice but to fight her head on. Now whatever that lock on fart is, that's a good one. Hell no, girl. You must keep your queef to yourself. This is not Twitch. We do not sell queefs here. It is Twitch? All right, then come on in. Welcome to the new Queefaton. Show why uh, queef. Yeah, and I get a whole load of subs. So I'm gonna queef a little more. Queefing in a hot tub. Wait, what? Queefing in a hot tub? No, I'd pay to see that. Are you not Twitch staff? Shut up, Saber. Shut up! <laughs> That's the beauty of all the metas. You end up finding out Twitch staff are in the streams, breaking breaking the rules. Because here's the thing, I think most of the Twitch staff are actually pretty cool, probably, you know? But sadly, they gotta, they gotta suffer all of the nasty rules and laws that the internet and other companies have imposed on, on stuff, you know? This is what I've been saying about going after the wrong guy. Same with YouTube as well. You need to go after the DMCA bastards. Whoever owns the companies. Or the record labels, you know? About YouTube and Facebook and, and Twitch. Most of the time, they've got their hands tied behind their back. We just don't see the little... We don't see the laws, the hidden laws. The hidden in-laws. How come they don't, they don't get attacked by that shit? Oh no. Gotta suffer all these nasty spells. Usually, you'd have more of a, a wind-up for a spell. Like, if you were casting yourself and your attunement was pretty low, it'd take you, you know, about two to three seconds to do a spell. But she's doing it in about one and a half. She's breaking the law. When in doubt, you just have to fucking aggressively get rid of them. But it's not really a tactic either, right? kind of feel as though you're just fucking pile driving through her. Maybe she's into that, I don't know. There's no tactics there. I'd rather a good old fight. Mano a mano. That's why I like those forlorn fights. Anyway, you're gonna get better and get good. Just to get better and get good. Let's go across this bridge. This was such a cool moment. I remember them showing it in a trailer and most people don't get this far. Meant to just walk across and like, don't look down! Oh, Jesus. I said, don't look down. Sometimes I like to look down you say, don't look down. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of enemies come back that were once bosses. It's it's cool. Usually it only happens in JRPGs and that. I like when it happens. Oh, dear! The final time. This time he's a little bit smaller, which cracks me up. He's been so big and imposing, and now he's like, Hey, hey guys! What the fuck is this? This is the last time he will approach you. But this also will trigger the proper ending. Oh, Lacuna, you're back! My god, what are you doing awake at this hour, you mad horse? Watched and joined on someone's chat fight for the shaving their beard. It was pretty entertaining. Come. Twer barked. Just throw a rock and run, right? Flash him st to stun him. That's funny. Get your tits out. Give us some of that Irish wiggle. Exactly. 
The reverse, the reverse helicopter. Dude, you, I can't believe you're up this late. Think if we'll have a crack at the ancient dragon. I'll leave it there. I think I've done enough. I wanted to get as far as the dark lurker, but it's not a big deal. The thing about the dark lurker is once you set it up right, I can't remember exactly how to do it, but once I, I'll have a look into it. Once you set it up right, it's like bang, 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 and then fight the dark lurker. So it's not that big a deal. Uh, not that bit of a time sink. And tomorrow, all going well, we will start the DLC. That's the plan. Because we pretty much set up the end game just to do the memories of the giants and then fight the three last bosses. I sought to shed the yoke of fate. So he's trying to make it sound like he's trying to break the, the bonds, right? Just like uh, the, the Emerald Maiden. But it's not true at all. It's not true at all. He went about it the dark way, experimenting on everything and everyone, including himself, which turned him into that monstrosity. You gotta love the bonfire jump scares. Alright. Like that shit, yeah. I rarely sleep. There are like four people in our chat that had the same greens who were asked to change. Ah. He's pink! My green should be back now. Well, you're still green to me, bro. I changed it back. Green machine. To green for the Irish. Look at the way this guy bows. They bow before they attack you. I like that. Sorry, I wasn't even watching. I was watching the other guy bow. He's like a needy girlfriend. Pay attention to me! You just gonna. Just gonna go waltzing Matilda back, huh? What's going on in here? Hello there. Oh, backstab. Nice. No iframes in animations. Look at that armor. That's one of the coolest armors in the game right there. He said, that chest is mine. I didn't even hear him come off of me. If I was Dr. Disrespect, I'd be giving out about the audio. Where's the audio? The audio on this fucking game. Oh, my, that cracks me up so much. These guys spend like thousands of dollars on fucking just headsets and speakers and all this fucking mixer system alone, you know, besides the 20k PCs and all this stuff. Yet, they blame the audio in the fucking game. I don't think so, Jeffrey. I think it's, I think it's those shitty headsets you keep getting sponsored by. Pile of piss nuggets. How's it going, lads? So these, they've got like a cool, like, pick. Uh, am I power stance? Okay, cool. Nice. Everything hits so hard, I don't quite understand how we're this far. I don't know what to make of it. Oh no, backstab. It's crazy. I have no protection. What I need to do is go get the ring of steel protection already. Something is very wrong with this build. Because like I was saying, like glass, it's like glass cannon. It really is. We do a lot of damage. There's something seriously fucking wrong. Like, armor's not going to make that much of a difference, but if you join it all together, it will. I have never taken this kind of damage. Because otherwise I wouldn't go uh, do a wield if I was taking this kind of damage. Hell no! You're like, I can't, I can't get in, you in the way, man. Come on, man, I want to get in there and fuck someone up. Oh, you dirty bastard, just on the tip, huh? The edge of the axe. That was enough, see? I'm so weak, holy crap. Why am I so weak? Weak! Lime green's my favorite color, but yeah, I can be Irish pie too. Yeah, why not? What if I am the needy girlfriend? It's okay. Oh, look, this is why. My fucking armor's broke. That's why. That's bad. That's bad. When did that happen? Dirty bastards. Who broke my armor, god damn it? Recon Shadow. <laughs> That's brilliant, holy shit. 
So you're getting like the wallets in there, you're getting the Raycons and Raid Shadow Legends. That's fucking brilliant. It's true, right? It's always the same three goddamn sponsors. Sponsor. Hey, if you're getting fucking five figures for a sponsor, you don't care if they're telling you to fucking uh, advertise toilet paper. I need that toilet paper. Oh, damn. Red Rum, thank you so much for the follow. Awesome name as well. Are you, are you a fan of the Shining? The Shining boy, you've got the Shining. 15k. Jeez. That's why you don't want to break this stuff. Vengard. Svengorn Ericsson. I can take you higher. Too heavy. Just give me heavy roll. No, I'm good. Somehow I don't have the real the ring of steel protection. This fire into the shits. That confuses me. Alright, I'm gonna try something real quick here. I'm a fan. Cool. I want you to promote their NFTs. Yeah, that's gonna be a big thing this year, isn't it? I'm hoping, slowly but surely, a lot of the devs are kind of moving away from it. Um, if, if they can be done right, and not like the new microtransactions, it'll work, you know? But if it's just exploitation, it's not gonna work. And then I'd rather them not even try at all then, you know? Like, I don't wanna be against anything straight away, you know? It's hard, it's it's always easy to judge things at the start, but, you know, the, see, a lot of the big guys are just gonna take fucking advantage of it. Hold on, I gotta fix this. This crackling happens from time to time. I'm six hours without it, but anyway. Alright, should be fine now. That's Elgato, let me promote that fucking product, man. I'd get it, I'd get all the way through the door, right? And be like, can we sponsor you? And I'm like, yeah. And I wait for that opportune moment and then slander their fucking shitty overpriced products. I fucking hate them. I hate them. I'm done with it. I'm so done with it. I've been screwed over. I've been washed out. Elgato can suck a big one. Right now, they'd be better off making tacos like Elgato. And fucking. Even watching. Uh, fucking. What was his name? Jack Black trying to get them. It was hilarious. God damn. Boy. So dumb with them. Hello? Hello? I can't even get a lock on. There you know? Oh, why are they, uh... Why are they... Uh, that, maybe that's why they're bowing to me. What the fuck is that again? Is it something I've done? Like maybe because I said yes to Aldia? I can't remember. It's been like fucking three years since I played this. There's a reason why they're bowing to us and not fighting. But yet when I went into that room, they're like... Psych! Murder him! See? Do you like being backstabbed when you're not watching and trying to open a chest, huh? You big dirty bastard. I hope that felt good. El Gucho Wallet, yeah. It's your first pleasure. No, but it's been a good while since I played it. Raycon, Raid Shadow. Yeah, I'm telling you, if they if they did, I'd be like, fuck yeah. But they, I think actually Raid Shadow Legends have, but, you know. Uh, th those kind of sponsorships are not they're not really meant for a small streamer like me because they work on uh, numbers I suppose they all do that's why you're here just please click the link fuck click fuck click the link jesus oh my god click the link oh god i just got into stream click the fucking link click the link is another way for the companies to make that yeah yeah but they could be used for good but sadly humanity doesn't ever really try that like hmm do we make money or we do something good no let's use the uh, photos of dead celebrities and dead people try and make money off their dead bodies nice just make sure that their graves aren't totally completely ransacked let's just yeah that's the most heinous shit i've ever seen in my life my bitch Dude, I, I cannot get over how 
weak I am. Even with this armor. Look at that damage. Something's wrong on the build. I should be dead. I'm doing damage. Damage is fine, but something is lacking. Look at that armor. Even their fucking shield has like a tail on it. So cool. Oh, pick. Oh, I didn't think he was going to go into another one. Oh, damn it. I can't even survive with that much health. So that, if that's a third of my health, that'd be, that'd be five, six hundred. So how the fuck are they doing that much damage? Sheesh! Youch! It hurts. I hurt myself today. I fell off the teeter-totter. Tried to blow the boo-boo away. But I remember everything. What have I become? Hogging the teeter totter. Why? Six or seven times. No, I, yeah, but I don't know. Not, not on stream, anyway. I've only ever done it once. Three years ago. Same with, same with most of them. Like, it might sound like I play these a lot. It's just because I played through the whole thing, so it's on the channel. But no, when it comes to actually streaming stuff, I've pretty much been been watched we just started going through them there again recently just for Elden Ring sake you know yeah I play so many different games I ain't got time to be playing hundreds of hours of Dark Souls some people make this their only game which is really fucking cool that's dedication I ain't got time for that damn you should be dead sir oh no the animation God, for some reason, when I press square out of a roll to uh, heal, she won't do it. It's a massive input delay on that one. Whereas in the other Dark Souls, you have the opposite problem where it'll register the delay, but it'll register like a hit or a stun lock first, then they roll afterwards. A solid like three or four seconds after you press the roll button. It's kind of like a, a fuck you from, the, from afterwards. It's like uh, when, it, when you set up, uh, when you queue up attacks in an MMO or something. Who's who's shooting magic at me? Is it you? Crazy bastards! Do a no hit run? No, I can't even do a no salt run. Your armor is really bad. You always take significant damage wearing weak armor than none at all. It's always been a thing. Yeah, fashion soldier. I'm barely wearing any armor. You get a meme of Kaiba. Holding the NFTs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, a meme going around about Seinfeld as well, and it's just fucking everywhere. It's everywhere. So I'll never want. No, I ain't got the time for that. Ain't got the time. People put in thousands of hours for that stuff. I'm happy. I'm playing all the new games coming out. It's much nicer. It's, all, it's the way I've always been anywhere in life, you know, growing up. Just playing as many games. I don't tend to hard focus on games. I'll, I'll get nothing done. That's why I don't really commit my time to any MMO because I, I know I'll, I'll get sucked in, right? I'm just no good at parrying. I think that's my biggest fault. I'm sorry I don't learn your ways, Dark Souls. I know you want me to. I shouldn't have to. Parry or die. Oh, you should be dead, boy. You should be dead. Definitely guarding this place well. And this chest, huh? Shaky buggers. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll start putting some into vitality so I can wear a bit of armor, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, the game to finally have parry and click. Uh, I hope so. I, don't, I doubt it, though. I highly doubt it. It's not about the clicking for me. So I'll get I'll get the odd parry off. It's just too much timing. I feel like people who are really good at parrying have learned every enemy's... Uh, fucking... Oh, damn. That, that thing is like a crazy hitbox. 
yeah, the, I feel like they've learned every enemy's uh, attack pattern, you know, from hundreds of hours of playtime. Just damn impressive for sure. First time I played this area, it's I shit me pants seeing the wyverns and the ancient dragon. Yeah, it's so cool, isn't it? Especially when they've been, they've kept the, uh, you know, dragons kind of very hidden across the the games. You know, most of the time they they admit that they're like, oh, you've just been fighting wyverns, you know, like baby dragons, or not even dragons at all. Uh, let's see, couldn't be me with the 60 hours and, and way more in. Yeah, there you go. Are you any good at pirating yourself? And I, the other thing I noticed about pirating is it seems weir weirdly unbalanced as well. Where there's like different weapons that are, be oh, are better with parrying. Damn, this guy is fucking wild. Wild in the streets. I want to fight these dragon guys with a kick in my ass. They're way harder than the big guy. Kicking my ass, do you mind? Maybe they don't attack you at first, because then you talk to the ancient dragon. Wasn't that it? And then if you fight the ancient dragon, they're like, kick your ass. I love fucking what they're tracking. Oh, it's not aggro, our little friend there. It's my own fault. I actually uh, dodged into the attack. You get the tail end of it. Very cool, Dragon Bros. Can I be a Dragon Bro? Everybody's Dragon Bro. Maybe this is a uh, a mimic. Sorry, I'm a bit out of it right now. It's right about the time I'm about to just fucking collapse. It's good. I'd like to fight the ancient dragon. Cause I'm a bad bastard. Do I stand a, a hell of a chance? No. Dude's got more fucking HP than the final boss. Howdy ho, boys! Shield bash, noise. A big hammer. What you doing, hmm? What you thinking about AI? Come on. I'm just gonna keep shield bashing the shit out of me. He does it quick! And he's doing a shunt. Sounds like cunt. Put S on it. You gonna use that hammer or you gonna stare at me? Not using the hammer. Ah. Oh. Stun lock city. Uh, population me. Fuck! Oh, I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. I know, dude. I know. But I set myself up a task. I wanted to get to the dark lurker. If I can just get to the ancient dragon, I'll be happy. He's like. Man, like, what were we saying? Like, 60 hour game, and it usually takes me a long fucking time to finish this one. It's the longest Souls game, easily. Damn, what was that? Four hit combo? Impressive. I got no focus left, me, man. I'm gonna pain behind my right eye, and it's just like, kiss my ass goodbye. You guys stop to do that, huh? You bitch, get yourself killed. Let's give you a gun, make it easier to shoot the dudes. No. Well, you probably have enough spells to make it like a gun. Like soul arrows always been like that, huh? Woo! Wait, who's who's chasing after me? One of the little dragon guys, isn't it? Hey, oh my god! Who who kicked the hornet's nest? Oh, it's because I went. Uh, Human, is it? No, it's not. This guy's still bowing to me. Bow down, bitches. Bow down. Ah, yes. Enemies that can hit you through the wall. Gotta love it. But if you try and do that, you just get the Looney Tunes. As if you just struck, struck metal. Struck gold. Are, you, are they all aggroed? What's the story, lads? Why are you aggro? Why are you here? Just to suffer? The Golden Dragon Boys? Have you tried new golden dragons? Yeehaw! For a real good time. Golden grains, golden nuggets. Boy, you should be dead. Oh, who, who can you summon here? 
Who that? Uh, a bit close. I can smell your breath. You nasty bastard! Forty-eight hour stream, like a, exactly. Yeah. No, I've not. I've never actually done a twenty-four hour stream. My my tech won't uh, last that long. It'll just burn out. Old ass PC. Internet's good, but I mean, not much. And then now the Elgato's just like I work when I want, motherfucker. Thanks. Thank you for all your sacrifice. What happens with Elgato? Every time you go on the internet and people try and fix it, God love them, they try. But when you ask one of the big guys how to fix it, they get sent another Elgato. It's trade four hundred euro, or yeah, or dollars, whatever. It's grand. That's the that's the this generation's way of fixing things. Well, we're just gonna send you a new one, all right? We're not gonna fix the old product. We're gonna make a plus 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 and plus all the plus 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 plus. HD sixty plus plus four K pro plus plus. It's the fucking iPhone age, man. Oh, with no headphone jack in this one, wait till the next one. You'll fucking trade it in and spend another hundred euros. Fuck! Just fix my product, bitch! Bitch! I give you my money. Fix my product, man! Yeah, I'll probably end up having to buy another one. The only other options like going with some of the other ones is not great. That's the problem with, like, Elgato having a monopoly that cheeky bastards. They can get away with that, you know? As long as there's not a no monopoly, usually companies will get, they won't uh, get away with shit. Like look what happened to Streamlabs and Streamlabs OBS. And I actually thought that it was completely, you know, they were working together, if not like the same company. But no, somebody was copying somebody's homework. Damn, I cannot get a lick in there. Two axe ones, that's tough, yeah. Couldn't even get a lick in there. They were working in tandem. Damn! Sons of bitches. <sighs> Streamlabs go so Yeah, Jesus Christ. What what a disaster. And then all the other companies came out about it. We just got to show, like, OBS. I don't know if they were doing the right thing, but, you know, I suppose they kind of had painted themselves into a corner. Where, damn, through the fucking wall. Where they were talking about how, you know, it's an open broadcasting software so we can't really blame them but it would have been nice to be get a little thanks or anything and then if that wasn't bad enough there was two or three other companies that they've been stealing stuff from fucking disaster I wonder what happened why did the all the dragons start the dragon bros start to uh, I grow on 72 hours man Golden Dragon Balls! Why are they all aggro now? Holy moly, I, I looked up for the Dragon Balls and I looked down and I saw Dragon Balls. Dragon Balls. This is my door. Fuck off, lads. Don't you fucking love that. Dude, that's a real close-up. Oh my god. They're not dragons at all. They've got their mind's eye open. They're, they're tree-eyed. Tree-eyed, blue-eyes, white dragon. That's what that is, man. That's what that is. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. It was Yu-Gi-Oh all along. So yeah, even if you're in the animation of opening a door, you're not safe. Some strange-ass thoughts. What they were doing with this one. <sighs> what a stream. What an ass. What an ass. Is. I haven't streamed no straight roads. I'm sure you've heard of it. What's that one about? Is it controversial? Controversial. I try and stream as many indie games as I can, but it's impossible. They're literally releasing on the hour every hour. Past your bedtime. I can't keep up with the fucking amount of indie games. But I try and do my best. Shout out some good ones, some cool ones. Yeah, yeah, there. I think it's coming down here. Dirty ham sandwich eating motherfucker. He finally used a hammer, he's a big boy. Now he's back using the shield. No, out of stamina, yeah. Out of stamina, out of the green juice. I need the green juice. Strange old bastard, this guy.
come sometimes they aggro and sometimes they don't. Someone must be hitting them. I swear. Show us on the dragon balls who's been who's been hitting you, huh? What's the matter? Dude, I usually I'd fight all of them, but I just I got I'm running out of steam, I'm sorry. Now I'm just getting complaining and salty. I'm better than this. The third dragon ring, they're actually really good. Third Will I be killed by the invader first? I can't see it. Where is it? Are these the ones you can't take off? What? Are these the rings you can't take off? No, that's the ring of favor and protection. I don't think that's in this game. Hello, invader, sir, please. It's a really good ring. All the dragon rings are good. Some of them are not so easy to get, though. Where the fuck is he? This one I think leads to the ancient dragon, does it? Oh, no, this guy. The dragon egg. Dragon fang! Scooby dabbing doodin! Dooba dabbing doo! Dragon fang is coming for you now! Dragon fang! Scooba dee doo! Dragon fang! I hate you. I have enough stamina to put you away for life, sir. What do you think about that? Just wail on him! Oh, it's been nine hours now. Jesus, every time I look. So many hours. Dragon Knights are waiting for you to duel the big ones. If you refuse to duel Big Knight, they all start attacking you. I bet. Those dirty bastards. What did I ever do do? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is playing Dark Souls. It's only a matter of time. NFT should start bringing people back like weird fucking incantations. So many goddamn celebrities on Twitch now. We found out Fred Durst was even on it. That's right, Limp Biscuit. This biscuit's not limp anymore though. This is it. When you take this, they're like, a fucking dare you! You stole our egg! I used to know all the lore for this one, but this week has been a blur. It's been fucking fun, and I love that. That's all that matters to me. Blur is the word. Because here's the thing, this is something I prob it probably would have stretched out to like two weeks. But then everybody was like, is it for this stream? Is it for So I was like, okay, better probably focus on this. People are gonna burn out fast. I want it all. I want it now. You there. Can you show me directions to your mom's pussy? I know you've been there. No, I didn't like that at all. The fuck, dude? It's a joke, God. God, God. Time to go all night long, baby. <laughs> yeah. I did a stand there and stare at you. I know, I know. People don't stop companies from implementing F. Yeah, yeah. Probably BS then gotcha and loot boxes. True, true. They'll probably end up. Won't be long before they'll do some kind of um. What's it called? A fucking lawsuit or something around it. As usual, when it comes to like things like DLC and microtransactions and loot boxes, all these things could be implemented really well. They could be really fun, but they will never do it. I think this guy fall gets hit with fall damage, right? Hear me out. And then he decides to go on a fucking tear and blame me because he stubbed his toe. I didn't aggro any. What? It's because I stole the egg. I stole your egg. Oh, it's so warm in my pocket right now. Oh, shit. It's rubbing up against my other eggs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Usually that would be a backstab, but he somehow managed to turn mid-roll. I know how to do that. I swear, I've, I've always turned mid-roll. It's not AI bullshit. Your whole hip can just displace and move your whole body. Oh, took the egg to the merchant at the Labra Bridge place. In Iron Keep, yeah? Did you run past any big knights? I did, yeah, I did. Run past them. Um, is this the ancient dragon? No, now we're just getting into it proper. All these guys are stunning. Aggro. Aggro! They bow first, then murder your face hole. Sometimes NPCs are. They have that kind of invasion thing going on. Like they're like a blue or red ghost or whatever, but they don't invade, they're just there. They're part of that covenant, I suppose. Companies care too much. Yeah, it's true. 
it's, it's, yeah, it's naive to think that they'll do good with it. That's the sad part. Or even if they do end up doing some good with it, um, sadly, they'll take it all for granted. See, then you have moments like that. Like, I'm fully aware I probably shouldn't have got the backstab there because it turned his whole character model around. It's kind of stupid. Oh, they don't know if they want to aggro or not. Come on, let's fight on fair ground because stairs are weird. They freak me out, Mom! You ever seen those fucking stairs? So if I kill this guy, they're all gonna go, GET HIM! Just like in that one mo movie. What was it called? Ah. Oh, oh, I was pretty far away, but he got away with it. I hate the healer, but I do suck at NPC fights. I don't mind admitting that, you know? It took me many years of AA to admit that. My name is Cooper. I suck at NPC fights. Years of PvP will teach you how to fight them way better than that, that's for sure. It was just me drinking Sunny D till I killed him. Everybody, are we cool now? We all good? We cool, right? We, we cool. We cool. Kill, I killed your big warrior. Oh man, are these bots still a thing? Jesus Christ, Twitch. Get your finger out of your butthole and stop sniffing it. Get rid of these fucking bots, please. Thank you. Anybody, what's wrong is somebody's obviously using these bots, okay? Someone has to be using those links. Otherwise, they wouldn't keep coming back, you know? It would be an unsuccessful venture. So somebody's using that view button shit. I wish people wouldn't. Hello there. Hello there. Let's go talk to the ancient dragon. This is a real dragon. Everyone else has just been a little pussy bitch dragon. This is a real dragon. Damn, girl! How'd you get all that ass in those jeans? Now you're just picking a picture in a dragon wearing jeans. Me too. The mark ships and stirs. That's the noise it makes like a real god. We wouldn't be able to understand the language. Yet another stands. And so be it, for the curse of life is the curse of want, the throne of want, and so you peer into the fog, into the hope of answers, the ashen mist heart. And then she won't talk anymore. So this allows us to travel back in time, right? Bum, 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 Rat tail. I can't even fucking read right now. Eyes are burning on my head. Woo! Alright, is there another bonfire close by? I feel like there was, right? We could have a good crack at her. You can totally fight this thing. You don't need to. It's omnipotent. It has a health bar and an HP bar. Bigger than your mom. So I was gonna buy that dragon dinner first. Oh shit. Oh shit. Was there another bonfire? Let me see. People using these shitty services, why do you think? Yeah, exactly. It has to be, you know? But see, when I say something like that, media just comes off as me being jealous or salty. But I'm telling you, there's no other way. The businesses only exist to be businesses, to make money. So there has to be a reason these bots still exist. Woo! But I just don't get why people would use them. I like I understand like people have egos and they want to see the numbers rise, right? And if it doesn't happen after, you know, six months, a year, two years, three years, it's very fucking off putting. But then they're getting in it for the wrong reason. You know? And then if they go and use these services and get their zeros beside their name, it's just an empty victory. Everything they ever do from that point onwards is just gonna be empty. Because you didn't earn any of it. But I don't think they care about that. In the world of like the way things have gone with social media, I don't think anybody cares. They just want to be noticed. We've become a generation of needy children, even in their 30s and 40s and 50s. I don't know. It's, every, uh, it's all just social media, right? Or whatever. Isn't, isn't there like a quick... I'm nearly sure there's a bonfire somewhere nearby, right? Anybody? Down this way? Yeah. You gon' fucking fight me, I'll fight you, I don't give a fuck. Oh jeez. That's only messing, I'm sorry, I love you, goodbye. Such a sorry effect now, bro, just tell it. Yeah, I know, I know. 
that's always the issue. Because even as you say it, you're like, yeah, that does seem a little bit petty to put it like that. Yeah, it's something got to do with that bugger over there, right? You can fall down here. I'll figure it out. Such a cool place, right? God, you can't say parts of Dark Souls 2 is not fucking beautiful. Definitely unique. I actually think the Dark Souls 2 team is working on Elden Ring. I really do. Because the rumor is that... Um, oh, gee. What? He's just stuck there? Really? The rumor is that Miyazaki is working on an Armored Core reboot for Xbox, like exclusive. And then they're working on a exclusive for PS5. Which apparently is Bloodborne 2, but I don't know. There's rumors all over the place. There was rumors of a sci-fi souls as well. I'd like to see them work. Oh, I deserve that. I'd like to see them work on a, on a different genre for the moment, you know? So the Armored Core game could shake it up. Because what's going to happen, if they keep doing Souls like after, or, you know, or Souls game after Souls game, even if it is their bread and butter and no one does it better, absolutely, they will eventually burn out. You're going to have that kill zone situation again. Or God of War, or any of these things. Well, God of War is very lucky to have that kind of rebirth moment. Not every series has that moment. You end up with remakes and remasters that are just cash grabs and utter garbage. It's happening more and more, sadly. Oh, dude, I'm saying. Uh, Bloodborne D-Make. Yeah! I know that's done by a fan, right? That looks so fucking cool. I am down for that. Alright. How did we do this? It's probably like an invisible... Uh, a, wa uh, a door? A wall? Fucking hell, I'm done. I'm spent. There's nothing left in the chamber. And I'm spent. Alright, Mildred. Want to do games every year, man. Oh, are they? Do, they're still making games like that, are they? That's very impressive. Cool. Okay, I'm. Oh, hell yeah. From, so from software used to just experiment a lot more, but I know, like, when you, you've got that moment, that kind of. Something that's really just taken off. You gotta kind of ride it till it dies. Because they used to do things like. Remember Ninja Blade as well? That was a, a fun game. There was no Ninja Gaiden, of course, but damn, was it just good old-fashioned stupid fun like Bayonetta, you know? Bayonetta's like, these are tits, and they're in your face, and you can almost see my pussy, but you can't. But then you're like, holy crap, this is uh, crazy fucking fun, too. Woo! Check the wiki, and oh, cool, that's nice. So I, I, maybe they're like a, a publisher as well. You never know. There's so much going on still in Japan that we don't know about. God damn it. I was interested in that one Gundam Hero Shooter game that I found out was free to play and probably going to have some gacha elements. Ah, oh. I wish uh, Kojima didn't give up on Zone of the Enders. Would have loved just to finish out the trilogy. That is some of the best fucking mech fighting game right there. Holy crap. Holy crap. Alright, look, it didn't take us too long to get back to her. Let's just fight her here now. She's probably going to one-shot me. I think that's the deal. She would just one shot you all the time. Let's go for it. Fuck yeah, bitch! Fuck yeah! Reminds me so much of King Bendrick. There we go! Ancient Dragon! And we're doing okay damage. Just, you know, don't get hit ever. We'll be fine. Oh yeah, don't you have to run over. Oh yeah, okay. Dude, I need some kind of flame protection. This is fucking disgusting! Mm. Why am I getting one shot by every flame attack? Fuck. Alright, I gotta roll under her tail. I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's fucking. I'm. This whole build is broken as ash, man. Oh, what I have done wrong. This is it the hide armor? Or the, the hide tower knight armor? Which is good for fire. Something is horribly wrong that I can get this fire, but still I'm dying from one hits from even the most common mobs. Shit! Once we got the third knight, it's called the third dragon ring. Fuck me. It's too late to be doing this right now. Too late to apologize. Good lord, what am I doing? I push these streams too far, man. I, I pay for them forever. Brain not working. Please reboot software. Keep these settings. Yes, 
No? Don't you love when windows do that? You can't even select the fucking thing. Thanks, windows. Would you like to save these settings? I can't press it. Let me press it, bitch! Yes! Please! Alexa, go suck yourself. Right away, sir. Didn't take us long to turn the whole robot helper into our own little personal slaves. That's gonna work out really well in about 100 years. How could this overlord of robots just take over? How, how could we have let this happen? No one saw it coming. There you go. Beautiful! Oh my god. Beautiful. <laughs> Guardians Galaxy for like $60 and Tales of Rise Ultimate. Oh, nice! Yeah, he's, he's from Canada. Tell you one thing, I, I feel bad for people in Turkey right now. I, I can't get over how how bad it's got. Then there's guys like Sony. Sony never bothered to ever change their pricing according to the service. I know most of them don't, but Sony seems to be particularly not giving a shit. So you have this situation where people just want a game like the rest of us, and it turns into a fucking shit show. Yeah, I think if you roll, I'm trying to remember, you roll under the dragon's tail, it does that move a lot. Roll under her tail, and then she'll... Maybe they'll start attacking me now. You'll have a, a fighting chance, but sometimes you'll roll under her tail, and you're not watched it, you're rolling off the edge. I don't know, we'll see. Just so weak to fire. Even though fire quartz ring just ain't cutting it. Now it's now it has a boss fog. The, this shit don't work. It don't do squat. But look, for some reason they're nice enough to dump your souls outside the boss fog. Go figure, huh? As if to say, did you make a mistake? That's okay. A rare moment of mercy from from software. Oh, Girl, did I piss you off? Did I piss in your conflicts? That's alright. You can piss in mine. Dragon... Dragon piss is known to have a lot of medical qualities. You gotta follow the tail. Follow the tail, mamacita! Nope. I think I'm dead again, am I? I'll tell you what. Fire damage just makes me feel all gooey inside. All fucking charred inside, too. Run, bitch, run. She's trying to burn you. Nope. This just be an exercise. Oh, and then she sat on me. Damn. I gotta do something about the fire. I remember I, I could at least survive one of the attacks. Cream on Gaming's tried to know. Oh, that sucks. Do you, do you use uh, GOG at all, or can you be bothered? God damn it. Oh well. A flame attack and ancient dragon one shots almost any build. That's true, that is true. But there is a way of uh, avoiding it. If you're fast enough and you run, you have to stick under her tail. She'll fly all, all erratically, oh bish. Slow and big, but magically when she starts flying, she's able to do magic fucking uh, 30 degree angle turns. Damn, dude. Whoa, you usually don't hit me at all. Now we're gonna die. Holy fucking, what was that, five? Yep. Bye-bye, 50,000 souls. I knew you so well. You're just surprisingly not... Uh, not charging tax. Okay, that's good. I, I still use them a bit. I know it all leads back to CD Projekt Red and not having the, the best old reputation lately. The thing is, by the time someone whistle blows and we learn about what a company has been up to in a bad way, you know, it means they've been doing it for many, many years. Even when you're like out there supporting them and people like saying nothing but good things about them. So all it takes is one good game and the super fans come in. But I don't think this all, all this stuff happened about the, each company. I, I don't think any company is exempt from it. I was saying this before. It's like a it's like a weird human thing. Rather than just this company or that company. 
a power dynamic mixed with, like I was saying before, this weird uh, revenge, this revenge thing. The nerds rising up. Damn, I still got me. Chunk boy. Holy mother, that, that is a horrible attack. I have yet to actually dodge a single one of his attacks. Can you tell it's like three in the morning? I I have not got anything left, man. I might as well be swimming underwater right now while streaming. Holy shit. The gift cards here, they'll not charge the new tax for what you put in the wallets. If you buy a thing, they will. Ah. Fuck me, I can't. I can't, lads. I've got nothing left on me. I can't even fucking run straight now. Shit! I wanna have a good crack at the dragon. Is that a poise thing? Why does she freeze for a solid like two or three seconds? Even though the stamina is fine. Is it poise? Does it hit the poise or something? Me and the poise. Three o'clock in the barn. Didn't hear about this. Canadian government wants their money. They want money. That's what they want. Bum, 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 bum. The best games in life are free. Couldn't give them to the birds and the bees. Welcome to USMA. USMA. I have beaten this dragon. It definitely took me a long time, and it was, wasn't three in the morning, but I've beaten it. I've beaten it. We shall do it again. You have to be so quick, and that's why I, yeah. You have to be so quick. As soon as she leaps off the ground, you wanna already be running. Even if you don't see the tail. Just be running so the animation doesn't fail to load or whatever. You know where it does that? Like, oh, you want me to run now? Okay, cut, cut, she didn't run. There's optional bosses and then there's, why are you doing this boss? That's what she is. Go, 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 go. Damn. I'm just gonna fall on my head. I was close. Here's the thing, damage wise, this is doable. Everything else wise, not so much. What the fuck are you locking onto her head for, dude? What the titty fuck sauce on a sandwich? What was that? What are those? Why would it lock on there? Damn, boy. Now we're dead. I don't think there's any avoiding that. That was a double stinger. You're gonna waste two hours on this ancient dragon, I'm, I'm telling you, probably. Free healthcare though, that's why my MRI has been free. Nice. Free healthcare, but you need to wait weeks for your appointments, months sometimes. Yeah, I mean, that. that's no different here. There's so many people with chronic illnesses, everyone gets backed up. And then when you've got situations where there's only a couple of specialists for that one particular thing. And yeah, that's just basic maths at that point, right? It sucks. It's life. The worst thing about any kind of uh, medical organization, uh, organization... Oh, fuck me, I can't even talk. Anyway, the way they are all around the world is they want you... To book yourself in for a disease you don't know you have yet. Or a problem you don't know. You're, you're, I, I'm gonna book myself in because I'm probably gonna break my arm two months from now. You know that kind of way. It's, it's fucking stupid. How the hell does that work? The worst thing about this is when you want to keep going after the ancient dragon. You you keep losing health every time you die. Which is that might be the difference between life and death. So it really is costing you a human effigy very fast. It's almost like when you fight the Dark Lurker and you need a human effigy to fight it again. Cheeky beggars. I wanted to do with the Dark Lurker. I don't think the Dark Lurker is as hard as her. The Dark Lurker is a great boss fight. It splits up and it is magic, don't get me wrong, and I hate magic, but... Stop locking onto her head, bitch. Ah, oh, I think we're fucked already. Ah! Wait, maybe not. See, if, if you do that... Oh, fuck, not the tail. But you can actually uh, swing away at her tail. Then she do that. Damn, drop that ass, girl. Woo! 
There used to be a way to tell, but I can't remember anymore. There used to be a way to tell. You even used to be able to... I'm gonna die here. You used to be able to attack her tail while she was doing the flames. She's getting too far off the screen now. Oh, here we go. She's moving for me. Oh, girl. Drop that pussy, yeah! Doing very little damage, whatever's going on. There you go. Must have been our horn or something, was it? Oh, I'm fucked. Damn. Don't get up, don't get up, don't get up. Ah! Wasn't even the claw, man. It was the second. If you're very unlucky with the, the timing, the second flame always gets you. You did okay there. Ah! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah, the walk-in, the free clinics, yeah, but then, then your, your quality of service goes way down. I must have hit the horn on the back of her talon or something, but because it, it randomly did 130 damage instead of 400 and something. It's kind of cool. I like that. I like just little things like that. That they think of that kind of stuff like oh the value of hitting her here is versus that I like that even on something as big as a dragon Way too early I should have got hit there So early I was almost celebrating Christmas again The cleaning should uh, take a week or two. Yeah, well see in fairness That's not that bad during COVID times, you know things are so backed up but yeah, if it's like specialist stuff, I don't know how they work because you not to be mean ranting, but they always seem like they're very pricey and not doing a whole lot. Not to be mean to them. These kind of specialists, they're usually like private doctors who have very little patience because it's such a, like a rare this or that, you know, that kind of way. But what do I know? What do I know? It's probably not that way at all. They're probably booked out fucking solid. And you're under and and seemingly rare disease, not that fucking rare at all, maybe. Who knows? Alright. She's going straight into the tail. Oh, fuck. There's not a hope of me avoiding this. Please! There's just no way of knowing if it's going to hit you the second time. What you want to do is try and trigger the bitch's, uh... Come on. The bitch's tail attack. Oh my fucking god, that is a big ass girl. Drop it! Keep on dropping it, I'll take that over. You flying around the whole time. Welcome to the ancient dragon's twerking lessons. Where is she, where is she? Oh, I can't avoid this. Why won't you run? It's such a slow animation. First, we're gonna pop the pussy. And the pussy's gonna pop you. Yes. Watch out. Ah, oh, where the fuck was my health? I was like, uh, just above halfway. That was crap. That's why I really think the fucking sublime bone dust is just not coming through. Gotta get your boner dust. Yeah. Since your economy's dead. Yeah, you can end up getting a lot of stuff cheap that way, but then the cost of living goes up and you're, you're earning less and everything else. yeah so it's rough it's very rough and then any kind of conversion rate as well this is usually when the vultures come in when an, any of the economies start failing of a country it sucks to see as well the same thing happened to greece as well the whole europe started blaming greece so they got bailed out and stuff but while their economy was dead underwater the vultures came in Buy up everything dirt cheap, then flip it when the economy recovers. Dragon got a fatty. Yeah, it's kind of beanie too. <laughs> get the dragon's number. I, I'm going to get this, man. I'm, do you believe? Does anybody believe? I believe. I believe the dragons are the future. Arabs come to Turkey to have their hair implants because it's dirt cheap. But damn, there you go. I heard a lot of people going to like uh, Eastern Europe. To get their teeth done and stuff like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you can get her to keep doing those dry, uh, the tail stuff. Hell yeah. That's so weird. Is she gonna go? I need to save it up. She's trying to decide what to do next. She's gonna drop the pushy. You gotta watch out for the, f the shock waves of that as well, you see. I didn't hit anything there. Now what's she doing? She's gonna fly? Yep. Follow the tail. Follow the big juicy tail. But you also gotta watch out for her feet coming down. Tanya, we can do this! I fucking remember this fight. In all the wrong ways. The one you gotta watch out for is when she uh, just flames directly below. You can't even avoid that. Oh, I'm out of stamina. This might be fucked. Fucking run! It won't even load the animation! Oh, please don't kill me. Please. Oh, there's such an input delay. And she goes flying again. We are fucked. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on! Please. Holy shit. What's she doing now? What's she doing? Dropping that ass? No, she's not. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, oh Jesus Christ! I should be dead! That scared the hell out of me. I'm not gonna lie. Jesus, that scared the fucking shit out of me. I kind of like the dough. <laughs> kind of like it. Is she gonna go? Should let my stamina charge up. Stay with the tail. Stay with the tail. Kale, tail, sail. Bail. Believe we can do this. All right, back on the tail. Now she's gonna fly again. Come on, come on, show me that tail. Stay with the tail, mommy. If you're really good, you can hit this tail here. Honest to God, but I ain't that good. If you can tell. Boink. Oh, she's adjusting herself now. Watch out. The tail is the key. Don't knock me off, girl. Now, come on. Play nice. He's in a really awkward place here. Financially. Situation. <laughs> you gotta move it, girl. You're in the... Oh, no. This could kill me. I can't get far enough away when she's this close to the edge. No, I can't get her tail. This could be the end, boys. Look, even it's, it's getting all floopy off the edge there. You're gonna have to move that big wagon you're dragging. Come on. You're getting floppy on us. All my dragons are hermaphrodites. Ah! Almost get out of jail free card there. Come on! Alright, she's moved the tail. This is all still possible, lads. Maybe. What's she doing? She's moving. She's scaring me. Come on, do the tail. Drop that ass. Come on, girl. Drop. Yes. Yes! Come on. You gotta drop it. You gotta flaunt it. Everybody's here watching. Come on. Now you're gonna fly. Where's she going? Where's she going? This way. I might not be able to survive this. No! Please, 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 please! Holy shit, look where she is right now! She's hanging on the edge on a wing and a prayer. So am I. Come on, you gotta move that ass out of there. Come on, what's she gonna do? I'm afraid she's gonna do the big flames. No, she's gonna fly. See, I can't get too close to the edge. Please! Please! Yes, move that tail. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful girl. Come on. Come on. This is the one. Can you fucking feel it? Don't jinx it, Sairi. Don't you fucking do it. I'm going out with a bang. And I'm going to sleep and dream of big old dragon titties. You hear me? That's right. You can't stop me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, boys. This could be bad. I can't get too close to the air. Ah! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Fucking this! Oh. I think I'm just doing like. Oh my god! I don't want to talk about it. Would you fucking move that ass, girl? Come on! The chat demands it. Please! Damn. Oh, this could be it. She could drop that foot right on me at any time. Whoo! My heart is beating outside my chest. Someone call a doctor. Fuck me. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Please, no, not the foot. Oh my god, I am fucking steeped in luck. Alright, we gotta get that tail going. This is getting fucking dangerous. No. Please, please. I think we're good. Once you can see the fork and the tail, you're good. Holy fork! Alright, let's get that. We gotta get the tail going. Come on! That's it. Drop that big fucking ass on me. You know you wanna. Fuck the nine foot vampire chick. I want the hundred foot dragon. Hell yeah! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Come on. Don't drop that ass again. She won't do it twice in a row. She'll make you pay. Oh, we just got out of dodge there. Woo! Nelly Furtado is fucking flaying like a bird and so am I. Come on! Drop that ass. One last time. No, no, she's doing something else. Oh, get out of dodge, Saber! Come on! Come on! Come on! Drop that ass! Yes! Yes! Finish her! Please! One last time! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! I read her like a book! Oh my god! Let's fucking go! Whew. Jesus, I'm gonna need a fucking heart check after that one. That was awesome and completely pointless. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Oh, Jesus Christ. How many times did we almost fall off the edge? How many times did we almost die? What a stupid victory. Hell yes. I think I'll have a cheeky victory wank over here. <laughs> it takes three to four. Yeah, I got very lucky. Did you not see her almost pushing me off the edge and then she had her tail off the edge? Wow, dude. Best fight. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta sleep, guys. I gotta sleep. I gotta leave it there. Hell yes. We went out on a victory. I'm so glad. I wanted to make it to the Dark Lurker. I didn't quite do it. But you know what? We went out with a bang. Whew. Tomorrow, let's clean up everything and we'll start the DLC. Are you with me? We're getting closer to the end. Get yourself a cigarette. Oh my god. I don't know what I need right now. <sighs> Dude, 100 foot dragons way prettier. <laughs> yeah. The things I'll say during a boss fight, I swear to god. Damn. Yeah, we started to figure out, it was like kind of fake out the attack to make her drop the tail. And even if we weren't, I could have got easily more attacks in there while the feet were going up and down. But there's so much shockwaves the way she's dropping it, so we took it a little more handier. Whew, that was, that was, I'm looking forward to the Dark Lurker fight. That's the one I'm after, hell yeah. We accepted 4 million refugees because Europe is paying us to keep them in. Yeah. Economy die. I know, I know. I think the same thing can happen with Germany as well during the Syria crisis. Trust me, it will be something to look back and say that it was good that you did it. You know, it hurts now, but economies die and come back all over the place. You know, it was intense there. I nearly died because of excitement. Ah, oh, running. Yeah, why is he running in the middle of the arena? Because the fr oh, yeah, Jesus, the kite, the dragon into the middle, but down. Yeah, so scary when you're on the edge. I know, like any other playthrough, it would have kicked me off. So. For once, the Dark Souls gods, the RNG gods said, Fuck it, this guy needs a break. Look at him. He's after aging 10 years in a stream. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much, guys. Cheers. Holy crap. What a great Thursday. What a monster stream. I definitely am pushing it. I'll pay for it, but fuck it. Tomorrow's Friday. Let's kick some arse. Let's celebrate the weekend. Get a few drinkies in. Get some more Dark Souls, too. The fucking Elden Ring hype. Cheers, guys. Good night. Have a great one. I'm out of here. Fucking dragon pussy, oh my god. <laughs> what the hell?